morning. It's raining. It's raining. So I'm glad I'm inside. Oh, absolutely tipping out down outside. Welcome to Monday morning on Sewing Street. Um, great day we've got today. Quite excited. Quite excited about the day because we've got two fantastic guests: a Sewing Street one and the Yarn Lane one. And we've got John Roll for this return of Bird of the Month because I have been asking for I cannot tell you how long. Loads and loads of you have messaged me in over the last couple of years. Oh, have you got the starling? Have you got the blue tip? We haven't done bird of the month for so long. And I have been hassling and hassling those people upstairs in the office. And finally, we've got the whole lot. The whole lot. They just got bored with me hassling them. We have got the return of all of it. We've got quilt kits. We've got panels. We've got instructions. Um, we've even got the 14 bird panel, which we only ever did once and it sold out. So... That's exciting. But let's start off with a special treat. Quite like this. Bird. Early bird of the month special. Tweet, 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 tweet. So, normal price for this. Magnetic needle minder, pack of five, 19.99. So, oh, wrong way. <laughs> pack of five. That makes them 3.99. I'm going to show you how they work in a minute. But we have got a special early bird price of... £12.99, £2.59 each. Brilliant for gifts, aren't they? Let me show you how they work. Now, there's five. You've got a cat, a sewing machine, a rainbow, a cupcake, and the strawberry, obviously. So what you do is, these are the perfect accessory for us sewers. So it's two magnets, like that. And then you can join them together so you can attach them to something. So you could, well, you could stick them on your sewing machine, couldn't you? Or maybe if you're sewing and you want to be able to find your needle minder, you could put it on your sleeve or you could put it on your coat or wherever. Or you can just have it sat on the work surface. Anyway, and you know what it's like? You lose your needle or you stick it in the arm of the sofa and then you stab yourself. So there we go. You get your needle like so magnetize then you can find it so you wouldn't it be brilliant well for any sewing project it'd be quite good if you were a knitter as well and you were sewing up things you could put it on um it will obviously um, magnetize anything so maybe you've got a few pins i'm doing this sometimes when i'm like doing some hand sewing maybe i'm hemming something sat on the sofa and i've got pins everywhere use a little magnetic needle minder so and it's a good magnet as well it's very strong so it would really easily pick them up Nice little gift for you. So you could buy all five and then give some of them away. Um, yeah, Kat. We've got producer Kat today. Now, I don't really remember Kat used to be our producer on Sewing Street, her and Hannah. They, they were worked on Sewing Street right from the very beginning. They were the two producers. One, we were in the tiny studio in the broom cupboard. And they moved into the broom cupboard and we set up Sewing Street with with Kat and then Kat got got taken she got headhunted got taken moved on to a um, hobby maker ridiculous ridiculous but she's realized that she misses us too much so she's back today one day only not permanent unfortunately but she is back with us today which is fab so take full advantage of all Kat's offers today because she can do what she likes because when after today she'll be going back she'll be going back and if she gets in trouble they just won't have her back simple 10% of the stock is gone. So what we've got, there's the sewing machine. It's very detailed. Look at it. Is it. You can even see on the sewing machine, you can see like the bobbin and the needle and everything. Then we've got the rainbow. So they're very good magnets, aren't they? So cute. Do you know what? They've all got a little loop on them as well, just saying. So if you wanted to put a chain in it and hang it around your neck, you could, couldn't you? Obviously... Because you could take the um, that off and you could have that as a little necklace or you could have it, you could even just put a safety pin, magnetise that on the back, could be a brooch. A message from Karen. I use mine with cross-stitch projects, saves distorting the fabric. Morning all. Karen, that's a great idea because I always keep my needle and cross-stitch products in projects in the fabric. But all you, all you have to do is attach this to the cross-stitch. Da-da. Brilliant for embroidery as well. So don't bother putting your needle in the embroidery just because it doesn't take up much space. Just clip that. And it's a really strong magnet. So that's the um, rainbow. Then we've got a cat. And look at the cat. He's a very ornate cat. Yeah. I think these are great. Look at this. They'd be great for um, people who are using very small screws, wouldn't they? Like an electrician. 
He could have it on his overalls, couldn't he? Look at the cat, a little, he's got, he's got flowers all over it. So that's the cat one. And you get all of these, by the way. It's not one for £12.99, it's all five. So that works out at £2.59. There's the cupcake. They are such strong magnets. Look at that. That's so cute. So cute. What a great price. And a lovely little present for somebody. Do you know what? This is the sort of present. If you're just sending someone a birthday card, you could just pop this inside, couldn't you? Because they all come in the little plastic bag, so it's nicely wrapped. But you could just pop that in a card. And because it tells you what it is, people wouldn't think, what have you sent me? So Needle Minder is made from two strong magnets with a decorative top and a plain backing magnet. It's a magnetic stitching accessory designed to help prevent your needle from getting lost when you need to take a short break or as you're changing threads, including all types of embroidery needle point or cross stitch. Note, keep away from electronic items because it has a powerful magnet. Yes, don't put it on your mobile phone. There we go. That's all five of them. And then the final one is the strawberry. So all of those, £12.99. Bargain, bargain, seven pounds saving, and we haven't even got, and it's only it's only eight oh six. And the good thing is, you see, you've saved seven pounds. Your P and P's paid for, isn't it? Now done. So you've saved your P and P and a little bit more. That means that whatever else you buy today, your P and P's covered already. That is like that is like um, free P and P plus some. But the way that you get the free PMP is by buying these. Yeah. Because you get, you're get saving it, aren't you? Because you're saving seven pounds, so you're saving more than your PMP. Half of the stock's gone already. Wow. Because we always do, oh, free PMP, and you forget about the early bird. Because actually, the good thing about the getting the free PMP, because you're saving over that, is you get the needle minders as well. I know, I love the, I think the early bird's a great idea to start the day. Look at that. Look how strong that is. That is a powerful magnet. It's sticking, oh, it's sticking to the card now. See, that one, because I've put the magnet behind, picks it up. Look at that, see? These are very good, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Really good for all ages, someone new to sewing. And whether they're a... Um, a dressmaker, a hand sewer, cross stitcher, embroiderer, or even a knitter, a crocheter would find this very useful. <laughs> Kat just said she 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 thought she'd been cutting herself in the night because she woke up kept waking up scratched, and then she realised she'd been sewing in bed and left her needle in it, and uh, and it got into the mattress. Actually, to be fair. <laughs> it was going up her arm and it happened every night. I mean, to be fair, I get them sometimes pins in my slippers and I'm like, God, my toes really sore, really sore. And I'm walking around for a couple of days and I lift up my slippers and I find there's a pin. And, and just the tiny bit, and just the tiny bit stuck through. Yeah. So if you've got pets in the house and you want to be able to pick up the needles, you know you've dropped it somewhere. Absolutely ideal. Yeah, don't use the vacuum, just use the magnet because these are strong magnets. Even with the rainbow, which is the biggest one, look, picks it up. Absolutely brilliant. Loads and loads of you have got this in your baskets now, not surprised. So when everyone's checked out, we'll have sold out. So if all of you who got it in your basket, check out, it's gone. But remember, £7 saving, so that's your P&P &P and some. And once your P&P is done for the day, that's it. You can buy whatever you want between now and midnight. Anything you want between now and midnight. And, um, you know, that... you. You will only be charged one PMP. So I can't get my words out this morning. Right. Now, they we launched these first in October last year, and they haven't been back in since. So when they've sold out today, which they're about to, that'll be it again. Because that's such a good price. The thing is, is that the good thing about Sewing Street is because we buy so much because you buy so much from us. It means that we have a really good buying power so that we can buy things at a great price. We've got enough margin to be able to give you a saving on some items like this, little treats, which is brilliant. And then so we can then pass the saving to you because why not? Because we're all a lovely sewing community. We like passing on our savings. Um, you know, and we haven't got we haven't got all the overheads of shops, have we? really but you see we sell so many of them and and it's great because everyone likes a little bargain me in particular so it's nice that we can pass that saving on to you right let's have a look at what's coming up today i gave you a little sneak preview earlier but coming up today so we're going to just 
splitting this first hour, a little bit different, eight o'clock, that's now, we've got a brand new collection of Dan Morris fabrics. We've got a bundle, we've got a panel, we've got fabrics um, individually by the half metre, and we've got a matching plain fabric bundle to go with it. If you love Dan Morris and if you love Butterfly, you are going to love this collection. Then what we've got at 8.30 is Tracy Dennis, who is a brother sewing machine expert, is coming in to demonstrate the brother um, embroidery machine. And we have got a very, very special big offer for you. We are going to the lowest ever price just today. So she'll be in in 20, 20 minutes and she's going to show you how it works, why it's so brilliant. And I'll be telling you about the saving. So don't miss out on that. The price that's on the website at the moment, by the way, that is not the price that it will be. It's going lower. But just a quick warning before we get there, we are low in stock. Limited number. If you want it, I'd get it in your basket before we even start because let me tell you, it's a great saving. Right, nine o'clock, Tracy will be staying with us for her Aaron Sewing Cat Collection 15. Now, this is her capsule wardrobe dressmaking collection. We've got skirt, blouse, wide leg trousers, um, beautiful shirt. Last time um, this collection was on, it completely sold out. We've got it in printed versions. We've got it in the um, USB stick versions. We've got the patterns individually. Tracy's going to be demonstrating them. And just to let you know, they did sell out last time. So if you do want any of her capsule wardrobe, brilliant for coming up spring summer some of them are already going on the website before we've even started so that's nine o'clock anyway ten o'clock i know it says garden birds quilt but it is, it's garden birds quilt is one of the things yes but it is the return of the long awaited return of bird of the month so we've got a different panel um, with a bird and strips of coordinating fabric for every month of the year so you can buy just one panel of your favorite bird we've got the instructions for all the projects that i made from bird of the month because i launched it back in quite a while ago 2021 and then made, wrote a set of instructions for every panel and you can use any of the panel any of the instructions for any of the panels we've got all of those and there is a little discount on them as a special treat. And we've got the um, panel with all 14 birds on. And we've got the Charm Square panel. So many, so many new customers since then. This is, could well be the first time you've seen this. Or maybe you've missed out on it. If you've made it before, email me, send it to me. But I get emails constantly. I think because, because I wrote the instructions on Amber Makes, I constantly get emails. Have you got the Robin? Have you got this? Have you got that? So I've said, we need to bring it back. We've got to bring it back. So we have done it. So that is Bird of the Month. If you've never seen Bird of the Month, you're going to love it. I'll explain it all at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, Tracy will be back again with her um, collection. But this time, it's her sewing storage collection from... Um, vinyl pouches to a sewing basket to a mug tidy um sewing roll pouch beautiful and again we've got a collection of all of the patterns whether it's a usb stick or printed and a special discount and a free pattern or you can buy them individually so if you want to sort out your sewing area and make a, it's all patterns not fabric or kits it's just patterns so if you want a way to use up your fabric stash this is for you. Then it's Monday. It will be 12 o'clock. It will be Yarn Lane and Sam Sabido is back in the house. Brand, brand new design. Her Beach Days Crochet Cardigan. It's available in five different colourways as well. Normally four, but we've got five today. Fantastic. We've even got deck chair stripes, which I have to say is my favourite. There's some block colours. Love the pink lollipop one. That is gorgeous. Uh, really beautiful. We've got like a really sort of natural beachy one as well. They are really, and it's lovely. Um, it, they're all crocheted in V-stitch. So if you've never done V-stitch before, Sam is going to be demonstrating that. And V-stitch gives a really lovely open lacy look, but easy peasy. Easy peasy. But if you've not done V-stitch, this is for you. So that's 12 o'clock. What a great day. Right. If you would like to shop, there are two ways to do it. Now, if you want to speak to somebody, the phone number is on the bottom of the screen. 0800 001 4433. It will be there all morning in case you need it. It's a UK call centre. In fact, it's just upstairs. Um, 
free phone. Now, some people prefer to shop on the phone. That's fine. Or some people have got a problem with their order. They can't remember the code or they go, oh, I didn't mean to put in that in. I want so and so instead. Just give them. They're ever so helpful. They'll sort it all out for you if you can't remember your customer number or whatever. And you can order there. Um, the easiest way really to shop is probably on the website only because it's got pictures. If you're like me, I love a picture. It's like I never cook a cake if there's not a picture. Does annoy me in a recipe if there's not a picture. So a lot of you like to shop online. So go on to sewingstreet.com. Then you'll get this screen. At the top, you'll see a bit that says, next to TV guide, it says watch live. Click on that. And you can watch live at the same time and you'll get a screen that looks like this. You can message me here. You can say, yes, I've made bird of the month. Yes, I was one of the people that loved the pigeon or I was one of the people that didn't. Those of you who watch bird of the month will remember the, the pigeon debate. Pigeon, pigeon gate, it was called. Um, and then you will be able to see what products are coming up on today's show. Now, this are, these are the items that I haven't been through yet. If the... The price on here at the moment are all the full prices. Some items we drop during the show, just because we do. And if you check out now, don't worry, you will be charged the lowest price that we announce on air because your basket closes at midnight, your P&P, only one lot, is applied and you will be charged the lowest price. So don't worry about checking out and missing the lowest price because you definitely won't. Look, there's all the Dan Morris fabrics. Here is Tracy's capsule dressmaking wardrobe collection. Do get checked on that before it sells out like last time. Um, that's all there. Then, um, then we go to, that's Tracy's second hour on there. There's Sam Sabino's beautiful, cut. look at those. So we've got some, that's the lollipop, plain block pink. Look at that one. Like that, that's mine, that's deck chair stripes, loving that one, that's mine. Beach days, love that one, because that's the more natural one. That's beach hut, that's gorgeous, isn't it? And, they, and the yarn it's in is like a tweedy effect, marl yarn as well. Then, da, 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 bird of the month. So excited to get this back, because I honestly have been badgering for, I can't tell you how long. We've got quilt kits in three different colorways. We've got all the instructions, oh, those instructions are going to be reduced, by the way. Just saying. We'll let you know then. We've got the Charming Shadows kit because we've got the smaller versions. We've got the Charm Square versions. We've got the kit. We've got the Charm Squares on their own. We've got all of the individual birds. So if you've got a favourite bird, maybe you only want to make the great tip. You can. There's the 14 birds panel. Now that is the one that sold out very, very fast. That's all the birds plus tiny versions of all of the birds as well. That is a very good price. And also that's your charm square. So that's 45 inch squares on there. Both of those. I can't believe that's 14.99. Wow, that's the show. Please do get ahead with that and get it checked out. Right, so let's talk Dan Morris. So this is Dan Morris's brand new fabric collection. It is gorgeous. It's called On Painted Wings. Now, we're going to go through the bundle first. Remember, we are selling them individually, but this is where you're going to save the money. That's the important thing, because if you buy the bundle, you get half a metre for free. So this is your money saving. £70.92, four metres of fabric and a panel. So let me show you the panel, because the panel's gorgeous. I think it's nice that you get the panel with it as well because you can then create something using fabrics that match the panel exactly. So look at, oh, let me turn around. Look at the colours. It's vibrant, it's fun, it's bright. It's so iconically Dan Morris. It's got the layers, it's got the textures, it's kind of batik -y, beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's got almost like a textured wood grain effect. It's just so Dan Morris, isn't it? It's beautiful. So we've got 12 squares here. And what you can do is you could, you could just use that, couldn't you? You could just quilt it as it is. It's a nice little cock quilt, isn't it? You could, um, you could sew one, get one of them, sew it on the back of your denim jacket. You could use each of them and put a board around it, make them into cushions. And remember with the rest of the bundle, because all the fabrics go with it, you could use it for that. Uh, you could make a really big quilt from it by cutting them all out, putting fabric around them. You could put patchwork around each of them. You could just put, you know, four inch squares of all the other fabrics all the way around, make it into a bigger quilt. You could make placemats from them. Nice for your outdoor cushions, for your outdoor furniture. 
beautiful, isn't it? So that's in the bundle. Then you're also getting a half meter each of all of these fabrics. So we've got the yellow butterflies. And then we've got the turquoise butterflies. That's beautiful, isn't it? Um, and then we've got this, this, this one, it's like mosaic butterflies flying. Like that is very painted. That is almost like mosaic, isn't it? Kaleidoscope. This one, gorgeous. And look at that, it's so multicolored, isn't it? Every single leaf and flower is a different color. It's very batik feel, isn't it? Um, same fabric in a yellow, in a lemon. Beautiful. Oh, I need to put that one there. I sort of want to put them in an order. Look, look at that. Look. So we've got two butterflies, two of the sort of mosaic, two of the batiki ones. And then you've got, well, I wouldn't say plain, plainer. These are blenders, look at that. That's gorgeous. It is, it's an orange and passion fruit smoothie, but rubbed out a bit. A sanded down smoothie. And then finally in, look at this one, it's in shades of blues and turquoise. Now, all of these fabrics are quilting weight fabrics. They're all your normal um, quilting fabric. Width 44 inches, 112 centimeters. So in this bundle, plus, the panel all of that and one of those half meters is free now if you buy multiples of this bundle obviously in the bundle the fabric is pre-cut into half meters so for 70 pounds only 70 pounds and 92 all of these one of that's that one's free i think that one's free you can choose but i feel like it's that one because i like that one and then you get the panel as well so if you want to make something bigger from the panel, then you know that all of these fabrics, both the colour, the print and the tonal value will all go together. And sometimes when you buy a panel like this and you think, well, I'll just get the panel, I'll get something to go with it. And you can't find something to go with it. So if you love butterflies, if you love colour, if you love Dan Morris, this is stunning, isn't it? Right. Now, panel on its own. So if you do only want the panel... This has already been selling, selling thick and fast. Third of the stock's already gone. $14.99. What a price. No, for the size of it as well. I wonder how big these squares are. Yeah, but I don't know how big they are. Um, well, that's what I'm looking for. I can't actually see one. Well, you did, yeah. Well, that's what I was looking for. There was used to be one hanging up. I'm going for 10 inches. What do you reckon? Half the stock of this is gone. <laughs> what do you reckon? Should we have a little guesstimate? Thanks, Kat. Oh, that's a posh one. Ollie's guessing 15. Ollie, there's no way. Oh, nine. Well, actually, sort of nine in a bit. Nine. Yeah. About nine, nine and a half. Right, two thirds of the stock is now gone. So they're just over nine inches square, which is great because you can then sort of trim them down. If you needed them to be eight inches finished, you could trim them down to eight and a half and you still have enough space. You see, if you trim them down to that, you could have them as a finished eight inch. We are about to have a sellout on the panel. 14.99, you are getting 12 of them. They're just over nine inches square. And the great thing is, is if you did cut them in here, because you've got enough space between the panels, you've got like just a, about almost an inch and a half this way, and you've got um, three inches that way. So if you cut them out and you want to use them full size, you've got loads of room to have a seam allowance. Now, people are going to miss out. We have seven left and 15 in basket. So I'll leave that with you to fight it out. Amazing, amazing. They've just, they've just fluttered, fluttered out of the door. Now, if you want the fabrics on their own, which one's been the most popular, Kat? The lemon yellow, the free one. <laughs> oh, this one. No, not this one, that one. Is that the one that you've got on screen? This one. Right, this is the most popular. Who knew? 
Now, with this, if you because this is individually, so if you want more than half a meter, we will send it to you as a whole cut piece. Just put that number of units. So if you want to make yourself a little lemma summon dress and you want a meter and a half, put three units in your basket and it will be cut to order. You will receive it as a whole piece. So that's how it works. Any fabric, by the way, that you see on Sewing Street, if it says 0.5 meters at the end of it, that means it's cut to order. Well, it doesn't mean that it's cut to order. It means it's half a metre. But if it says that, we will cut it to order. So that's the most popular so far. Right, we'll do the blue version of that one next. I don't know whether this is the second most popular. Oh, the second most popular is the mango smoothie. Who knew? That's lovely, isn't it? Now, look at the colour of that. It's a really beautiful, vibrant act. And then all of the colours on here, it's so rainbow, isn't it? It's almost like he's created stripes of rainbow fabric and cut it out. And then cut it out like um, paper cutting. I have no idea how he did it. That's what it looks like. Mm. Or maybe he's put all the colours down. I, I have no idea how he does it, but his fabrics are genius. There's so much interest and texture in them. So that's the turquoise one. Um, let's, let's do the kaleidoscope mosaic in the green that's amazing yeah that would be nice as a parasol actually i think that's a lining isn't it i mean it's not i mean it's just that i love a good lining i think they could make a nice um summer jacket wouldn't it i'd like that well that, that would and although it's quilting weight cotton it's very soft it's very very soft it's got a lot of, it's beautiful quality. Look, look at the waft on that. It's really soft and gentle. It makes me feel summery just looking at it, doesn't it? It's beautiful. That's the, that's the green. Now we also have it in the blue, madam. If you're interested, we have it in the green and we have the blue. Yeah, I'm thinking, wouldn't that go with denim though? You know, so if you were doing anything in denim and you wanted that as a lining or a bit of a trim or a bit of an added extra, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? If you've got a really plain denim jacket, you could put little patches on the elbows with that or line it or put a contrast collar. I just think that and denim goes together. Let's go butterflies next because that is the point of this collection after all. So this is your lemon butterflies. Lemon butterflies, look at those fluttering, aren't they beautiful? So if you've got the panel, this goes together beautifully with it, doesn't it? One panel left, one panel left, there's one panel left, one panel left. Right. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at the turquoise on the background of that and the background isn't plain I don't know whether you can see but it's like a wood grain um, slightly almost like sandpaper has been taken against it but look at that that's gorgeous I tell you what doesn't it look lovely with that one so if you were just going to buy two fabrics from this collection look at those two together they're gorgeous aren't they so you know you could make a bag in this couldn't you or make yourself out a cushion, you could use that one for the front, that one for the back, or nice, um, if you were doing a cushion back and you wanted like two thirds, one third, very nice. And then we've got the two, um, well, they're not planes, are they? Blenders. So, so this is your mango butterscotch. Oh no, I'm going mango sorbet. Look, that's beautiful, isn't it? I love the fat, look at the texture on it. It's glorious, isn't it? Look at that. So you can see how lovely it is. I mean, it is cool to mention, but the qualities. That's lovely. And then finally, finally, this one. That's beautiful. Half of the stock is that one is in baskets. And let me just show you. You can, you can kind of see now what my what my favourites are, can't you? Look, look at the turquoise. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That, that's my, that's my colour. But don't forget, if you can't decide, 
the most cost-effective way of shopping. 72, is there any panels left, Kat? Right, no panels left. So the only way that you can get the panel now is if you buy um, this bundle. Where's it gone? I've lost it. I've lost it. They've all sold out. Someone's taken it. No, I've got it here. Actually, I lied. Um, so the only way you can get the panel now is by buying the whole collection. But you're saving. You're saving seven ninety nine. There we go. That's your P and P and more. Hi, great show. Would these work in Haley's jacket? Yes, they would, Sheila. Yes, they would. Morning, Rebecca and team from Michelle. Michelle, morning. Is it raining in Lincolnshire? It's raining here. It's horrible. 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 Um, yes, I think you're talking about Haley's jacket, aren't you? And um, yes, I think these will be perfect because I said denim. Don't they go well with denim? Denim, denim. That one. I'd go with that one, to be honest. That one, if you want a bit more subtle. That one, if you want a whoo, bit of splot. Now, last, 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 we have put together a complimentary with an E, not free, not with an I, with an E. Goes with um, half a metre each of these four plain fabrics that go with these. So if I just take this one out, because this seems to have all of the colours in it, doesn't it? So if I take that one out like that, then this is the complementary bundle. So you've got the green, you've got that purpley shade, you've got that lovely blue, and then you've got that little pop of yellow. Cyan, lavender, lime and sunshine. There we go. No, you don't get that with it. Or maybe you just want some bike fabrics. 14.99, two metres. This is Rose and Hubble quilting weight cotton, 44 inch width. So it's a really good quality cotton because all of our, the plain ones that we sell all the time are Rose and Hubble. It's important to us that they're great quality because you're going to use them with your designer fabrics. So they have to be a similar quality. So these are your Rose and Hubble cottons, 14.99. Anyway, um, that was fab, wasn't it? Love those Dan Maris fabrics. Um, we're going to have a, a quick break while I just move over to Tracy to sort the sewing machine out. Um, so we're going to have a quick break where you can learn about split pay. Any questions about that, call the call centre. I'll see you back in about a minute's time. <laughs> Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm 
And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Thank you for bearing with us for that little break. We have to get the sewing machine out. Anyway, morning, Tracy. Morning. Morning. Thank you for coming in extra early for us to show us this machine. This is a fab machine. It's fab, I think, because it's a sewing machine and an embroidery machine. Yeah. And on both sides, there's no compromise. You've got an amazing sewing machine, and then you've also got these fantastic embroidery machines. It's going to give you those big size embroideries that we all want. Mm. This sort of really wow. big size. Yeah. So if you need or want or think you want a new sewing machine, but mm -hmm. you like an embroidery and you can't decide, I can't really afford to buy both. Yeah then this is a brilliant idea, Absolutely. Isn't it? So you've got things like built-in scissors when you're sewing. We can nice. even sew sideways. So normally machines obviously only go forwards and backwards. Mm. This machine will sew sideways. And that means that we can get wow. really wide border stitches as well, which is great if you're Fabulous. quilting, even if you're dressmaking. Sometimes you just want that mm. little extra detail around the bottom of a jacket, on the cuffs of a shirt, and we can do that. So the sewing side is amazing. So it's fantastic. But so now the normal price for this, if you buy anywhere else, have a look online, you'll see, is 2499 which is an amazing price for two machines, really, because it's two in one. But we normally, well, our previously, we have dropped the price a bit. And we have reduced the price to 2199 and it's sold out at that price, which I'm not surprised because it is two machines and there's no compromise. The sewing machine is just as good as if you bought it on its own. And the embroidery machine is just as good as it used to be, as it is if you buy them individually. This is both machines. So that's what we've reduced the price. So we've given you a £300 reduction normally. But because we've got Kat in today, she said, I'm not coming back <laughs> unless I can have a special deal. And we quite like it. We like it coming back. So we've got a very, very special price. Just wait till you see this. Lowest ever price. Can't believe we're doing it for this. Ridiculous. 1999. Under 2000 pounds for two fantastic machines that are joined together. And the good thing about it is that you, if you are limited in space as well, you don't have to have two machines. You just need this one machine. And all you do is you swap the beds around, which we'll show you in a minute. Now, this isn't the price going forward. This is the price for today. We are limited in stock. We've been allowed to do this special discount because we've got Cat in. 1999, we only have a limited number in stock. When that's gone, I'm pretty sure the price will go back to its normal. So, so we've given you, that is a massive reduction, isn't it? 500 pounds off the RRP. Now, we'll do it on split pay for you, obviously. Five-way split pay. So that means it's five equal payments of 39980 So you pay £399.80 today, and we'll get it sent straight to you. Obviously, um, we'll, then you then pay the other four payments in instalments. It doesn't cost you any more to do that, by the way. It's interest-free. You don't have to when you come to check out, whether that's online or on the phone. They, they'll ask you, or there'll be a box to say... Do you want to do split pay? So you don't have to, but it, remember, it's interest free. You may as well split, spreads the cost, and we will send it to you straight away. And the PMP is still only three ninety five, which is ridiculous because it costs way more than that <laughs> to get it to you. One nine nine nine. So if you want this, we are limited in stock, and this is an amazing price. You get two machines 
So you only you're using less space because all you have to do is swap the footbed out. It's, it's fantastic. So Tracy, what why do you love it then? Well, it, they've really thought of everything. So say on the sewing side, we can do that forwards, backwards, sideways, big wide stitches. They've got loads of additional feet with this. So you get your standard feet. They all come in this nice case here. Everything's labeled neatly inside there right in addition to that you're going to get things like you get a free motion foot you get a oh, side you? cutter you get a quarter inch piecing foot oh wow so you've got maybe 200 pounds worth of feet as well addition. and it comes with a walking foot yeah that's a real foot. bonus isn't it yeah it comes with a foot pedal but you don't have to use it so like with lots of brother machines you can use it or you don't have to it's got a really simple needle threader so the more you spend on a machine the easier needle threading right, you get okay so a lot of the embroidery machines would have the new fancy needle threader but some of the older sewing machines have the ones where you pull the lever down and yes, you can yeah. find that a bit fiddly. But most important I find with this machine now is it's Wi-Fi. So when it comes to talking about embroidery, that opens up a whole new world. Right, okay. So as far as the sewing machine functions are, you've got all of the standard feet, including the walking foot, lots yes. of other bones. So you've got the thread cutter, you've um, got the automatic needle threader. But then when you come to the embroidery machine, yeah. it's a big it's size embroidery. And you're not limited, because some machines are limited to the number of stitches that are in builds, the patterns. Exactly. Are we used to, and there's over 250 different stitches in built into this machine. And then we put a USB port on the side so you could download designs. But we now have this machine wireless, which is brilliant. So you're really future-proofing wow. your machine. And what yeah. that means is you haven't got access. We have a free app. It's called Art Spearer. Mm. So it's a brother app, Art Spearer. Just download that for free. There is a paid service, but use all the free bits first and you can pay yeah, for it think about as it, yeah. and when if you need to, um, because there's loads Well, loads you may find that you think, well, I'm going to get it for a sewing machine. I'd like to have a go at just labelling things. Yeah. Personalising. You think, well, I'll do that. And then you realise what else it can do. And then you think, oh, 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 well, I need a new one. And then you can see how much and how many patterns you want to download. Exactly. Uh, we have a really quick question. Okay. Um, does it have a knee lift? It does have an e-lift, yes, a nice metal e-lift comes with the machine. That's really useful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. E-lift yeah. is a really, really good thing. It's got everything, this yeah. machine. One nine nine nine, and that price is for today. We are limited in stock. We're only allowed to sell so many of these, that's fine. Limited in stock. It's a in embroidery machine and a sewing machine together without compromising on either of them. I'll get Tracy to show you in a minute how you swap from one to the other. But show us what it does in embroidery. So we'll just look at, these are some of the fonts that you've got when you're saying about labelling. Loads of different oh, fonts wow. that you've got within there. Because it's got this big size hoop, we can yeah, also do big these. monogramming look, as look well. Look at those. I mean, look at the size of them. That's amazing. You know, you could set up your own little company with this, couldn't you? Oh, so many people do. A lot, yeah, a lot. I mean, people use them for at home, just for their labelling their own things. But you could, if you were doing um, personalising things, imagine if you're having a wedding. Yeah. You could label everything. Couldn't you? you would make your money back because you could make loads of things with that. Yeah, that's so gorgeous. Dog accessories, you know, when you talk about just writing. But of course, you can combine the logos within there as well. So you make all your napkins. Oh yeah, look at this one. Look at the detail in <coughs> that one. Christmas napkins. I mean that. Imagine what that would cost to buy. Yeah, at least you guess when yeah. they come in. You can do it onto towels. Oh, you can do it onto I tea love towels. that. Look at that. So that looks like red work, which I, my I mean, stitch that is not good enough. Is beautiful. But can that, you imagine it, for your Christmas presents? Buy a bottle of wine and just put the you put their name on. I mean, yeah. that is such an amazing and gift. That stitches isn't it? out so quickly. Look and you haven't got to none of that. That that pattern is that one in the machine. Uh, that is one off the app. Off our so one off the that's free. It's not yep. going to cost you any more to have that pattern. That I mean, this takes your sewing up to the next level. Exactly. This makes home sewing professional sewing, yes. doesn't it? Yeah. Whether you're gifting it or whether you're making it for money, once you can personalise things. You know, baby girls, yeah. towels, tea towels. I mean, that's it, you know, so it may be if you are setting up a little business and you want to personalise, or maybe you just get it, and then you then that's when you can start thinking, well, actually, I could. I could start selling things on Etsy now, yeah. couldn't I? Yeah, people do all the time. Look at you this. You can even do, like, the lace work. So lace Look works at like that. This. How cute is that? Yeah. Buy yourself a really inexpensive baby grow yeah. and put their name on. So lace work is where we <gasps> stitch it out onto vanishing interfacing and then we put that into water and the interfacing disappears and then you're left with your lace pattern. Let so you just need to one. make sure it's a lace work pattern. That's magic, isn't it? Decorations. Show show us it in action. Okay, so we're going to press go on the screen. I love all so those So the fonts. machine's ready now to do embroidery, so we're going to have a little look. I'm going to just spin the machine around, so bear with me one second. 
spin that one around just a little bit like that. It's asking me to take the frame out, so we're going to do that. It's going to move around. So the machine will talk to the you. The screen tell you actually exactly tells you everything, because I borrowed this machine for a weekend to have a go of it uh, a couple of months ago. And it is brilliant because it does tell you what to do. Yes, doesn't it? And it's a much bigger screen. I know we've bought the smaller machine here before, but this gives you a much bigger screen. I come around this screen. side. My head's in the way. So on here, we've got all your different menus. So we can click on. So these are going to be your big monogramming if you want to do nice big uh, cushions, towels. Within here, lots more designs. So I'm just going to click on one just to give you an idea. And you can flick through all the different patterns that there are on here. So there's lots of different designs built in. Let's click on this one here, for example. Just flick through a few of those. And I'm going to select one of the big ones here. Yeah. Oh, oh. Actually, let's do... Oops. Sorry, let me come back. Just find that one. There's a nice sewing one in here, which I love, which is that one there. So I've chosen the design and then I just press set, okay? Now that's ready to embroider. If you wanted to do things like move the design, you press the move button. If you want to change the size, you press the size. It really right, is that it's simple. simple yeah. If you want to rotate it, we press the rotate button. It knows mm. what size hoop you've got on there. It's never going to go bigger than that. And of course, if you've got one of the smaller machines previously, you'll know that you can be quite restricted on the smaller frames. You're not going to have that on here. Because and these the come with it. So yeah, the it hoops comes come with, with it. Two different hoop sizes on there. Okay. You get the very large one that I've got on the machine, and we get one that's slightly smaller like that, which is great for your little t-shirts and things right. you can buy additional frames these ones slide on really easily on the side so there's none of the clips that we have on the small machines right just slide okay. straight on like that and then we're going to take our thread pop it on top so I'm gonna and go do you need special it. thread or can you use normal thread? no you can use normal thread you can use the brother thread you can use gutterman thread so the mm. thread is up to you i'll just avoid you know those really cheap threads that are going to get caught in your machine through there through there and is it thread like a normal sewing machine the thread? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, not, it's a bit different to the, if you've got the FS250, I know we've got a little lever that we have to pull down. This one, as you may have seen there, I'll show you again. We All we do, through there, press that That's lever. That's so quick. That so it's a normal lever. threading. It's not like, you know, when you have an overlocker and it's complicated. Oh, no. This is like threading up a normal machine. Exactly. So nothing difficult at all. Nothing at all. And that design is now ready to go. Now I can see on here, this would be my go button. It's red because there's an error. If I press that, it tells me lower the presser foot and away we go. Oh, so right. it literally talks yeah. you So even if you forgot, I know you're not likely to, but if you did forget to lower the presser foot, I lower that down. The and light's the gone foot green. Comes obviously, the foot comes the down special foot. and away, to get, away it goes. And now it's just going to embroider that one out. So now you can just go for my cup of tea. Yeah. Do you know what? I might just let's just swap that. I'm just going to put a really quickly put a lighter colour thread in because I can do that. I'm going to cut that one there. So it's got built-in scissors, so it's going to cut all the threads for us as we go along. And it tells you when to change colour. It does. Yeah. Yeah. It comes up. So if you're doing a design with just one colour, you just put one thread in. Yeah like this one's going to be and, and then the it bobbin tells thread. you how long it's going to take to stitch it exactly so it tells me this one's going to take three minutes the bobbin thread we keep the same color for all okay um, so it's a, called a bobbin feel it comes with the machine it's a very fine thread that right. way you can get lots onto the um onto the bobbin and you don't need to keep changing the bobbin which is great got loads and loads of you've got this in your basket now let me say it is limited in stock this special price saving 500 pounds you have a look elsewhere see where you can get this from remember it's two machines in one it's a sewing machine and it's um an embroidery machine so 1999 and you can have it on buy it on split pay if you want to if you want to spread the cost so look how simple that is so this is the embroidery you just press go. Yep. And it's just going to work. That's what I love. And do that. I know. <laughs> you just press go. But you could be prepping your next bit of fabric, designing what you're going to do next. Just let the machine do all the work for you. Well, also, you know how long it's going to take, so you know when you need to get back. Yeah. And on the machine, there's a little green dot on the screen, and it's showing us exactly where it's embroidering, so we know where it is and how long it's got to take as well. So this is just a three minute design, but it's going to fill this hoop out really nicely to show the scale of what you can actually do on these machines. And remember this is a sewing machine as well and it's a high-end sewing machine. When really you look is. at the number of stitches, and all, this includes a walking foot, a knee lift as well. So if we're just thinking about just the sewing machine, but I think having both of them, that you'll do all your sewing and because it's so easy, you think, oh, oh I'll just embroider yeah. that. You haven't got to get another machine out, you no. just clip the different 
bed on. Yep. And then you embroider as well. Because exactly. also we get used to having, if you've got an embroidery machine, it will cut the threads for us. Then we go back to a sewing machine. It doesn't do that or mm. vice versa. We get frustrated. And you know what it's like? We fall in love with our machines, don't we? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so you've got one machine that's going to do all those jobs for you. Great for space saving as well. And, and it's it, not too big that if you're still, I would still be able to take this machine out and about to classes. Yeah, like that's yeah. so fine. And it is the brother name, so you know it's quality. If you're going to um, check out on it, do take advantage of the split pay if you want to. Three equal, five, sorry, five equal payments. Three, that'd be nice. Three, nine, nine, eighty. And we, then we will send it straight to you. And before you know it, it does, it is the sort of machine that will, it just adds that extra finishing. Maybe you only ever use the embroidery part and you use a sewing machine just for hemming. Maybe you mainly use the sewing machine part and yeah. you use the embroidery bit for labelling. Yeah, yeah, we find it's, it's a bit of both um, because there's no compromise. Sometimes there is a compromise. Yeah, yeah. You know, either the embroidery gets smaller or the sewing machine's not quite the top spec, but this is a top spec machine. The other thing that's nice is you might see we've got this long arm here because of the size of the embroidery hoop. It means that we need not to space. Oh, the right. Okay. So even when you're sewing, you've got a long arm on your machine. So yeah, think... and having that deep throat on there makes quite a big difference, yeah. particularly in quilting. And remember, it comes with a walking foot. Yeah, which walking is foot, good. quarter inch piece of a side cutter, so that works like an overlocker. It's going Does to it have a free arm time. on it? Yeah, it comes with free motion, free arm. You can drop the feed dogs on there right, as well. Brilliant. So if you're doing bags and things, you can get in there. Yeah. And you can do free motion embroidery, or you can just do this yeah and it's going to go through molds i love layers. love watching this i don't think i'd go off and make it like, wow and you can do it through multiple layers if it's a quilted cushion that you're oh, doing or true. if it's a thick towel that you're embroidering if you've got guests coming today you want to initial their towels you can do that too on the machine oh wow cool yeah yeah you really you know, would end up everything, everything in my house would be labeled yeah everything exactly and that's it done so that's done so it's cut the threads We've pulled it away and come back to the beginning. It tells on the screen that it's finished embroidery. That's your three minutes think, okay, done. I can take that one out and then we can hold it up and have a look a at that. Yeah. That's amazing. Just three isn't minutes. It? How lovely. And then you so in obviously that's a piece of fabric in the hoop, but if you had a ready made item, maybe you've got some curtains in your sewing room, you just keep moving the hoop along the curtains. Yeah, exactly. And keep repeating it if you yeah. want to. And we've got even do you mind pass me that you see the notepad at the end there? All right at the end there, that's it. So thank you very much. So this is applique work. So what you do with this, they're built-in designs that are done for applique. So it will do a rough outline for you. You lay your fabric on top. Right. It will stitch over it once with a running stitch. You trim your fabric and then it does all this satin stitch all the way around. So your stitch is always going to be perfect. So you can layer it up with different fabrics underneath oh, as well. Oh, that's amazing. So applique and embroidery. Applique, embroidery, the lace work that we saw. Even if you have the um, Brother app, if you do the paid for service as well on mm -hmm. there, it's £89 a year, but um, there's so many extra designs that you can get there. Then I could take a photograph of you, lovely mm -hmm. photograph, of course, <laughs> and I could turn that into an embroidery design and send it straight wow. to the machine. You could do that with your pets. And the nice thing is then it's mobile, so you could be out at your friend's house for dinner, mm -hmm. take a quick sneaky photo of the dog, and then go yeah. home and embroider that out oh, for them. Oh, wow. So, that, so the good thing about it is you're not commit into that so you can start off by just using the stitches that are built in yep the 258 of them then once you've got through the 258 think well i'll just use all the free ones on and the app so many and then when you think oh photos yes then you can have the paid for exactly. and then that's entirely up to you. you don't have to do that at all nope. that's an option um can you show us how you swap from one yeah to another? of course because so we well, need to know it's easy. It is easy. So what we're going to do first, turn the machine off. So I'm just going to turn it off there. I'm going to slide this one off, the embroidery carriage. There's a little lever underneath that I pull. That comes off completely. I'm just going to pop that one down there. This one slides on like that. And Look at I that. Turn the machine back on. The machine will now know that it's... And the machine knows. It knows that it's now it going knows. to be sewing and not embroidering. And so now it's like a normal sewing machine. It is. Yes. Only we've got loads and loads of stuff. But it's a lovely sewing machine. I mean, it's a high-end sewing machine. Yeah. And just to give you an idea, that's the width of the stitch that you can go. So that's a built-in stitch within there. Wow. And even the stippling is done on the machine. Be and that's because the machine can go sideways. So when you're quilting, you know, normally we're used to the machine going forwards and backwards. Yeah. The machine can go this way and that way as well. That's amazing. So I don't amazing. need to keep rolling my fabric. Wow. To, um, to take I would have thought, yeah, I mean, that lo that's like long arm quilting, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, but done on the machine. So I'm just going to grab my, because I might be able to show you. 
That's fabulous, isn't it? And that shows the quality. Two hundred and ninety one different stitches. So there's all the utility stitches for when you want to do um stretch, when you want to do some overcasting, the buttonholes, that's all on there. You it comes with a walking foot. So as a sewing machine on its own, it's amazing. I think as an embroidery machine on its own, it's amazing. But the fact that you've got both together, there's even ten different buttonholes. And we showed you before all of those different feet that all come with it. And the nice thing with brother machines is we have a look. You have a look elsewhere. You will find it everywhere else. Two four nine nine. So five hundred pounds saving, and that's today. That's today. And when we've sold out, we've sold out. Five hundred pounds saving. So if you've got a little birthday coming up, oh, how lovely would that be? Somebody saying to you, oh, I would like to treat you. You say yes. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Very quickly, especially where you got all that money off it as well. Mm. Well, yeah, because why not? You know, £500 saving. And I think if you've got any questions, do ask. Yes. Because I know it's an investment. Tracy's going to be here for the rest of the morning. So if you do have any questions, mess message us in. Tracy knows it will know the answers. Because it is, you know, it's a considered purchase. It's an investment. Um, if you go online, if you go onto the Brother website, there are videos that explain exactly how it works, what it does, all the different attachments, feet. Because everybody uses their machine for slightly different things. Don't yeah. they? Everyone has, oh, well, I only ever use that foot because I do all of this. And other people go, well, I never use that. I use yeah. this section. And that's what's really good with Brother. Logo's Brother at your side, and it really feels like that. So they've got a really good support app as well. That's free, again, to download. Just download it. Okay. Pull in the model number of the machine that you've got. It will ask you. And then there's loads of videos help on there. You also get a really good manual. So if you want, prefer to actually have a physical manual, that's still going to come with the machine as well. Yeah. You could also go onto their website. And of course, you're buying into a really good brand. So there's so many. Yeah, YouTube I mean, it's a quality brand, isn't like it? It's got a heritage. It's um, brother machines have been around for a long time. They're a tried and trusted brand. And I think that's important with when you are spending this money, you want something you know will work. So when I borrowed the embroidery machine to have a go, I only used the manual and I just sat down and worked through it page by page. It was really simple to understand. Because you know, it's well with all these electronic things, some of them, you know, I have no idea what you're talking about, but this sort of tells you the answers. It does, and it talks to us, it tells us what foot we need for which job when we're sewing, um, which makes it really kind of easy to So use. this is sewing machine function. But it's but it still doing does those really big well. stitches, yeah, which is great if you're quilting. So I just want to put a decorative stitch on something. So you can see it's kind of moving itself sideways yeah. because it's doing a really big stitch now for us, which is important. That's you know, amazing, that and that's just the sewing machine function. But obviously, you know, it does you can do all your patchwork and quilting with it. It's so straight, it's so zigzag, it does everything a normal machine will do with yep. knobs on. Yep, it'll kind of cut your threads as you go along so you don't end up with all those big tails at the end. As we were saying earlier, you've got that nice big throat size here as well, which is brilliant, even if you're dressmaking or crafting, bag making, especially quilting. So have this extra space here is really lovely. I think it's lovely that you can personalise everything. And even if you're making a bag, you could embroider a pocket on the pocket, strap on the strap. I would do that. Yeah. I think that would be great. Yeah. And think in presents as well. Because I think if you make a beautiful gift bag and personalise it, you don't have to spend much on the person. Oh, no. Exactly. Well, you'll see lots of the samples that we were looking at today, you know, things like this. Yeah. And this, yeah. we've used the I, I love that. I think Hessian that's brilliant. fabrics. There's nothing fancy in there, but you all um, add in the decoration yourself. Good morning, both from Soggy Bristol. Can this be used as a free arm sewing machine, please? Yes. So, as in, take this piece off yeah. here. Yeah. So, we take that off, and then you've got your free arm here. So, you can get your leg, sleeve, bag, Absolutely. pocket, whatever. Yeah, that's all in there. And it has free motion embroidery and free motion foot as well. Yeah, that bit pops on. You've got a secret compartment When you've checked back. out, half the stock's gone. Wow. So if you are thinking about it, if you don't get yourself checked out, and don't want to rush you because this is a considered purchase, but get it secured now because no money will come out of your account till midnight. It is £500. If you get yourself checked out, you've saved £500. You can choose whether you want to go for the split pay. Remember, split pay is interest free. We take on that interest charge for you so that you can spread the cost. But half of this stock has gone. Message from Susan. Hi, both. Did you say the machine has Wi Fi? Yes. Also, what was the wire you took off? The embroidery. Oh, this. okay. The embroidery <laughs> foot has a wire in the back, so that plugs in because it's got a laser light, so it will shine down and show you exactly 
where it's going to embroider, which helps for your position. So that's, you just plug that so into the So you just plug that machine. into the back, yes. And it is Wi-Fi. So that's really important if you want to future-proof your machine yeah, now. Yeah. That gives you access to so many different Well, designs. because they're constantly bringing out new designs, aren't they, yeah. all the time? Yeah, and do log on to the uh, Brother website and sign up to their newsletter because they'll send you free ones every month as well. So, and I think, you know, get, get used to it, which will take you about half a day. And then you'll think, oh, I'm not going to use that. And then you're, oh, I'll just have a look. Yeah, and, and then you find all these new designs. We've got another question from Jane. How easy is it to embroider a photo and how large can the embroidery of the photo please? So exciting. Okay, so the photo can be as big as your hoop. You lose maybe an inch in between. So it depends on the machine you've got. So on this one, you've got the nice big one. So, so how, big, kind of, what, how big is that? Uh, so we know. Oh, yes, I have a tape measure. I can probably we'll tell you because that's important. It's 260 oh. by 160. Oh yes, yeah, so, but what's that in inches? inches? So if you be, if you can, there's a bit of a margin. So I'm going to give you a rough, rough. I'd say 11 inches by six and a half. That gives you a margin. Yeah, it's bigger than that. But do you need a photo that big? Exactly. <laughs> was that was there another part of the question? So for that one, you... And is it easy? It is easy. You just need the app to do it. And the photo editing part is a paid-for service on, right, yes. on the app. So, so that's some, do that. Or you could use somebody online to digitise your photos or mm. buy software. You can buy Brother software and then you scan your photographs in and turn that in. You see, maybe you've got a wedding or something and you want to create a memory quilt um, from the wedding. You could get all of the photos put on there, couldn't you? Yeah. Or lovely to uh, make birthday cards for people. Yeah. So the app does it as a silhouette. Right. Really cool, like, silhouette of it, which is brilliant. Mm. Um, and then if you get software, then you can do it as a complete photograph with lots of different colours. But it's one of those there. things that, um, and that's what I love about it, is that you can start off thinking, well, I'm just going to use it for my patchwork my dressmaking and then oh, just have a go at personalizing yeah. and then you just keep moving up and up and up and then before you know it so you're not having to commit to all of this stuff no you don't have to have the app you're not committing to that um and the, it, the, to get the, the app in the first place is free so use the free one yeah on start there. off with the free doing. one and then if you think oh photos yeah but there's still loads of built-in designs you've still got the usb mm. port on the side but just because it's wireless it means that you know, you could be sitting in a car or you're sitting in a mm. restaurant and you can be designing on, on your... On we'll your have, well, I'll, we'll have a look in the break to see if we can find a picture um, of one of their photographs that they've done. I'm sure there must okay, be one online yeah, and great. we'll show it to you because I'd be really interested <laughs> to see what it looks like. Uh, good morning. If I purchased a 4x4 Hope, would I be able to use it? What a great price from Yvonne. Yes, you just need to make sure you've got the new clips, which you would have this sliding mechanism here. This is the easy way. And they slide on and pull so down. So you can buy them direct you from can buy, Brother. You can buy them direct from right, Brother okay. online, any retailer. You this know, comes so with two hoops, It by does, the way. yes. And this one is almost four by four. I think it's not much different, really. Yeah. I don't think. So I think I it's probably four that way. It's probably only an extra inch or that. so that way. So Anyway, it's we're going to have to leave that with you because it's 9.03. Uh, we've got to move on to the next. Keep, have a think about it. Ask us questions. Tracy's going to be here in the next hour as well, and she'll be back at 11. Remember, £500 saving today. Half of the stock is gone, just saying. I'm going to get, we'll have a look in the breaks. I really would like to show you of what it looks like to do a photo, just so you can see what the options are. Uh, we'll see you back here in a few minutes' time. Tracy will be back with me um, to do her fantastic capsule wardrobe dressmaking bundle. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we finish broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. 
Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app. Now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Uh, welcome back to Sewing Street. Um, congratulations to those of you who have bought the um, embroidery sewing machine. Limited now, £500 saving. Anyway, um, this hour is all about Tracy's fabulous, well, it's her dressmaking package, but I kind of feel like it's your capsule wardrobe. It comes in, it sells out, it comes in, it sells out. So we've got it all back again, and there are two ways you can buy it. So you can either buy printed patterns, which I know some of you love to have all the printed patterns in envelopes. I'll be going through those in a moment. Or you can buy it as a little box with a USB stick. So you can choose. Now, the, the patterns are available individually, but this is not only the most cost effective way of buying them, but you also get a free one. So it's cheaper to buy them as a bundle and you get a free one. Hasn't we haven't had this back in since August because Tracy obviously has to print them, package them. Oh, it takes ages, and 
and she's got new pants coming out so we it's taken a while but we've got them back and a capsule wardrobe is a really good wardrobe to have at the start of a new season and we i felt like this weekend things were warming up a tad I saw the old bluebell in the woods. So this is the beginning of the next season. So this is a perfect time because this capsule wardrobe can be used winter, spring, summer, but you can have your capsule warm weather and your capsule hot weather, but you can use it for both. So what you get in the bundle is you get the wrap skirt pattern. Now I'm going to show you all of these because Tracy's got them all hanging up and on. You'll be able to see them better, but now, this covers sizes 10 to 28, and they're all in there. The patterns, I'm going to just show you one so you can see how fab they are. They come in a resealable, because it's a bit of string, so it means that you don't have to break the envelope, because you're going to use these over and over again. Open it all up, and this is what you get inside. It's got a clear on the front, so you can see exactly what it is. You will get the full instruction booklet. Shows you exactly how to do it with photographs like that. You've got the size chart so that you can measure yourself, that you so that you know. It even tells you how to do it. Measure around your bust, measure around your waist, or how to measure your hips. And you can look at the size chart. Ignore what size you think you might be. Just follow this chart. Anyway, it goes from size 10, which is like a 35 inch bust, all the way up to size 28, which is a 55 and a half inch bust. So that's a nice big size range. And then the actual pattern pieces themselves, again, I'm just going to open up one or I'll have so much paper on this desk. I won't be able to get it all back in. Not only that, I'll get it all mixed up. But this is just one. So there is, a, when you, if you buy the printed patterns, you haven't got to do any photocopy. You haven't got to do sticking together. It's all there. <coughs> and it's nice thick quality paper so that you can because once you've made for example this wrap skirt you're going to make it for the summer you're going to make it for the spring you're going to use it over and over again it's all there and there's obviously more than one piece of paper in each pattern so that is the wrap skirt and i'll fold that up in a minute um you also get the um wide leg trousers these this pan sells so well on the website, massively popular because it's a really lovely, loose, easy fit, perfect for the spring, summer, perfect for going away on holiday. You can make it in a variety of different fabrics, viscose, jersey, satin, linen, you know, completely different depending on whether you want to, a casual afternoon trouser, whether you want a posher trouser, satin ones for your cruise, all sorts. So that's the wide leg. And then we've got two tops. We've got the Sienna top. This is a beautiful top. Obviously, Tracy's going to explain them in more detail. Um, then we then got the tie neck top. That's lovely. See, now that goes with the skirt. It goes with the trousers. This is what I mean about your capsule wardrobe. Make all of them. The neckline is beautiful. It's a nice high neck, isn't it? So you have to wear the necklace, covers everything. And if you get the bundle for free, you get the Suzy Scoop bag, which is a lovely bag. So you could even make the bag to match. If you made maybe the wide leg trousers, you could use the same fabrics for those side sections on the bag. We'll show you them all made up in a minute. But that's the whole bundle, $49.99. So you're getting five patterns. That makes it £12.49 a pattern. That's not included. So £12.49 for those patterns, and that one's free. Absolute bargain. Or £9.99 pattern if that wasn't one free. So remember that they are they range in size from 10 to 24 if you've got any questions because i know i'm having to go through it quite quickly just message in and we'll be able to answer them but we also have it on a usb because some people prefer to have all their patterns in one place maybe you don't want them all maybe you you want to print them out and you're going to make um you know a size 14 pair of trousers and then somebody says oh could you make me a pair size 22 oh i've already cut out the pattern that's fine just print it out again and then you can use it. You, and then it, you, you just, and what you do is you print it on normal paper and stick it together. So you haven't got to go to a special shop. You just keep them all. It comes in the little box. The USB stick just goes into the side of the computer. Once it goes into the size of your computer, the patterns come up um, in your documents. And there you go. You can then, it means you don't have to print them all. Also, you know, it's like sometimes when you use patterns lots of times, they might rip, they might tear, you might lose a piece. You know it's all safe in there. And obviously the benefit for that is there is a saving. So same pattern, same um, four patterns plus the free bag. 
$38.99. It just depends how you prefer. Some people want them all printed in envelopes and other people want them like this. Uh, message from Elizabeth. I've made five <laughs> pairs of the wide leg trousers in fleece lined jersey. Oh, nice. Cotton canvas, cotton, lightweight polyester and wool crepe. Thank you from um, these in Glasgow. Oh, amazing. <laughs> wow, five pairs. Well, I did say, I did say that they were... Um, really really good and you could make them in loads of fabrics now that's the best way to buy them is because you make the saving and you get the free pattern however if you just want one pattern we do have them so if you want just the wide leg trousers pattern 13.99 10 percent of the stock of that has already gone so if you want just the wide leg remember if you're buying them individually then they're printed you can't have them individually usb they have to be printed 13.99 if you want just the trouser pattern now all of the other patterns are on the website and we will run through them if you want to see them sewingstreet.com watch live they're all on there so you can get them but i'm going to go over to tracy because i want her to show us the patterns because when you see them live and moving they're quite different yeah exactly. so do you want to show us actually let's go to tracy because she's got the trousers on yeah if you so can stand in front do i need to come forward a little bit can we see <laughs> right so um tracy at the moment is wearing the sienna top Yes, which is part of the package. So that's one right. of the ones that we looked at earlier. Really easy, simple one to make and simple to wear. Nice and comfortable, but just a nice alternative. So like a T-shirt this time of year. Nothing's going to cling to us. It's going to flow nicely. It could be in a printed fabric, could be in a plain, uh, um, whatever you, you, you fancy, really. So these are our classic wide leg trousers. I've got pockets and I've got nice deep pockets. I love a pocket. Put, yeah. You know, our phones in or whatever. They're very flattering. Yeah. And I would wear these from day to evening, mm. even if I was going to a wedding. And then... You know, we've made them <gasps> in like a nice Ooh, satin pair. Nice. So exactly the same pair, but they can look so different. We've added a tie on here, and we do have a blog at alanstonecat.com. It's just a free one, free blog as to how to add the tie. So if you wanted to do that when you bought your pattern, feel free. See, that's lovely. I mean, just a simple black T-shirt with those. Exactly. It's elasticated waist. There's nothing clingy. Mm. They, they look flattering, but yeah. they're so easy to make and just really comfortable to wear. You can change the length if you wanted to have some kind of crop trousers. Oh, so you could have them well. like three-quarter length, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. Linen three-quarter length. Yeah. And it is, mm. as we've just heard, a pattern that you would use over and oh, over Oh, well, again. yes, definitely. So, yeah, so you could dress it up one of the tops that we've got here. So uh, I'm wearing it, as we say, with the Sienna top, which is um, a nice, easy one to wear. But so are these. And these are a bit more dressy. So this is the same top. Either have it hanging out or tuck it in. And it's got a lovely, whoops, sliding down there, bow detail on the back just ties in a oh that's bow. useful so that back. you could make for a really special occasion as well yeah you? but if you just wore it in a jersey then it would just be a nice yes. simple thing to yeah. wear during the day as well so you can have it either ways and then we've got our classic wrap skirt which is i've purposely made this so that it wraps all the way around and oh, we've got it a bit crooked on the stand but it should go oh okay I'll switch that around in a minute. But it drapes over to the front here like that. So it comes mm. over. You've got a really nice deep wrap. So it's not like you're going to be sitting down. It's going to be blown. You know, sometimes you buy them in the Quite shop. Quite like a wrap skirt because you can fit it to it's how you're feeling that day. Well, that's you? it. It ties nicely. Mm. But because it's a full wrap, all it's got is one button on the inside and a tie here. So it's not going to gape when you sit down. It's not. And there's room for adjustment if we change size and shape, Perfect. which we quite often do. And it means yes. that you've got that full. But when you buy wrap skirts in the shop and you go to sit down, they just come open because they don't want to use all that fabric. Yeah. So here yes, we've done it me. purposely with a nice big one. And it drapes up, as you see. Oh, it's beautiful. Front. So it's then flattering up to here as well so yeah again you could wear it as an everyday skirt or you can dress it up and wear it in an evening into a print too so they are things that are going to carry you all through different seasons and different occasions as well right and then on the pattern it does explain what sort of fabric you need to use it for them does. as well yeah so it tells you how much you're going to need and pat and fabric suggestions um yeah which that's brilliant yeah so the skirt can be viscose jersey satin linen silk lovely yes, I because it's they're really it universal that. patterns that you will use you'll be able to go through your stash at home of fabrics that you've got mm. and drag them out and go oh that'd be great nice pair of trousers nice top and you've got classic patterns there or it might be that you're going out fabric shopping and then it will tell you exactly how much fabric well, which is a nice to be able to do so if you were going to start which one is the easiest one um 
I would say the top I'm wearing is very easy. The trousers okay. are very easy. So we'll do a bit of a demonstration on okay. that. And I can what are you show you how to make first? it. So I'll start um, with the trousers. Yvonne says, I love the wide leg trousers. <coughs> confirm what the waistband is. Is it elastic? It's so? elastic. I love an elastic waistband. So do I love elastic. Oh, my goodness. It's so forgiving. You suddenly get to a range oh, elastic. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's so comfortable. And, you know, we do change shape and mm. size. And, yeah, and that way you're going to make the trousers. So they're done a size 10 up to size 28. But they're grouped in sizes. So 10 to 12 will be the same pattern, 14 to 16 right. will be the same. Because basically you're going to take the elastic. I've put guidelines for you in there for the measurement, but really the fitting is in the elastic. But you've shown, you, sure, I mean, you know, yourself. they're elasticated, but they look dressy. Oh, absolutely, they? yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, you don't have to think, oh, it's elasticated, it's not dressy. They really no. are. No, and that uh, works. Mm. It's, it's to do with the cut and it's to do with the way the pockets are. You know, mm -hmm. we haven't put those ones that are like elephant ears at the side and then they poke out. And, yeah, you know, yeah. It's not done like that. We've done slanted pockets, so they fit in. So they're flattering too, so your eye falls away. So you Perfect. don't notice that they're elastic, but they are very comfortable. So which um, pattern are you going to show us? So I'm going to do those wide leg trousers. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. It's always. We sell it every time we do up. this, we sell them out. So the first thing we're going to do is take our pocket piece. So we're going to take it like that. You'll see that one side is cut off here and I'm going to fold that in half like that. And then you would press that. And you see, we've still got that slanty bit here and I'm going to stitch along the bottom. So I'm making this in a nice bright pink a bright fabric, um, which I just wear with a plain white t-shirt in the summer. But of course, if you wanted to make them as um, drama trousers or travel trousers, you can do that too. For traveling, these are perfect. Just gonna switch to, I'm just gonna turn the stitch length. I'm gonna make the stitch length a bit longer, just so that it'll make it a bit quicker for us to get them. And we're using that same machine that we were looking at earlier. I can preset the machine to go forwards and backwards. At the beginning so you're days. demonstrating on the um, amazing £500 off sewing machine? Yes, why not? Because <laughs> we've got it here. So, oh, yes, please, I'll use yes. that machine. So £500 it's gonna all... pounds off, just saying, 1999 This is the sewing machine part of the sewing and embroidery machine. So you could embroider your name on them afterwards. Yes, you could. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, so you could actually do embroidery down the side of a skirt. Can yeah, you? of course, yeah. So we're going to take our trouser leg. I'm just going to find the right panel here. And take it to the top. So you're going to cut your fabric as a pair for trousers always. So what because sort you want of fabric are you using right. there? Well, I'm using a viscose. Okay. Uh, and plain black ones that I've got on are done in a viscose as well. But as we saw, we had that nice satin fabric that we mm. used in earlier. I like the idea of linen. I think yeah, three linen. quarter length linen would be. Yeah. And I guess what's good is that you could use an inexpensive fabric to start with. So you really knew what you were doing. And then you could use a really expensive yeah. one. So... I mean, because there's no fitting, it doesn't. There's not really a lot of room for error. On no, something. that's there's, true. And even if you're cutting, like my cutting's not very straight. In fact, my sewing's not that straight. But <laughs> it doesn't. With things like this, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Not well, all your patterns tailored. are like that, aren't they? There's, you know, they are created for people where you do, it doesn't have to be perfect. They're not it's tailored not beautifully styles. Tailored. No, they're styles that are comfortable to wear, so therefore they are kind of fall into our body shape. Alison says, hi guys, can you put interfacing on the viscose fabric or stabiliser from Alison in Anglesey? Uh, oh, how nice, I'd like to live in Anglesey. Yeah, I'm not sure why you would need to, because if you're using a viscose like I'm wearing now, it's because you want them to flow. Yes. So that you wouldn't really stiffen the fabric. Yeah, so Alison, why changing do you want to put interfacing on? Sometimes, like, uh, you'd use a little bit on the top here for the facing. You okay. have a little bit of interfacing on there to keep that nice and V. And you put, nor what sort of interfacing would just you Just a lightweight interfacing. Oh, and so it tells you on the pattern. Nothing special. Nothing spe special, okay. no, just a regular so if you do want to, Alison, then a lightweight interfacing. Yeah, but if you want the trousers to be a bit thicker, then just use a he slightly heavier fabric. Okay. So this is our front panel of the trousers. And I can tell that because I've got the same cutout that I had on that pocket, that diagonal bit there. So I'm laying the pocket now on top with our right sides together. So always right sides facing. And I'm going to stitch in. That's going to be the front line of our pocket. And this is going to be our pocket bag that will flip over onto the inside. So but that's nice. Finish. So that pocket style means that you don't get the bulk at hip. The exactly. Hips. So when you have an inseam pocket, it can be quite bulky at the hip. Yeah, yeah. it can. Yeah. Particularly for these trousers that are... Um, that we're making a lot in sort of viscose and floaty fabrics. You want a pocket that's not going to be too stiff or stick out as well. So I've stitched that, so I'm going to take those pins out there and then we can flip that pocket back over into position like this onto the inside. So it will, I'm going to stitch, top stitch along here. So this is the top line that we've just done. If I top stitch that quickly then you'll be able to see what I'm doing. 
and it will start making sense. This is just form in our pocket, so that's the first thing that we do. And because of the um, way I've done the cutout pocket, it means there's no confusion whether you've got your trouser legs mixed up as well, because I know that when you're doing trousers, that can be quite confusing. Um, but there's no room <laughs> for error because of that. So it kind of solves that problem as well. So I'm just going to lay the trouser flat. So I've got that crease that I've pressed in earlier. Do you remember I folded the pocket in half? Oh, that's nice. And so you could use a different fabric for that pocket. Yeah, of course. Flash a colour. Yeah, that'd be nice. Or like that. You could even add some piping down the side if mm. of the leg if you wanted to. So I'm just folding that flat into position now. And you'll see that then that's where my pocket is. So we stitch You've got that beautifully the pattern here. matched. Probably more luck than anything. <laughs> yeah, but look at that. <laughs> that whole flower. <laughs> yeah. And then straight down like that. So the pocket is in stitch. If I flip it over, you can probably see on the back what we're doing. Yeah, here. yeah, no, that so makes there's sense. There's our nice pocket there. So I've pinned that into place. I don't need to stitch, I'm just going to pin it, but you could kind of hold that pocket there if you wanted to before we do the next line. But just for speed, I'm going to whiz ahead. So that's our front done. And now I'm just going to take our back leg. And I'm going to line that one up on top. And I'm going to stitch down the side seam here and the inside leg. Obviously, this really thing. is. I'm going out this evening. I need a pair of trousers. Absolutely. Isn't it? it really is. I'm loving this. It's very, oh, very pair. quick pair of trousers. And Anyone can. This is, I'm Absolutely. Anyone can make this. I would do this as a complete beginner class. Yeah. Um, no problem at all. And I think that pocket's very clever because those pockets, I always think, look complicated because they're all in bits. Yeah. But the way you've shown that, well, I did That's it in one piece, so it yeah, just makes it much easier. Because quite often pockets like that do come in several pieces, so that's yeah. a lot easier. And then you it? can't work out which is the left and the right. And yeah, so by doing it in one piece, it's much, much easier. Um, yeah, you could whiz these up in They'd no time at all. I'm thinking satin for pyjamas would be amazing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really nice. But also great for like travelling, you know, when you're going in the car and you're, oh, my child's bit, everything's going to get creased. Those nice satin pair that we were looking at earlier. Perfect, because they don't crease. I've literally just taken yeah, them out Yeah, well, all the viscose as well. I mean, that really doesn't, does it? Yeah, and if you're travelling. Nice for travelling. Yeah, if you're going on holiday, you don't want to be constrained in trousers. Aeroplane travel. And if you made them in really nice fabric, you might get upgraded. Yeah. If you dress up, you know, <laughs> you want to be comfortable, but I'll get upgraded. Worth a try. It's never happened to me, but people do, don't they? <laughs> Some, if someone's got to be upgraded. Yeah. It's never yeah. been me, but one day. I my mum and dad style. did once. My, they always go, like, my dad will always wear a blazer when he gets on the plane. And a couple of times, they've got upgraded. Really? Yeah. Mm, it's never happened to me. Mind no. you, I've not worn a blazer, so maybe that's why I don't know. <laughs> maybe I need satin trousers. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just doing down the side seam now. So obviously, we're going to have two legs to do here. So you do one leg first and then repeat exactly the same on the other leg. And the other thing you do is just to neaten the seam. So I'm not here. I'm just stitching down it. Um, with a regular stitch and then you'll go along and need to do a neatening stitch afterwards so if you've got an overlocker you could do that you could do an overcasting stitch and on that brother machine that you're using that's got the overcasting stitch it does and it even comes with a side cutter so the side cutter is a that's foot it. that you put on and I'm, yeah it doesn't come i don't believe it comes with any other machine apart from maybe the really big mm. few thousand well, how does pounds that one work, then? so you just put it on the machine and then it cuts as it stitches as no well. yeah so it's almost like a bit of an overlocker. Exactly. Yeah. And that's on the machine. That's the it one that's with there, it. there, there. How long have I been doing this for? Still, I, I just can't do it. No, I'm not. Can't, I can't. Why can't I do that? <laughs> yeah, why can't I? How many years have I been doing this? 1999. I can't believe that that machine actually comes with like, that is almost an overlocker, but yes, not, but it exactly. does the same thing. Yeah, so you've got loads of great accessories that come with it too. But if you haven't, don't be put off with this. You can still do it with um, a zigzag stitch, an overcasting stitch. You could even cut it with pink and shears like we used to do if you wanted I to. I always do that because I'm a lazy dressmaker. <laughs> now, if you want just the wide leg trouser pattern on its own, whenever, I can't, I just, look, I did it. Why can't I do that? There we go, I've got it. When everyone has checked out of this, <laughs> um, it's sold out of the trouser pattern on its own. Remember, it is available in the bundle. That is your most cost-effective way of buying it because you get a discount on buying all five together, four together, and you get one pattern free. Actually, I'm going to just get that down whilst... Well, um, Tracy sewing her seam. Let me just show you. This is the pattern you get for free. See, because when you look at the picture, you don't know how big it is. How nice is that? 
could even coordinate that with your trousers. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely coordinating <laughs> that with trousers. Well, imagine that travelling, then you would get upgraded. Oh, uh, you your bag definitely. matches your outfit. I mean, guaranteed. <laughs> so maybe you've made um, a nice print trouser. You use that print here, and then <coughs> plain. It's fully lined. Isn't that lovely? In, well, I would do, I'd go denim. In fact, you know that Dan Morris we had? <coughs> denim, one of the Dan Morris fabrics there. This is free, by the way, totally free. But would you not embroider the front with your lovely Yeah, machine? now you, and also you've got the embroidery machine. <laughs> Hands off. No valuables kept inside. <laughs> you just upgrade me. Upgrade please. me, please. <laughs> I only turn left. <laughs> Oh dear, I wish. <laughs> um, right. Only turn left. <laughs> That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? So there we go. That's that's the free one. Worth getting. Yeah, definitely. So you've well, it's the bundle. Egg, you've yeah. got the whole collection, which is lovely. Oh, I think. Well, it's the capsule wardrobe, yes. isn't it? But these can be spring, summer, autumn. Winter. Oh, absolutely. Just depends. Yeah, what year round. Yeah, day, evening. You know, any of these tops, you can just change them around. And um, so I've stitched down the long side here, and I've stitched down here. Now, don't worry that this you'll see that they won't lay flat. The back leg is bigger. And that's to accommodate our bottom. So lots of people are new that. to dressmaking. You expect everything to lay completely flat or patchwork. Right. If you're doing a lot of patchwork, you obviously like, I want everything I to be flat. But we're actually making a 3D shape to yeah. fit our body. And that's what makes them so comfortable because we've got space around to For the move. right place. So don't worry, that is correct. You will have more fabric at the back than you do in the front. So I've done that leg and I've got one that I've made earlier and I'm just going to put one inside the other. Okay, I want right sides together. So I'm going to pop this leg. So this one I've turned through so the right sides are facing out and this one's still inside out. And I'm going to pop that one inside there, right inside, so we've just got one leg and I'm going to line up those seams. So we take that seam and that seam, I'm lining those two up together and then we're going to stitch all the way around. It's to lovely. Fold. So like that. I know it seems strange, but it will work. Yeah, Kat's loving that fabric. This one? Yeah. yeah it's nice, isn't it? It's yeah, great yeah. for the summer. And that's the nice thing is that you could, you know, when you're making your own clothes, you can make sure that they're the fabric that you want, the length that you want. The style well, it is nice want. because, you know, when you go fabric shopping or, you know, we've got, we've got plenty of fabric. Just go on to, if you go on to sewingstreet.com, have a look on the Viscose fabric, got plenty. Um, it's just nice to know what you're going to make as yes. well, isn't it? Yeah. So if you have a nice stable collection like this. Now for the wide leg trouser, you will need 2.4 metres of main fabric. Just saying. Question. Question. Good morning. Would this pattern work for medium weight denim, please, from yes. Sue? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah, be nice. And I'd use like maybe use a nice contrast thread sometimes for a bit of the top stitch. So I guess as what well. you probably can't use is a really thick like wool fabric. Would they not? I drape mean, or they could probably you? you would probably feel it wouldn't be that flattering because they probably bunch at the waist. Right. With an elasticated waist, they might. Bunch but with a medium, up. But a medium weight, weight denim. denim oh yeah, you've got to be using an orange thread. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely an orange thread with yeah. that. Or bright red. And then actually with the denim, I would do that pocket insert bit in a little print. Oh, that would be nice. Because I think I love a print with the denim. Yeah. These are gorgeous. I love this pattern. Oh, and do send me a photo if you do. I love seeing photos. <laughs> there are only four trouser patterns left. That's this one here. Four. Four. We got more stock because this is really popular. Obviously, they're still in the bundle, but there are four of these left. <laughs> They've gone. There are none of these left. <laughs> but if you buy the whole bundle, then yes, they have. So if you really want the trousers, buy the whole bundle because you're going to make it all anyway. Because you're going to make them all anyway, yep. aren't you? So they're like that now, one inside the other. So I'm just going to turn them the right way around. And do remember, if you're buying these, do look at the, the free hack. I'll just show you again what that is. So that's to make the tie. So if you want to make... Does the tie work or is it decorative? It's just decorative. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, nice because phone. we want the elastic. We don't want to be constrained, either, right? So I want the elastic to still be able to work. But that does give so it just a bit added of it a on. Judge, it, doesn't it? Yeah, and the uh, the blog gives you the measurements and things. So it's a personal thing. With and you could do that like. in contrast, couldn't you? Yeah. So the plain black ones. These are like my everyday trousers that I wear. Mm. The ones that I've got now. So I haven't worried about the tie. But if I was going out for the evening, I might want something a bit fancy. So when you do your designing, does it start with what you want to wear? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm with you and on that. I Why make something you don't want? Exactly, and I want to be comfortable and I want to make mm. stuff quickly and easily. Yes. I want the fabric to do the work and I want it to fit, but I don't want to be 
you know, anything to constrain. And, you know, I'm looking for styles. Yeah, comfort is great. Elastic's great. Well, but comfort and flattering. Yeah, That's... and like if I want a skirt, then I'll go to the wrap skirt because, again, that wraps around. It hides anything I don't want to because the drape pulls our eye yeah, away, away and drapes up and over. That I like that. that we sometimes. The same with the tie neck top. I love that one. I'll try and get a chance to put it on in a minute. Um, yeah. Because, you know, it, it's really just flattering around the neck area. It falls so lovely over the sleeves. And, yeah, just a nice little... Yeah, because sometimes with a high neck top, they're quite tight over the bust yes, area. And one, I don't want that. Which is all. fine if you don't have bust. That's fine. Yes. But if one does, yeah, then you, exactly. it's quite nice to be able to wear a high neck with a drape. Yeah, and you want to just be mm. able to move and do things without feeling constraints. So sometimes as we go into the warmer weather, it's harder to know what to wear, isn't yeah. it? You know, yeah. fine. And T-shirts, to get that right cut of T-shirt is hard. So something like this, for me, would just replace a T-shirt. Nice, easy to wear. I think they're easier to wear because T-shirts, the problem is if you buy a big T-shirt so it's not clingy, it sort of sits wrong, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. I'll put one on so we can have yeah, a quick I'd look. Yeah, I'd like to see that. So with the trousers then, so then we would, just to show you, um, I won't it, do the whole thing, but you do have then a waistband that goes on the top. So you're gonna, what you would do is stitch the waist, fold it in half so you've got right sides together. And we're going to stitch down here, leaving a small opening because that's where we'll thread our elastic in. Then we would turn it back round, fold it in half. And Kat, you can't have the trousers. All the She's way just, around. Kat's going, can you finish the <laughs> face? I really want the trousers because their car was broken into this morning. Oh, no. Woke up this morning, smashed window, third time this year. Oh, my Stole God. Stole a radio. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Kat. I know, that's but you still can't have the trousers. the day. Oh. Stop your stop stories. You still can't have the trousers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, so yeah you would stitch that round all the way around flat and then you take your elastic and thread it through so as much as I've put measurements there you are making these to fit you so okay, put the elastic so around your waist and, make and sure then see the, yeah the size that you want mm. and then stitch it and of course you can change the length I've done them for uh, for my length so I'm like five seven so they're quite long, um, but if you need to try, if you, mm. you, you just try to do the elastic first, try it on, and you can obviously shorten those if you want to, depending on whether you're going to wear heels, Perfect. not heels. The nice thing when you're making your own trousers is it's really easy to do that. And How tall are you, Kat? 5'7". You're not. <laughs> <laughs> you won't want one this step in because I've done it in contrast thread, just to show you. <laughs> So, um, She's five six. She's oh. only joking. Um, so for the hem, you're just going to fold it under and under again, and then machine all the way around. So something that you can make these very quickly. Yeah, I love the them. The same with the wrap skirt. And don't worry on the length of the wrap skirt. If you are if you need to alter the length, again, I've done a video. So look at alanstonecat.com because it's got that curved edge um, on the skirt. If you want to alter it, just follow the little video that I've done. Oh, there okay. To help you. So we really are there to help if you've got any queries or questions. Because I know we're all different. So there are the videos available of different parts of them? Different parts. Only things that we feel that it maybe, the... like the length of the wrap skirt. Normally yes. you would just, yeah. on our styles, it's normally really easy. You can just take two inches off the bottom or whatever you want to. But the wrap skirt, because of that curve. Right, so the bits that are a little, little bit different. fiddly. So then... I thought we'd do a little video okay. just to help you um, on there. Because um, that puts people off sometimes on a skirt and I think it's nice you know the trousers are brilliant but sometimes it's just nice to have a to wear a skirt isn't it and to feel a little mm. bit more dressy and they should well like you say it could be a shapes. short one midi could be a maxi yep. skirt couldn't it exactly yeah wrap skirt is on its own there 13.99 40% of the stock of that one has gone so I'm just going to run through the patterns again while Tracy gets changed um Actually, must she? Because she's got a grey version of that. I like that. So, um, if you want the whole bundle, now this is the only way you can get get hold of the trouser pattern because it's sold out on its own. Half of the stock of the bundle has gone, and that doesn't count what we've got in baskets. That's what's been that's been um, checked out. So, wide leg trouser pattern, wrap skirt pattern, sienna top pattern. That's the one that Tracy was just wearing. In fact. Tracy's actually wearing that one there. Um, the tie neck top pattern that she's going to just put in in a minute. And for free, this Susie Scoop bag, which is a really nice size bag, actually. Love that. The Susie Scoop bag so that you, well, you can make that to put your whole wardrobe in, couldn't you? Great for travelling. That's a nice um, flight on flight bag, isn't it? Because you get a lot in it. You can get your magazine that you've bought from the duty free with your two bottles of gin tonic ready for as soon as you land all of that in there hmm? I want to go on holiday with you. 
Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, always buy a bottle of gin in the duty free. A couple of really rubbish magazines. Uh, good morning. These are lovely patterns. Would they suit me at five foot? Thank you, Mary from Glasgow. Yes, of course they would, Mary. It's the best height. Well, I'm five foot one, so we're nearly the same. Would they suit five foot people like Of me? course. Yes. Of course. Because they Probably suit us better, to be honest, honest Mary. You know, you know <laughs> probably, I'd say. If well, because you can change the length of them. Exactly. So a wide leg, a classic wide leg trouser is going to suit any shape and size. The mm. same with the top. There's nothing, you know, the skirt you would have to shorten. But say, do watch the video that's on there because I've done it as a video to show you how to shorten it. Um, but yeah, no, we're not. And I think, to be honest, Mary, when I go on holiday, I always get three quarter length trousers. I'm not a knee person, so I don't really like shorts. Um, I like something to go below the knee and, I, and that's quite nice with these and I wear those all the time and I think if you're short I think it's fine to wear crop trousers is lovely yeah. as well yeah that top looks lovely on you yeah so it's very it, flattering yeah again it just falls because it shoulders. falls doesn't it yeah it's not but clingy. the sleeves are reversed so they go the oh, opposite way to the other one. Oh, look at this I like yeah. that so they're not clingy we're not getting it's like skinny. almost bat wingy yeah but in reverse so it's just flattering it's got a nice curved hem to it or you can have it just tucked in at the front like I am um, and then, yeah, it just ties at the back. So it means it's not difficult to make um, because it just ties around the back. Um, yeah, and you can use... And the one behind fabric. you is the Susie, but oh. you like... Is that like a so green linen? Yeah, so that's the one that I had on a minute mm. ago, but I've just done it in really casual fabric. You know, you just wear that with a pair Does of black trousers. Does that have just pleats at the bottom? Yeah, just pleats, and we're going to make that one now just to okay. show you. So that's the one that I had on a minute ago in the stalk fabric, so just made up in a casual... Because all of these styles, I think, can be very dressy, or can be really casual. I mean, I'd make so this with the one bottom of that, it. it's pleated to sort of pull it in, but not be tight. Yeah, below our stomach. Yeah, Mary, <laughs> Mary, we've definitely got this. <coughs> I think we're going to look even better in these. <laughs> that would suit me. <laughs> right. So um, the top pattern. So you're going to show us the yeah the, su the Selena Selena. So we're going to take and what our front, front panel. Are using there, is so again, one? I've got this is like a cotton lawn. This one. Oh, is it? Because I'm thinking for the summer. Yeah, just a nice light fabric. It doesn't need to be anything too heavy. That's very nice. But then the linen ones, yeah, it's like. I a, love that linen so one. Casual day or evening, you choose. It, the, the important thing, I think, is that you get really good classic patterns. They're easy yeah, to follow, easy yeah. to make. Um, you've got all the sizes there. In fact, if you get the USB, you can then print it over and over again. You can print one copy and cut it to a 10. You could print another one and make a size 28 for your friend. Whatever you yeah. want to do, you've got the option to do that. That's the nice thing with the USB. So if you, you get the USB, it. then you can print them out. If you're buying the printed pattern, trace them rather than cut them out. Because otherwise, once you've cut it out to that size... But if you want to be able to make them in different sizes, the USB pattern is brilliant because you can just print out one lot, stick it together, cut out the size you want, keep it, and then if you want a different size, you can cut it out. Yeah, I like the fact because we we often sell lawn and lightweight fabrics, and I think, oh, that would look nice as a blouse. Yeah, but what a great pattern. Yeah, and we want things that we can make quite quickly and quite yes. easily. And there's nothing worse than you make. Yeah, that's something the one I want to make. Fit, but I want to make own. the top. The Sienna top, that is gorgeous. Yeah. Right, okay. So what we've got is you've got your front panel and then we've got pleats along the bottom. Now I've marked the pleats on the pattern for you. Obviously, if you need to adjust them, you can, but you shouldn't need to. Um, if you did, that would just be because you've selected the wrong size, but just follow the size chart. So I've got small snips here. And what I'm gonna do is fold one snip to the next one and back, and that makes our pleat. And then you just put a pin to hold it. And I'm going to put another one the other side as well, like that, just to really hold that pleat in place so that it doesn't flip over. And then I'm going to find our next two. So I've got this one here, and I'm going to line it up with that next one. Yeah, and that's all you do to make a pleat. Put a pin to hold it, and then we'll continue till we get to the centre. So this one is then going to come to our centre, which I've pressed a line in the middle. I've pressed it in half. And then you can see that, fold that into So when you the developed this pattern, how did you come up with the fact you'd put pleats across the bottom? Well, every collection I do has different techniques. Yeah. So we're up to collection 22 at the moment. I've got all new ones that I'm coming out as well. So I want to teach different things. So mm. each time there might be a different process. So this time we've chosen pleats. We could have elasticated it, but I thought, well, we've got elastic on the waist. You yeah, know, I like the fact that that one isn't elastic. Yeah. That it's got the pleats because it's... Mm, more tailored, isn't it? Yeah, because it's like a dressmaking course. When I used to do the classes, we would try and teach right, many okay. techniques. So within here, that would be like a six or ten week dressmaking course. So okay. it would probably cost you 
you know, a couple of hundred pounds. Well, it won't because course. you're learning all this. I just think that I've never seen a top like that where it has pleated to just because sometimes you don't want to tuck it in, but then no. it's too loose when you hang it out. But this is the, the perfect answer. Yeah. And then say so you're just learning different things as you go along as well. Because we're hoping. And I guess you could lightly elasticate it if you wanted. Of course. To, yeah, you? no problem. Yeah. Yeah, you can elasticate it or just elasticate the back if you wanted to. Um, it's it's up to you, but it just gives you a chance to use these fun. There's so many lovely fabrics and prints out there at the moment. I know, I know. I well, even on here because we often say with our quilting weight cotton, they're lovely for you know summer blouses. Mm. All you need is the pattern. I mean, we yeah. see so many fabrics, and sometimes people just don't. Oh, have quick the question about trousers. Okay. Um, Hi, this is from our customer service. A customer has asked what elastic, how much, and the width needed to make the trousers. Can you advise, because she's watching? Yes, it says on the front of it, it's one inch elastic, and I think you need a metre for size 10. Yes, so you eight need inch. one metre of elastic, and it has to be like an inch wide, so 25 mil wide. You will need a metre for sizes 10 to 20, one and a half metre for sizes 22 to 28. Yeah. So basically, an inch wide elastic, and if you get a metre and a half, that'll cover you for everything. Exactly. Basically, it's what fits comfortable around your waist. So you could measure your waist with a piece of yeah. a tape measure and go, okay, that... Get yourself two metres and you can make two pairs of trousers. Exactly. That's what I'd exactly. say. But inch wide. Yeah. So you can see there, what I've done, very quickly, is just pins that into place. I know it looks complicated because there's lots of pins, but I'm just putting two pins in each pleat to hold it. So these right. pleats, these are folded going this way and these are folded oh, okay. going that way. It's written very clearly. Our instructions are very, very simple. Um, and I'm going to just do a line of stitching now to hold that because then I can take those pins out to save them getting in the way on the next okay. stage. So I'm just going to do a small... Well, these, so it's these a stitch. designs, they're so quick to make that it, they're actually, if you're doing a little pleated detail, that's yep. quite nice. It's not, you know, taking up loads of time. No. And, and that's what's giving the shape. So that's why mm. we don't need darts or anything like that. And they're these classic. Are lovely. So remember, if you want the USB, 38.99. That's on screen at the moment. And if you want the printed patterns, that's just coming back in, uh, 49.99. It's the only way that you can get hold of the trousers pattern. So I think I'm Another question. I love these tops, but I prefer my tops longer. Can you lengthen them, please, of course. Margaret? Very, very simple to lengthen it. Yeah, and if you need help doing it, just, just drop us a message. But you can draw a line here and then just lengthen it down. I mean, this one... Where would you draw the line? So I would draw it Where here. Where would you draw the line? <laughs> I would draw it here, roughly right there. Below the bottom of the yeah. sleeves. And then just add a little right. bit in and lower it down, just because then you don't have to redo the, the pleats. Well, yeah, because some people... Then, so you might want to make it... You might want it, like, waist length. You know, real sort of a cropped one. Yes. Or you might want it just above the knee length. Yeah. It could be like a tunic then, couldn't it? And that's the nice thing when you're making your own clothes is you can do all these yeah. things. Which, I mean, I honestly, I, I shortened a dress on Saturday and I cut 25 centimetres off it. That's wow. ridiculous, isn't it? That is crazy. 25 centimetres. Yeah. I thought, well, you who made something this? with that? I know. Nice well, honestly, I was thinking this. I mean, I, I think maybe it was supposed to be full length for a tall person. Right. But ridiculous. Yeah. But we get to put, we know what styles suit us. Yes. And we're traipsing yeah. around the shop trying to find something that's in the right fabric and the right style. So buy the styles, have the patterns there, have yeah, a nice pattern yeah. library of styles that you think. You've here, you've got a wrap skirt, you've got a more dressy, maybe evening top, you've got the everyday top that could be this. We'll put it in and I think and once trousers. you've made one of them in a fabric you like, you then start thinking, actually, that would really work in that. Yeah. And you don't mind then committing to even more expensive fabric because no. you know it's going to work. And, you know, worst case scenario, you've got to go fabric shopping for the day. I know, How so terrible is that? <laughs> we shopping. all... But if you know what you're going to make... You know, there's nothing yeah. worse than you go out and you don't know how much, you see a fabric you like, you don't know how much to buy. Whereas if you've got... Or you think, oh, I might waste the fabric, but yeah. if you've made them already... Yeah, you've got key patterns there, you mm. know how much you need. And then you can love And whenever goes, oh, shopping. that's nice. Where do you get that? Go, well, well, thing is... Yes. Oh, what this? It's designer. Designer, you yeah. Made oh, it a little myself. boutique, you won't have heard of it. <laughs> My back room. <laughs> yeah, but it's lovely. It's really empowering people say, oh, did you make that? And you can, mm. Yes, actually, I did. So what I'm doing now is I've put, I've done the front as we saw, and now I've laid the back panel on top. Simple as that. And I'm going to stitch along the shoulder seam, and then I'm going to stitch the side seam. Okay. The other things that we would have to do, you would be neatening all these seams, just like on the trousers. Just neaten those as you go along, whether you're doing a, on an overlocker or overcasting stitch or zigzag stitch, and um, you would neaten those as you go along. To do the hemming on here, so on the sleeves, it would be like we were looking at on the trousers. So you just turn it under 
by a centimetre and a centimetre again. I keep one centimetre seam allowance on all my patterns because it makes it easy. You don't have to think and you don't have really bulk in the seams because we're not doing zips or anything too difficult. So we don't need a big seam allowance. And it's enough to be able, that centimetre to be able to finish it. Yes, exactly. It? Um, but yeah, or if you use this machine, you could use that lovely side cutter that comes with it and do that. I know, I can't believe it's got yeah, a side so cutter. And yeah, it's got seen. so many extra features and feet with that. So now I'm doing the side seam. So the sleeves and the hem, you would do the same way. The front neck has a face in, which we probably won't get a chance to show you, but don't worry, the patterns, I've written it. The instructions very, very yeah. simply, as though you've never sewn But that's before. nice that it has a facing, because you're not having to hem then, are you? Yeah, and um, because it's a V, we want that nice, sharp mm. V. A facing is the best way to kind of do But I that. guess you could also turn that into a round neck if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Once you've made it, that I think once you've made it something once, you often think, oh, I could, I'll have a go at changing that. But I always want to make it and see what it looks like before I change anything. <laughs> I love that V, it's nice. So I'm doing exactly the same on the other side. And then that's the construction done. So say you've got the hem in to do, and then you would do the face in that goes around the front neck. So none of these projects are things that are going to take you too long to do or too complicated. No difficult darts, no difficult Ooh, zips. question. Morning, ladies. I've made... I haven't made any clothing before. Are these suitable for a beginner, please? I'm also five foot. Five foot. Aren't the best people, Gillian? <laughs> so I hope they're easy to shorten as well. Thank you. So are they suitable for a beginner? Absolutely. So I would teach these in classes, particularly like maybe start with the trousers as the simplest one to do if you're buying it as a collection. OK. Um, because that gives you the confidence to go ahead and do it. Or this top that we're doing now is, I mean, to be honest, none of them are difficult. They're all ones that I would teach in like a three hour class in the afternoon. And sometimes things like this are easier than doing some of the most tricky things can be those little hearts, can't they? Where your stitching's <laughs> got to be really accurate. And exactly. Your gotta be, you know, yeah. with this, if your stitching's a bit wobbly, it's no, not going to No one know notices. It falls down. You know, my stitching won't be neat inside these, but there's styles that won't show that. So absolutely. And for the shortening, yes. Yeah, so the trousers, you just shorten them. For the skirt, there's Tracy's done a video about how to shorten them. Um, with the tops, you just draw a line on the pattern and shorten. So, yeah, easy, easy enough. Because all the measurements are there, so you can see how big it is. And then before you cut it out, you can shorten it. And with some things like the trousers, you can cut them out and shorten them. With the tops, you really need to shorten the pattern first. But, you know, you can see the techniques that Tracy's using. This is simple. I, if you're a beginner, I would just sew it and then just do a simple zigzag down the side. Yep. So if it depends on the fabric. If you're using a viscose, then you won't need to. No, just have a look at your fabric. So anything like that, we do have alansewingcat.com is our website, and mm -hmm. Emma's done some lovely videos and blogs there on how to cut your fabric if you oh, need really? to. Oh, really? Because I know it oh, can okay. be a bit scary. And sometimes, you know, we have a, a really loyal customer base, and we do like a, um, a nice dressmaking subscription. So people get these as kind of kits that come out in the post to them. And sometimes people might send us a photograph. They're about to cut it, and you're just a bit nervous. Mm. So they pin it all out, and yeah. send us a photo, and say, is well, Okay, also, you know, if we you can think, go yes or no. I want to shorten this top. Oh, I can't remember where did she say to shorten it. Yeah. Just message them. More than happy to help at any point. But this we want is, you and to also, if these. you're a beginner, this could be the beginning of your journey, couldn't it? You know, get yourself the capsule wardrobe, yeah. and then start with the simplest one and go. Actually, I could do that. I could yeah. do that because it is all about taking that leap, isn't it? Yeah, and the but confidence. it's great fun. Oh, it's so lot, it's so fabrics lovely. out there to just have fun with. So obviously, we've got a bit of work to do because we need to finish the neck. But you see that shape coming together there. So that gives and you how that does nice... And how does the hem get finished? So the hem, you turn it under and under again. Oh, OK, really Very simple. Very simple. Just under once, under again, press it and machine it all the way around. I'm going to get this one to show you because I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Look, come and look. And even this. like at this time of year, I've been wearing that with a long sleeve white T-shirt underneath. Oh, yes, a pair definitely. Of jeans, I mean, you know. that is beautiful, isn't it? And that's just a... Is that a linen? Yeah. But you could even do it, you do it on the overhead. if you wanted to be really fancy for winter. You could do it in a sequin <gasps> for Christmas, Ooh, a divorce. Velvet, divorce. Well, that's why if we get mm. classic styles, you can change it from a daytime linen to look at that pleat finish well. along the bottom. That's like, you know when you stand in front of the mirror, you go, now if I just held it in a bit, that's yeah, what it would look exactly. like. That's what it looks like. That's beautiful, isn't it? But it's got that lovely sleeve. It's almost like your bat wing look, isn't it? Yeah. Just you know, yep. you, when you lay it like that, it looks so simple, doesn't it? But when you put it on, yeah. 
they are simple. They and it's got that lovely make. facing as well. So you could even use a little bit of contrast. Oh, yeah. That, could. that nobody will see but you. Yeah. If you've got this machine, you could put embroidery a nice little rose on the side. Oh, you? yeah. Or maybe on the Good shoulder. Yeah. You could have a little bit of floral going on. Or the down shoulder. the side of you could have, if you've got the embroidery machine, yeah, you could have a little floral thing going on down there. Yeah. Daisies. I mean, a lightweight chambray would be lovely for this, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. With daisy embroidery. That's what I'd Ooh, say. Nice. <laughs> yes. That is gorgeous. I love that. So get your classic patterns and then just have fun. It's good yeah, fun. Yeah. It's not difficult. Well, and also you're not committing to a lot of fabric. So I would say as a beginner, make something in an inexpensive fabric to start with to get your confidence. Then once you know that works, yep. then you can commit to sequins and velvet. Yep. And they are classic styles. You're going to have these for a long time. Well, wearing. also, I think when you make it in a different fabric, it looks like a different top. Oh, so totally. it doesn't matter if you've got five tops that are the same, yeah. but different fabrics. They are different no, tops. Nobody would know. They would just look, oh, that's great. Well, we've got some more questions for you. <laughs> uh, there we go. Good morning, ladies. I love these patterns, especially the one Tracy's wearing now. The way the sleeves hang in is stunning. Is What is this pattern? from Sandra. I agree. I only just noticed yeah. your sleeves. So that's the other way. So this is the tie neck top. But again, it's not difficult because I've done the work in the cutting of the pattern. So you don't have to worry about it. It's the construction. You've got shoulder seams. Same I as like, that one. So the, bot the bottom of the sleeve is longer, isn't it? Yes. That's yeah. So it falls down. Mm. And it's nicer for the summer, maybe. So yes, yeah, so you've got a shoulder seam here. Same as before. Side seam here. You've got some gathers at the neck that goes in because that gives us our shape. Are they so just a gather, not a pleat? Just a gather. So on a, this a one. long so again, stitch. It's, yeah. And if you're mm. new to it, it's a different technique for you then maybe to learn. Yeah. If you haven't done it before, you could wear it with a nice big belt if you wanted to. You could tuck it in. or you. Could I do think that's, like, that's a high neck top that you can wear with a bust. Yeah. Because mostly you can't. Yeah. But because it's got the gathers. Yeah. And you could even do it in like a chiffon or a sequiny like oh. we were saying. So if you want to really jazz it up for, for an evening uh, event. Yeah. But also just put it in a plain jersey for your everyday top yeah, to go true. out in. So again, top styles. That you know you, you get use. those really lovely sort of see-throughs that have embroidery on them. Yeah. That would be nice. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. That is um, tie neck top. Obviously, that comes in the bundle, but if you want just the top pattern on its own, here we go, $13.99. If you want the patterns on their own, you can only buy those printed. Um, right, does Tracy list suggested fabrics in the patterns? Great demo again, but we need more trouser patterns to buy now. When will the trouser pattern be back in stock? Mm, I don't know, but you can get it from the bundle. Do you list suggested fabrics? Yes, on the front there, on the front cover of right. everyone. You will so see this on one says viscose jersey, satin, cotton, lawn. Yes. So they're yeah, the all on the front. Of the all pattern. on the front. On the front of the patterns tells you how much. Same on the USB. Exactly the same. Right. Have a look on there. On the and if you're really not sure, when you've got your pattern, just message Tracy. Go. I've bought this, or I want to buy this. Will it work? Yes. Exactly. And we will be back with our narrow leg truck. We've got a narrow one as well, so that will be later on in season. We've got all new patterns oh, that we're working okay. on as well. So we have a narrow one called the Miller Trouser, and that's available on your website now, I believe, Stone Street. Uh, Marilyn says, morning, I'm loving the show. Please, please, please bring back the Penelope top pattern. Oh. I missed it. What's the Penelope top? So we did it on the last show. Again, it's sold out. So mm. every time we come, we just then restock. I mean, you can, you know, we do try and get them back onto the website here. And they're always <laughs> available on our, on our website as well. So what do was you the, just what's the Penelope top? It was an uh, elasticated one with ties on the front. Maybe, yeah, if uh, follow us on social media and you'll be able to see the things on there. Oh, you'll okay. see the new ones coming up. But I believe you've got stock on Stone Street now, maybe. Um, oh, do we? Could ha you have a look. look. Certainly, a as, certainly as the collection is available there. But yeah, the Penelope right. top. So if you have missed them, you out. can buy them. So the wide leg trouser is still available if you buy the whole bundle. $49.99. Honestly, the value in that, $49.99, it is about to sell out though. We've got 10 left and we've got 24 in baskets. That's for the printed version. So if you want all five patterns, that includes the free bag pattern, by the way which you can make over and over again, there are 10 left. But the real saver is the USB, because that's like 38 99 You yeah. get all five patterns, you print them off at home, but they're just, uh, we'll try and they're show you on A4 the next sheets. show. A4, hard to use any ink at all, because well, it's just yeah, the outline. Well, yeah, I guess so, because it's just the outline. Yeah, and so then all you need is some paper and a roll of sellotape. Yeah, regular A4 printer. I'm not very tech savvy, so <laughs> I've done it really, really simple. So you just press trousers and press print. 
and away you go. And then you tape mm. them together. If we get a chance in the next show at 11 o'clock, I'll do a quick demo to show you. But that way, that's 38.99, and you're still going to get all five You get patterns. all of them. And any means that you can just store them in there, and you can then print them out again if you need different sizes. Or you lose a pattern That piece, makes it £7.79 a pattern. And there you get your trousers. The and you've got the trousers. Mm. Yes, yes. So, and you know, all you, I mean, if you don't know, it's very simple. It really is the case. Nearly, well, nearly every PC will have a little port in it that you just plug it in. It's that USB thing. And it'll pop up there and then you just print it out. Yep. Open it up. That's yes, simple. control P. Yep, no. away you go. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, well, thank you so much, Tracy. So you're going to be back in an hour. Yes, with crafty projects. I know this is about organising your sewing room, yes. I feel, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, brilliant. And um, don't forget this amazing deal with the brother. It's a sewing machine. It's a high-end sewing machine. It's even got almost like a semi-overlocker, is not it? Because it cuts as well. Walking foot, everything. And it's got the embroidery machine as well. So you swap from one to the other. You only need one machine. It's Wi-Fi connected. You can also buy the app as well. I mean, it is, if you want to do, if you need a sew, new sewing machine, you want to do embroidery as well. It is the ultimate. And not only that, it's £500 off. And that's today. Special saving, half 60% of stock has gone. Just to let you know. If you've got any questions, do get in touch. Tracy will be back with me in an hour, um, and she is a brother machine expert. So, you know, it is a considered purchase. I do understand that. So if you've got some questions, if you're not sure, we've had lots of questions in where people just need to know specific things. Have a look around. Do some research. I would, well, we, um, to see what you... The prices are that you can see elsewhere. You'll have a look online. If you go onto the Brother website, you'll see lots of tutorial videos as well. You can even print, you can even sew photos with it. Amazing. Or even ask on the fans page. There's lots of people who have bought it from us before. They will have bought it at a higher price though, just saying. Um, anyway, anyway, we're going to go for a quick break. I'm going to be back with the long awaited bird of the month. You, oh. If you love the garden birds, you're going to love this. Don't go anywhere and I'll see you back in a few minutes. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we finish broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24 seven. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. 
You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app. Now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Welcome back to Sewing Street. So this is the long-awaited, drum roll, bird of the month. So back in 2021, which is quite some time ago, we launched Sewing Street Bird of the Month. Now what we did is every month we brought out a new bird on a panel and it had the, the, um, the printed bird and some coordinating fabric strips. And we did every month Obviously, this isn't officially a bird of the month, not like a flower of the month. So we just went for birds that we like. They're all garden birds, though. And we did a different bird every month. And I wrote a set of instructions for each of them to give you some inspiration of what you could do with the panels. Some people just bought the panels and made their own things. Other people bought the panels and the instructions. <clears throat> but the great thing is, is because all of the panels are exactly the same size, any of the instructions work with any of the panels. So we did that every month and then at the very e at the end of the year I decided wouldn't it be nice if they all came made went into a whole big quilt. So this is the quilt design. But you know I didn't want it to just be a quilt with just the birds. I thought well let's go double Irish chain because I love a double Irish chain. So it's got the double Irish chain going through it, all of the birds. Then I couldn't decide what colour, so we created it in different colours. So this is the blue one, that's the only one I made up. I didn't have time to make all three. But we then created it in purple and pink as well. Because the colour palette that was chosen for the designs of the birds, um, you needed certain colours that would go with it. Also, it has an extra block in the centre, because there weren't enough birds 
Now, what happened as well? We got to, was it February? The great pigeon, great pigeon debate. So a lot of people said they hated pigeons. I'll never forget the person who messaged in and said her husband shoots pigeons from the bedroom window. Love that one. So a lot of people are like, don't like pigeons, don't like pigeons. So we had to have a replacement. So we had a choice. So in February, you could have pigeon or was barn owl. I thought it was an owl. That's right, because we, people didn't like pigeons. Then we also had two for July, didn't we? Because magpie, a lot of people think magpies are unlucky. So we had magpie and... And wagtail. So that's why there's 14 birds, just in case you wonder why there's 14 birds. And then we decided, well, look, we've done all of these birds. So at the end of the year, we thought, let's do a charm square panel. Um, and then obviously, because we did a charm square panel, I had to have a design to go with it. So then I designed to go with the charm square panel, the shadow box quilt, which is sewn. It's a 3D wall hanging and it's sewn in a specific way it's just sewn with grey but it looks like from the distance that you're looking at it that the faux that they're sort of sitting on top it's like a drop shadow then then what happened this is the whole this is the it was all, this wasn't all decided at the beginning by the way we started off with a bird um, then people decided actually I haven't collected them all and we kept selling out of them all so then we decided we would do a panel that had all the birds without the coordinating fabric strips with just the birds so when we did the kits <clears throat> some people had collected all the panels and they used that and that's fine um but when we did the kits we sold them with the whole panel and today because and this is why it's taken so long because i said there's no point in doing this if we only have a few i want to have all of the panels all of the kits all of the everything and all of the instructions and everything and a little discount too so uh, we've got it all back so for those of you who remember Bird of the Month and missed out on one of them or never got July or August or loved the Christmas one, the December one, the, which was the Robin. I wonder which one was the most popular. I think, from memory, I think it was January. Actually, I do think it was January because January was the Wren, I think. This is, this is going back now three years, so I've got to actually remember this. Right, so let's start with the quilt kit. Now, in the quilt kit, you get five and a half metres of fabric and the bundles. I'm going to show you the panel first. So this is the panel that you get with all of, all of the birds, right? So every single one of the birds is on here, including the extra birds. So you've got 14 birds. So these are all, these are all this, yeah, it was, it was the, um, the wren was January and then the pigeon was February and the bullfinch was March and the blue tit was April and May was the great tit and June was the starling, July was magpie, they're all on there anyway. Um, I spent a lot of time looking at these, I know nothing about birds. I know what the birds are called because I, I says, how do you know? Because I spent so long... I, I, had to, I had to design it, I had to make it, write about it. So there's all the birds on the panel. And then because there's, um, because there's 15, there was a gap. So we put baby ones on and, made with, and then a, a little label. So you could use the baby ones to make a miniature, a miniature shadow box quilt. Or you could use them for little gift tags, but it was a space. So you get all of the birds. You then get all the fabric to make, you've got ivory, so that's all the background. So that's all of this background area. You get the ivory, you get the chambray, so that's the lighter part of the double Irish chain. And then you get the slate and that's the darker piece. And the slate is also used for the binding. So there is enough for the whole quilt top plus the binding. Obviously you won't get the um, backing and, uh, and wadding, but we never do that. And you, handily, you get the instructions. Now, this is instruction for a double Irish chain quilt. Um, and in the centre, there is a block. So once you've got the instructions, you can use this for anything because it explains inside, um, cut the birds, and it tells you what size to cut the bird squares into. It tells you what you need, um, how to cut it out. So the instructions will work with any 
um, panels in the centre because it tells you what size to cut them. It tells you how to cut it. The centre block is an Ohio star. If you add an extra bird, then you could put that in there. I just fancy putting a star in the middle. So I've put in very, very clear photos of the whole process all the way through. And then there's a picture as well. We also put, because I do like to have a close-up photo. It does help with construction. So that's the blue version. $129.99. But we are going to match, da, da, da. we are going to reduce it because that's the price it would be. Now. No way. 69.99 for, and because it was over 120, 100, because it was over 99.99, then we can do it on split pay. 69.99. Right, the 28th of December, 2021 is when I did the debt. We told hundreds of them. Now, the finished size is 75 by 62 and a half. So what I've said on it, this quilt has been designed to fit a single bed with a 12-inch drop either side and at the bottom, or a double bed with a 9-inch drop either side. And the top of the quilt will reach just underneath the pillows because that's how I like my quilts, and I designed it. So there we go. So you can have it as a single bed with a 12-inch drop or a double bed with a 9-inch drop. So it will fit either... I mean, it is beautiful. Um, I, when I'd finished it, I gave it to Lou, who's one, our designer, and um, poor Lou has to keep bringing it back. I, th I think she thought the last time I borrowed it, that was it, she could keep it on her bed. Third of the stock of the blue one is in baskets. And it has taken me, I cannot tell you how long to get this back. And I've had to borrow the quilt back off Lou. Um, so whether we'll ever do it again, I don't know. So that's the blue version. Now we do have the purple version as well. So again, you get the big panel, exactly the same, because I chose the colours of the fabric to go. So can you see that some of the birds, they've got a bit of a purple, some of them have got a bit of a blue, some a bit of a pink. So you get the panel. Um, you get the same ivory for the background, but then for the light and the dark, I'm an amethyst and light lilac and that you see goes beautifully if you look if I put it with the birds you can you can see what I mean if you've made the quilt message me and I'd love to see a picture of it I know people have put it on our Facebook sewing street fans page and I've seen pictures of it but look how nicely that colorway goes with the birds so it, exactly the same and the whole cutting out is exactly the same. So obviously you get the full instructions and what it does say in the instructions is light tone, medium tone, <coughs> dark tone. So obviously when you come to make it, you just follow light, medium and dark. So it really doesn't matter what colour you've done. And I have done it in the simplest, easiest way possible. So I've done it by strip piecing and sub cutting, as you can see here, where you sew together all the strips and then you cut across. So you're not actually joining squares together, you're joining strips together. So it's a lot easier, it's a lot easier. The demonstration for this one was on the 10th of January, 2022. 10th of January, 2022, because that's when we did this one. And then finally, if two wasn't enough, we had three. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think, I, yes, did we start with, we, well, blue, obviously, because I made it in blue. Ah, uh, yes, and we've got a pink. Now, we've got the pink because Amy did the picture for me. I'd like to say that. I didn't actually make the pink one, but she, I don't know how she does that. She got the picture of the quilt and coloured it in for me. So you can see there what it will look like in the pink. Now, with the pink, you get vanilla because it goes better. You get vanilla, you get, um, what colour's that one? Pink. That's a bit boring. And blush. But you can see from the photo that we sh showed you, well, I'll, I'll put them on the birds in the same way. And, you know, and, and I know because it works so well. I mean, I could have chosen, could have chosen a grey, actually, would have looked nice with it, wouldn't it? But you see how nicely that looks. 69.99 so that's a big single double bed quilt 
We are matching 2021 prices. You are getting the panel and five and a half metres, because that's what all of that adds up to. In total, you've got the fabric for the binding is included. So all you need is the backing. Um, so you will need um, four and a half metres of backing fabric. And well, it depends on the width you buy. If you're buying um, extra wide fabric, you'll need... 216 by 185 so actually because extra wide is 216 you'll need two meters if you're buying extra wide and the wadding as well 216 by 185 but everything else is in there 69.99 and honestly it's an easy quilt to make i know a lot of you have made it you've explained you messaged me it looks <clears throat> more complicated than it is but it's actually formed of two blocks so if i show you on the quilt itself you can see so what you've got is one block has got the bird and then it's got these squares in each corner and the strips so can you see that's one the next block is this block here that's just the um, the chain. So these are the bits you strip piece. So this block here is one, two, three, four, five. So it's just made of two blocks, and then you um, you make up the two blocks, then you join it all together. So it's a lot simpler than it looks. Really easy. So if this is the first time you've ever made a full bed quilt. I mean, it is beautiful, and I also quilted this on my sewing machine. I didn't do anything fancy, didn't send it off to be long arm quilted. What I did was I drew big circles and then traced around them onto it. If you, I mean, they'd be really good with the new brother embroidery machine. And then you could put labels on it and everything. Gorgeous. Right, so if you want the pattern on its own, because you've got... Maybe you've got, you could use quilt blocks, you could use, you know, ready-made quilt blocks, you could use printed um, pieces of fabric, you could just use your favourite fabric and put it in the centre. Or maybe you've made some quilt blocks that you want to put in, you could use it for all different things. But, because I did say we had some special reductions, so if you want to buy the full instructions on their own, six ninety nine. that's ridiculous. That took me a long time to write that. No, no, it actually took me a long time to make that quilt and write it at the same time. Six ninety nine for all for the full instructions, and then you can make your own. Six ninety nine. That's special. That's three pound. Three pound off today. It was nine ninety nine when it launched. Now, also we've got because I did say we have everything because I'm only doing it if we can have everything. what the code on it yes so we have also got the panel on its own 14 birds 14 birds 14.99 that is a well that's 19.99 or 24.99 panel it's a big panel look you've got all of the birds i'm going to go through the bird panels on their own in a moment so you can see um I think maybe either the robin or the wren was the most popular. Love the robin. I really liked um, the starling. I think he's beautiful, isn't he? There's the contentious pigeon, which I thought was really nice, to be honest. Um, was that a J? Some of them I can remember. It was a while ago. I love these baby ones. I did say at the time, I'm going to make a charming shadows out of that. But a little one. Mm. Look at that. Fourteen ninety nine. You could even make a little bird book, couldn't you? You could make these into little pages, little bird books. But you know what? Or you could just cut these out, put them onto, buy yourself some blank cards, white ones or craft cards, and just machine sew them on. That's a nice little card, isn't it? And if maybe you've made one of these for, for somebody, you've made the project, then that's the little card to go with it. So fourteen ninety nine. I mean, that is ridiculous. That is the fourteen ninety nine is what we charge for our charm square panels, where you've got forty five inch squares. Look at the size of this. I mean, it's really big. In fact, I'll hold it up so you can see. You get a better look. Look at the size of this. You've got all of the birds. 
Now I'm thinking, you know, obviously you can use it to make the quilt should you want to. Or how about cushions? You could have bird cushions. You could have one different. You could keep changing the bird cushions. You could make them th this size, or you could put border fabrics around the edge of them. You could just make. Um, you could have one bird on the front, one, one bird on the back. Nice tote bags. I mean, I'll give you some ideas in a minute because obviously I made twelve different items with these birds, so I'll give you some ideas. But this is the most cost-effective way. I am amazed that we are doing this for 14 99 It's ridiculous, isn't it? You've got 15 birds, 14 birds, sorry, and five, six, and all of the little ones. So you are paying just over a pound a bird. Love the owl. The owl was very popular. He was the... Um, he was the pigeon replacement. Look at that. They're beautiful, aren't they? They work really well quilted as well. Because you, what's quite nice is because they've got quite bold outlines, you can quilt around the edge of them. Or they're quite nice if you just quilt across them. They work either way. But this is definitely your most cost-effective way of buying them. Look at the little snowflakes. You can add embroidery to them. I mean, they are gorgeous, aren't they? And I know loads of you when we did them first of all. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so Kat's doing something. What are you doing, Kat? No, she's going to reduce it. You're not. I think $14.99 is an amazing price. $9.99. That's ridic. That's ridiculous. Look at the size of it. $9.99. Less than a pound each, nine ninety nine for all fourteen birds and all fourteen baby birds as well. Well, over half the stock's gone. Over half of the stock has gone. Half over half. If it's in your basket, don't worry. You will be charged the lower price. We always honour that. We never ever, as long as it's within the same twenty four hour period. We can't promise if we did it two weeks ago. <laughs> well, you can't. Because because Kat's here is a, a little special special today. She wants she wants to sell out. She wants to sell out. We've got loads of you multi buying. I'm not surprised. I mean, it is lovely, isn't it? You know, you could make a super big quilt from it if you've got the instructions, or maybe you've bought the kit. If you've bought the kit, you could make an even bigger one with these on it. Lovely, aren't they? And everyone love everyone has a favourite garden bird, don't they? Fantastic price. Not I just can't believe that. Nine ninety nine. A question from Paula. Hello, I've ordered both panels. What is the bird to the right of the magpie with the pale blue background? Well, I think that's a goldfinch. I think I think it is. What month is it? You are testing me now. No, it's that one there. Is it? I think it's a gold. Was it September? A gold crest. I knew it was a gold something. That is a gold crest. Um, a message from Gal. Hi, Rebecca. Thank you for your instructions. I've bought it to use your flowers of the month panel. Yeah, no, that would work, actually. Yes, you could use them for any of those things. Right. We also have a second panel. And this is the baby. So this is the charm square panel. And we'll do it just the panel, then I'll show you the kit. Now, obviously, because we've got more birds, what we've done with the charm square panel, this one is 14.99, which is what they're supposed to be. So what we've done with this one is we've put all of the birds on so you get lots of them, but we've also put some prints on here that coordinate with the birds. Five, they're all five inches square. So I think what you get is, from memory, you get two of each of the birds. And then you, and then, so that's 28. And then the rest are these coordinating prints. But they're so cute at this size, aren't they? 14 99 which is what we normally charge for our charm square panels. I really like them at this size. I think they're so cute. I love that one. And then you've got these extra prints that go with them. So this one, when we bought this on 
in 2021. That sold out very quickly. And that's what people were constantly messaging. Can we have it back? I like the pigeon at that size. Right, we've got more people who've got this in baskets than we've actually got in stock. So if you want this one, you need to get it checked out. It, however, it does also come part of the kit. So if you want to make charming shadows, which is this here, um, can you see on the edge of this, um, I did a scrappy binding. So I used all the, the, the prints that are on that charm square panel. I used all of those matching prints to make the binding because then it all coordinated. So what you get in the kit is obviously you get the whole panel whole panel then you get um the ivory fabric i think it's ivory that is for the background and so you get um half a meter of the background fabric and and then a fat quarter of elephant and that's used for the shadow i tried a variety of different grays because you can use different grays for the shadows if you ever make one of these but because these are quite a deep dye um, I wanted a darker shadow and you get the full instructions so it shows you exactly how to make them it's really simple honestly look you you have a little bit you have two squares and strips and you just sew them either side and then you join it all together it's a very simple thing you and then all use all the um, the print fabric squares to do the binding and then I've also shown in it with the quilting I um I did it all by machine on my own machine, but what I did was I did vertical quilting on the cream and then I did horizontal on the grey. And that makes, because I did the horizontal quilting a quarter of an inch apart and the vertical half an inch, it makes the shadows more dense and more intense. So it really makes the birds, because I didn't quilt the birds at all, it makes them stand out and makes them float. Because the point is, is the shadow is obviously receding and the birds need to float. And I just drew on top of it with a friction pen, quilted along it all. And because it's just like little lines, it's easy peasy to do on your machine. Um, and then you just have a bit of backing fabric. So you can see the quilting there. Um, and wadding. Look at that. Right, we don't have the instructions on their own for this. You have to buy it with the, with the kit. But that's a great price, $24.99. The finished size is 32 and a half by 25 inches, in case you want to know. But once you've got the pattern, you see, because they are using charm squares, once you've got the pattern and you've made this, you can use any charm squares. Because if you've, if you've made a few of them, when you'll work out how it works. You could make, you could use all your favorite charm squares afterwards and you could make it even bigger. And in fact, because you've got more charm squares on the panel than you've got on here you could make it even bigger because it's fairly simple i explain how to cut one shadow and it's fairly simple to then join it up so this is a really nice way it's a lovely um it's a really good price for, for a starter quilt and i think if you haven't done quilting before but you've done sewing because that just pops into your machine nice and easy you haven't got that kind of bulk that get often get people get put off with now when everyone checks out of that kit uh, the panel on its own sold out anyway, and if everyone checks out on the quilt kit, we've sold out. Um, right. Do let me know if you want me to come back to anything. But let's start with um, the birds. January, because Kat has put them in order. Yes, yeah, so this is January, which was the wren. Now, on the panels, they're all the panels are the same. They're not the same birds but they're the same idea you get a ten and a half by ten and a half inch bird which obviously depending on what you're making you might cut down you get the name of the bird and i and when i go through the instructions in a moment and we'll show you pictures of the items you'll see what i made them into in fact should we do the instructions as we do the birds and then that'll make sense more um, and then what you also get one two three you get five two and a half inch wide by 43 inch strips so that's all on the panel um, and the great thing is um, that they're all in prints that coordinate with the bird itself so when we decided to do bird of the month we didn't um, um these were designed in house at sewing streets not by amber makes but i decided i wanted to show you what you could do with them so i then created a set of instructions and remember because all of these panels are the same size you can use any instructions with any of the panels but with this one I made a patchwork star cushion and I used the little sign Wren 
to go on it. Um, instructions explain exactly how to do it, how to make it using this panel. With, a, you know, you will need some extra things. So you need the bird panel, you'll need like backing fabric, wadding, that sort of thing, you know, but you won't need much extra. And the pattern has a reduction as well. So reducing the price it was always 99.99, but because this is our special bring back show, 6.99. So remember, any of the instructions work with any of the panels, but this is the one that I made with the wren, and I'm pretty sure that this one was the most popular. Everyone loves a wren. I remember we had lots of messages from you in who said, "I used to be a wren, so I'm going to make that." Or my auntie was a wren, so I'm going to make it for her, which is quite sweet, isn't it? So that is January. February was the contentious one. Should we start with the pigeon? Some of you love pigeons. Some of you didn't love pigeons. I think pigeons are very attractive. I mean, look at the colours on the pigeon. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And you've got the names of them. And I really like the coordinating fabric strips with this because you start off light with this lovely texture. I like the um, grey cross hatches, And then you've got a grey little tiny flowers and then a spotty teal and the pigeon himself is strutting along on the teal so there's the pigeon 919 for the panels so this is a great way if you don't want to make the whole quilt you don't want the charm squares you just want one panel because you think i know someone who loves a pigeon um now with the pigeon i made a messenger bag obviously messenger pigeon so this was the item I made, was the messenger bag. So the instructions explain how to make it. There are some other things you need. You know, if you go onto um, the website, on Sew Street website, I have listed on there what else you'll need. You don't need much else, but with some of them, obviously, there wasn't enough fabric to do it all. You need a bit of lining fabric and some snap fasten. But mainly, I've used all the fabric on the panel because I used um, the, the strips here to make all the extra bits of the bag. So full instructions, six ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, we've got a photo. Photo. <gasps> oh. We so this is my version of the bird of the month quilt. I made it for my mum for Christmas. She loves birds and quilts, so she was very happy. Thank you for the lovely design from Louise. Oh, that's gorgeous. Because you, I love the colours and I love the fact that you've got all different patchwork blocks on there as well. That is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. It's really nice. I love it when people take the panels and the designs we've done, but then create them into their own thing. I like the, the chain that you've got going through the block as well. Nice. Lovely. Do send me your photos. So that's February Pigeon. Now, obviously, we had to do another February due to the Great Pigeon debate. Is that the... Just checking. Oh, yeah. The barn owl. So, actually, I remember, because I don't know what's happened to the bag, but I remember when we did the show, I think I demonstrated, you can make this, I made the same messenger bag with the owl. But isn't he gorgeous? And I love this kind of, like, deep petrol blue background. He looks, look at his really staring, isn't he? I think he's beautiful. I love these panels because they're very detailed, but they've got nice sort of sections of colour. So they really stand out. And then are the strips lovely? So, you know, when I made the messenger bag for this, you use like one strip for the gussets and one for the inside. And then you could use one. I think I used two of them for the handles. But the colours, you've got this print that's actually in the owl. And then this light print is in those um, bits of grass grass I think and then the dark print is this color here so it really suits and then because you've got the labels you can also if you when um, some people use them to decorate their their what they've made or some people use them to put into the quilt because I know what a lot of people did is they collected them over the year and then they made the quilt so if you've collected them and never used them you could just buy the quilt instructions or buy the ones that you're missing bar now there we go um Oh, another picture, another picture. Hello, everyone. Yay, the return of the pigeon. He was my absolute favourite. And I made mine into a block keeper, which I absolutely love, from Deborah. Deborah, that's beautiful. 
He looks gorgeous. I love the way that you've put that um, the black outline on it. It really makes him stand out. And I'm glad you like the pigeon. I love the pigeon. That's beautiful. Quite stunning. I don't know why people didn't like the pigeon block. March. March was the bullfinch. Let's see, was he? Yes. March was the bullfinch. I liked the bullfinch, actually. I think he's got lovely colours. I like the fact the bullfinch has this lovely red on him. Isn't he lovely? And he's got his name on. And then, obviously, you get all the strips. Again, you get the two and a half inches by 43 inches. You've got the five different coloured strips here, which coordinate beautifully with the bullfinch himself. Um, the instructions for the bullfinch. Where's that one gone? Oh, there we go. These are the instructions I made, but remember, any of the instructions will work with any of the things. And we've got a reduction. So if you want to make a cosmetic bag, but you want to make a pigeon cosmetic bag, you can. So this is the cosmetic bag. Um, this has a template because it's got a, it's got a curve and it's got a box bottom. This has a template with it. And you can see here, this is how I use the strips, that I use the template and placed it on here on here without cutting it out and then cut around it so they're joined together so that was for the lining of it so there's your cosmetic bag has a little tassel on the zip as well 6.99 for that but remember you know you can just buy that and you can make it with any fabric or any of the birds or if you've got another favorite piece of fabric that you want to put onto the front then you could use it for that so that's the cosmetic bag and it's got a nice circular top so that when you open it, it opens really, you can see everything inside because the sort of top two thirds of the bag open. But when you open it, I mean, you, but you could keep a sewing project in there. It'd be really good for um, if you were knitting a pair of socks, it'd be good to put all of that in, but be good for sewing project like EPP something or maybe a sewing kit to take on holiday or a first aid kit because when you open it, it does open up nice and wide. So that was March. Then we had April, and April was the blue tit. And I, d I feel like April has to be the blue tit. I don't know why, because I'm sure blue tits are uh, alive all year round. But it sort of feels like it is a blue tit time of year, you know, because it's like spring is here and the blue tits are out. And also it's on cherry blossom. And, and I have got a cherry tree in my garden, all the blossoms out. And there are blue tits in it. So it had to be April, didn't it? So you've got that lovely pop of pink in there, the lovely blue tit. And obviously you've got the um, coordinating fabric strips there. And for the blue tit, I made... I don't know how we got out of all... I'm sure we had these in order to start with. Oh, this is one of my favourite ones. The peg bag. The peg bag. I loved that one because I used the blue tit on the back of it. So that he was he was peeking through, and that's how that's um hung on Amy's garden wall on her washing line because she took the picture. I think that's in her old house as well. Gotta drop the price though. Gotta drop the price. The instructions are six ninety nine. And remember, you can use any of the instructions with any of the birds. So in here are is the template because you need that circle. Oh, you see an even bigger picture of it. So you've got you. So you put the blue tit on the back, and then you use the joined together strips to make the front. And you use that, and then I use that flowery one for the top bits, and those strips for this bit. And I even put the blue tit on it. And I did it so that it would fit a normal wire coat hanger. You know the sort of thing that you get with um, your dry cleaning. I didn't because otherwise, if you've got to buy a specific coat hanger, you might not be able to find it. So that was a normal wire one that just fits inside, so you can hang it up. And it looks a bit like a little birdhouse. So there we go. That is the um, $6.99 for the instructions, $9.99 for the panel if you want to make exactly the same. But you might prefer a different bird. So that was the peg bag. Right, next we have May. And May, I think, was the great tit. Oh, I've remembered. It's all coming back to me. I got really good at birds in the end because, you know, when you're like making something and you're writing about it, you've got to design it, you get quite good at them. Because I had no idea about birds. Knew what a blue tit and a robin was. That was about it, to be honest. Um, the great tit's lovely. I like that because it's got a really nice yellow background that really um, echoes the colours in the bird. And I like that print there because it's got a bit of a yellow flower in it. And you see his legs. 
His legs are in like a checkered print, which is in here as well. Gorgeous. Now, the great tip was, oh, a cushion. Yeah, so it was time for a Dresden plate cushion. So this was a way of you learning about a Dresden plate because I had wedges of fabric and then the, bur the a great tip went in the centre. And what I did as well, obviously you get the templates for this, so you get the circular centre, you get the wedge template. And what I did with it was um, place the wedge template on this fabric so that it looked like I'd patchwork it, but I hadn't, I just cut it out from this fabric. And then you interspersed it with plain ones. So a nice circular cushion, it was quite nice to put on your garden furniture with the bird in the centre, but remember, any of the instructions will go with any of the panels. Just six ninety nine. So you've got the full instructions here. You've got how to make it. So like I, I even start at the beginning where I show you how to cut it out of these strips. But if you're using own fabric, then you can just use normal strips. Then how to make the centre, how to join it all together. How Because it has a bit of a gusset, which makes putting the zip in a lot easier. So you put the zip in the gusset. There's the templates. Easy peasy. That's the Dresden plate cushion. $6.99. I mean, it's quite a nice pattern to have in your stash, to be honest, isn't it? Um, June. June. Starling. Now, see, I thought the starling was going to be controversial. Nothing. Nothing, not a comment. I thought people didn't like starlings. I went, oh, they can, oh everyone's going to moan about that. But I think... I think everybody liked this because it's a beautiful bird. He's got almost iridescent feathers, hasn't he? Like petrol iridescence. And I think that the purple that it's teamed with works really, really well. Because it is like this kind of turquoisey iridescent. But I thought a lot of people didn't like starlings because they're quite greedy, aren't they? They kind of, don't they like eat? Don't they like eat all the worms or something anyway uh, they're very beautiful and it looks lovely with all of the prints i like that print there but they go together beautifully so you can see there's that the that when these were designed um there's a color palette that so that they all hang together when you do the finished quilt now the instructions that went with this one da, 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 was the market tote so what I did with this one, I actually used one of our um, denim fabrics that you can buy on Sewing Street on the front of it. That is, and um, then on the back, what I decided, because I wanted to be able to use all of these prints, I did some pinwheels and that was a pocket on the back. So the front is obviously just a panel, but I made the back. And you don't have to do that, but I think it's quite nice to have a little pinwheel pocket. It's all lined. So in the bag, I think I used, um, yeah, denim fabric, half a metre denim fabric for the bag outer and hand tools, half a metre of cotton fabric, and I used, think I used the amethyst to line it. But I, and I show you as well how to make a pinwheel from, because all of the strips are two and a half inches, so I was quite limited what can you do, but you can make pinwheels because you can make half square triangles from the two and a half inch strips. And then it shows you exactly how to do it how to make the whole thing. But again, you can use any of the birds or you can just your own, use your own fabrics, but that's a really handy, nice deep tote. It's a nice deep tote bag. Takes 99 for that one. Right, so next, July, what was? Oh, July was the magpie, yeah, controversial. Controversial magpie. At least we only had two controversial ones. But maybe these are the only two controversial garden birds. There we go. I reckon there were only two controversial birds, the magpie and the pigeon. Well, no, we couldn't have a seagull, really. I don't think there was ever, because it, it's garden birds. I mean, I suppose you might, if you live by the sea, you might get seagulls in your garden, but it's not your classic garden bird, is it? Um... But nobody, um, nobody complained about the others. But isn't the magpie beautiful? And look at his tail, those flashes of purple in the tail. But this, sh this shade of yellow, it's like a real sort of mustardy yellow, Dijon. It's a Dijon, isn't it? And I like the silhouettes and the ivy going around the um, gatepost or stump. 
lovely, isn't it? You've got the two labels, and here's your two and a half inch strips. Remember, again, $9.99. And I like the fact that you've got the yellow echoed in here. Beautiful. He's lovely. And with this one, we did, oh, because it was this time of year, so we did a gardening set. So there's two things in here. And it's because I couldn't decide whether I wanted a garden kneeler cushion or a garden apron, so I did both. There we go. So you get, you actually get two patterns in here. There's a lot of pages in this one. Um, there we go. So there's the garden kneeler, and that's Amy's mum's dog. Um, it has a um, PU, like a coated waterproof cotton fabric on the back it has a handle at the side so you can pick it up and take it with you but because it's got the um, waterproof fabric on the back it's easy to just use to kneel and it's got these lovely flying geese down either, either side and so that was the garden kneeler <laughs> and then the garden apron that's Amy that's Amy's legs there's the garden apron and I think I used the great tip to make that one but I couldn't decide. I thought it was quite nice to have both anyway. And also there are two birds. So you could use, remember the instructions are $6.99. You can use them with anything. Then we also did the wagtail due to the um, controversial nature. I like the wag. Oh, it does. I love the way it does say bird of the month. Extra. Extra. But that's actually quite nice, isn't it? I like this um, lovely movie lavender background. He's a fat bird, isn't he? Look at him, I suppose he can fly. He's had, he's had too many worms, this bird, hasn't he? Do you think they, or maybe he's puffed himself out, but he's a big fat bird, isn't he? <laughs> he's cute. Like that one, that's the wagtail. August was, oh, now I'm struggling a bit. The J, of course he was. The J. I like a J. Sometimes I get them in my garden. See, I can actually recognise birds now I've done this. This was not a controversial bird. This was a very popular bird. Love the colour of that. It's kind of a bluey, grainy, grey, green. But aren't they beautiful? Beautiful shades, muted brown. Um, and then all the um the strips that go with them. They're very neutral, aren't they? And it's quite nice that you get the labels as well. That is a lovely bird, though. The jays are very gorgeous, aren't they? Um, and the um, pattern was a lunch bag, because we all need a lunch bag with a jay on it. But it was one of those lunch bags that you um, just fold the top over. And I put a water... In fact, I think I put Insul Bright in it. Or you could put a waterproof lining. There we go. And that's what it looks like. So it was just a bag... The, the lunch bag you fold over with a handle on the top. But it's lovely because you can get all your sandwiches and your apple and your drink and everything. And then um, lovely to take on a picnic. But remember, six ninety nine, three pounds off. Three pounds off for today only. It's because because I begged to have it on, then therefore we were allowed a little discount as well. September was the gold crest. I'd never heard of these before because I'm not very good at birds. But they are lovely. Again, they're like a little, they're like wrens, aren't they? Little fat birds. Beautiful. Yeah, it does look like it's by the sea. There's little yellow flowers. Um, we've got some lovely Dijon coloured stri strips and a nice little floral one. And the instructions that went with this was the book cover. So you've got, I used the... Um, the gold crest at the front to cover the book and then I use the strips at the back are these strips for the back and it has a little pocket it's got handles it's even got um, a pocket on the inside to put your pencils in there we go so that's what it looks like it has a little pocket on the inside to put your pencils one to put your rubbers and then I even and quilted it as well so that's your book cover there we nice this pattern's been selling really quickly. I'm not surprised it's only $6.99. $6.99. And this will cover an A5 hardback notebook, by the way. You're not, it won't, won't work with any size. I mean, obviously, you can work it out and adapt it to a bigger one, but it's an A5 hardback notebook. Three to go. October was the goldfinch. This is lovely. Isn't that lovely? 
And it's gorgeous. And I like the fact it's because it's October, we've then got this, we've got a bit of pine cone going on. That's not acorns, cat. That's pine cones. Cat goes, acorns. Those are pine cones. Isn't, isn't the goldfinch beautiful? Look at the red on it. Absolutely. I love a goldfinch. And I like the fact that they have that black spotty thing. In fact, we did not long after this. This is when we did the goldfinch doorstop pattern because I saw these goldfinches. I had never seen them before and thought they were amazing. We did Gordon the goldfinch. Was it Gary? Gary the goldfinch. Mm, there's the doorstop pattern. Question from Anne. Are we allowed to make and sell? Yes. Yes, you are. You obviously can't sell the instructions, clearly, because they are copyrighted, but you can make and sell. Yes, so you can. Yeah, it'd be nice to, if you, like, um, mentioned us, pattern court, courtesy of or panel from Sewing Street, but yes, you can. Our angel policies, you can do that. Um, oh, what goes with this was the storage basket. So it was a nice big storage basket. So you've got the... Six ninety nine. So you've got the bird on the front. Um, I can't remember what did it have pockets on the inside. It was a really big fat box. Oh, yeah, that's a better picture of it. It had a fat, big fat box bottom. It had pockets on the inside, um, almost cube shaped. So you could really store lots of fabric and thread and scissors and everything inside it. Really nice storage box. Only six ninety nine for that one. Really useful bag for all of that. Two months to go, uh, November. November was the robin. Oh, I've opened that one. Oh. Is that a robin? Yeah, that's, no, it's this one. Yeah, <laughs> so, what was that one then? No, November was the long... We haven't done November. No. No, November was the um, long-tailed tit. <laughs> oh, that says bird of the month. Oh, maybe I did it in... Oh, okay. Maybe I did it in November because it was a Christmas design and you needed to be able to use it. Yeah, I remember now. Right. So it does say bird of the month. <laughs> it says December on my panel, November there. This is the robin. It is the robin. We, yes, but we did do it. It was the December. We did it in November. And the reason for that, now I've remembered, and I love this one. I've remembered because I needed to make it. So it's got the names of the robin. I like the little snowflake one. But I made a table runner that you could use for your Christmas table the double star table runner but obviously if you buy a different bird and you use this pattern you could use it for any time so it had panel with the um, robin in it and then it had patchwork panels as well and I used that really nice green grey spot fabric that we sell on sewing street that I love so it had um, the blocks it's got these blocks and then it's got the robin in the centre. So that's a really nice table runner to have. Then, and then in December, we did November. We did the long-tailed tip. Yeah, I remember it's all coming back now. We had to do it early, otherwise you wouldn't have been able to, you wouldn't have been able to do your table run in time for Christmas. So I'd, maybe this one didn't have instructions then. Have we done all the instructions, Kat? Yeah, oh, I know. When we did this then, I think we then did the whole quilt. It's so anyway, irrelevant. They, you don't need the instructions to go with them. So the final one, the November one, that's called December, is the long tail tit. There's all, so I've done all of the panels, all of the instructions, the charming, the charm squares have sold out. The big panel has sold out. All of the big quilt kits, half of the stock is gone, but that means half is left. On a positive note, so if you want to make the big um, quilts, we've got half of the stock left of each of them. Um, please do check out, remember the discount on those panels will only be for today, on the instructions will be only be for today, so if you want them. Speaking of amazing discounts, if you were with um, Tracy and I at 8 o'clock, 8.30 in fact, 
the beautiful, amazing brother sewing machine and embroidery machine. So it's both and they're very easily convertible. It's a real high end sewing machine. It's got all of the feet, including the walking foot, knee lift, 128 stitches. Um, it's even got a special overlock foot. You then swap the feet, the um, beds over and it becomes an embroidery machine which has two hoops with it. It's Wi-Fi, so you've got unlimited patterns because they're releasing the ones all the time. So if you're thinking about buying an embroidery machine, get these two together because then you've got the sewing machine and the embroidery. But the main reason you want to get this today is £500 off. £500 is not to be sniffed off. We can do it on five-way split pay if you want to. You don't have to. But if you want to spread the cost of payments and not pay any interest, five equal payments of £399.80 and only £395 PMP, we will send you the sewing machine straight away. It is gorgeous. Tracy will be using it in the next hour. So if you're thinking about it, because we haven't got that many left now, if you're thinking about it, get in touch. Um, and Tracy will be able to answer the questions. That's everything that comes in the box with it. It is amazing. Elsewhere, 2499. You have a look around her, because I know it's a considered purchase, but that 500 pound saving is just for today. So um, we're going to go for a quick break. I will be back with Tracy in a few minutes time. Oh, got a surprise after the break. Just saying. We've got all of um, Tracy's sewing storage. Sewing storage. And we may have the wide leg trousers surprise. That's not a surprise now. It's not a surprise. We might. No, we might. I'm going to find out in the break if we can. So those of you missed out, I'll find out if we've managed to get them back. I'll see you back here in a few minutes' time. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we finish broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24 seven. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. 
You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard p and is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Now, I did say, if you're with me before the break, surprise. And the surprise is, is Tracy has managed to get some more wide leg trouser instructions. We did know we had to, well, we had to have a chat with Tracy. She had to <coughs> speak to a printer. We had to see if we could do it or not. And we have. Not hundreds, mind, a few, just a few, because only so many we can get. But if you missed them out, missed out on them, which I know lots of you did, $13.99 for the wide leg trousers on their own. Remember, this covers size 10 to 28, elasticated waist, nice pockets that don't interfere with the hips because they know you to lie flat on the front. Um, they can be made in beautiful viscose or satin or silk or um, medium weight denim or linen, they can be full length, they can be cropped, you could even do them like just below knee length if you fancied. Um, $13.99, perfect for beginners and we got some more. So just wanted to let you know that for all of those of you who missed out. There we go, quarter of that's gone already. Boom. I'm not surprised, these are great. This is gonna be your summer sorted with these wide leg trousers. Right. Now, this hour again, now these are patterns that Tracy bought before and they sold out. Sold out. So this is all about storing and organising your sewing space and your sewing materials. I'll go through the patterns and then Tracy's going to talk us through. Now, again, we do it in two ways. You can either buy all of the printed patterns. This is the most cost effective way of doing it because you get one free. Now, this should be, if you bought them all at the full price, $13.99, it would be £66.50 because you've actually got seven patterns in here but for some reason do 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 44 49.99 49.99 for seven printed patterns now they're not kits there's no fabric in them because this is about you using up your fabric stash or 
being inspired to buy some more fabric or wanting to organize things and everything coordinating so you provide the fabric we provide the pattern well tracy provides the pattern actually um now these are the patterns you'll get hanging storage pods and we're going to see all the actual made samples in a moment i just want to show you the patterns we've got the basket bag we have the jewelry roll the clear top storage bags oh we've got some of that final as well i'll show that in a minute the roll up storage the scissor keeper and extendable purse that's a nice for your little sewing kit isn't it and the mug tidy pattern that you actually put a mug in because i hold everything up together there we go all of those seven patterns for 49.99 now that's the printed versions. Obviously, all that you've got, all the pattern, you've got the full size templates. That's all of that, we, and they should be nine pound fifty each. But in the bundle, this is where you make the saving. They're seven pound forty pence each, rather than nine ninety nine. So this is where you make your saving. But if you would rather have them on a USB, so that you can print them out yourself when you want to, then the price for this is forty four ninety nine. But we will reduce that. So if you want to 38.99, if you want them on a USB stick, so all you need to do is put it in normal printer paper, not much ink at all, because it's just like the outlines, and then you can print them out. So that actually makes these patterns five pounds fifty-seven pence each, which is amazing. Where do you get a pattern for five pounds fifty-seven? And you've got all of those patterns and they're quality pattern. They've been tried, they tested, they work. I'll show you the finished samples in a moment and you will love them. You just have to decide whether you want them printed or whether you want them USB. Um, right, back. welcome back, Tracy. Yes, Obviously, thank you. <laughs> hour, hour. Show, talk me through the patterns because it's nice to see the real thing. It is and see the scale of them. So we've got a really nice collection here, whether you're making them for yourself or whether you're giving them as gifts because who loves, everyone loves storage, don't we? we all love love storage. storage, love it. So we've got just at the top here, the big basket bag that we're looking at. So it's really nice, large in size. It's got pockets on the front. Well, it's got pockets all round actually. So whether you're using that for... Um, bathroom accessories, whether you're using it for children's toys, if you've got the grandchildren coming or one of those stair baskets, really handy basket to have that one, nice big size. Um, then we've got a little mug tidy. So the next one along is a lovely little project. Um, great if you're crafting, because you've then got the space. It, it, you basically make it, it's got pockets inside, pockets inside, out and tie it around a mug. And then like we've put little pens, you can put your quick on picks and you've got space in the middle for your threads mm. or you've got other space. We always space have in mugs, there. don't we? And we always have mugs that we don't necessarily want to drink out of no. either. And we end up with mess in the no. middle of our table. Yeah. And that way, everything's yeah. there, all nicely neat. And you, or you can take it out and lay it down as a flat one as well. And it's so easy to carry around because it comes with a handle. Exactly. And nice <laughs> little, for anyone who crafts, it's a lovely little project, it's isn't like, it? Even yeah. if they're card making exactly. or knitting. Yeah. yeah, all your little accessories and bits and bobs can go in there. Or if you've got children coming, the grandchildren, put all the different colour pens around the outside. Biscuits. They'd love that. Yeah, your biscuits. It doesn't take much fabric, <laughs> so which is great for a lot of these projects are going to be really good for your scrap busting and for using up all your elts and ends of fabrics. Then we've got the little storage pods at the end. Again, I've got lots of these with threads in, but you could also have it hanging by the door for things that you're going to, don't forget keys in the morning. Oh, no, that's you know, true. Yeah, you um, have all your keys in one, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, little scrap bits when you're yeah. um, doing your, your patchwork and quilting. And you can scale that pattern up and down if you want to. So we've done it as a set of three because that will come out of a nice little length of fabric for you. So right, a small okay. of fabric and you're going to get three of those as a nice set. Uh, then we go along the bottom and we've got the uh, PVC top. Uh, storage bags which are great because you can see inside and see what I you've really got in like them. those because they're so easy to see what you've actually got yeah and they, and look, they look good yeah they're they nice present you might be wanting them as wash bags if someone's going on holiday or going off to university um you're going to get in the pattern you're going to get both sizes so don't worry mm. two sizes are included in there again not a lot of fabric chance to use up your little trims that you've got if you wanted to on the front there where your decorative stitches um, so that's the storage pods one. Then we go on to this one here. Now together you've got the scissor keeper. It's actually got an extra pocket in the back. So you've got three pairs of scissors can stay in there and the expandable purse, which we'll do a demonstration and show you. It's not difficult to make, oh, but of course, nice. when you've got those, you could scale those different sizes if you want to as well. Um, but it's a nice technique to learn. Uh, our roll-up storage, I'll show you, we've got a full big one here. So oh, when it's wow. rolled Gosh, up, you can really like see that. the scale now. When you look at the pattern, you've got no idea. It's hard really. to tell, isn't it? Yeah. And then that will open up and then you've oh, got that's all this. And they all Velcro in and out. So you've got your little pouches, whether it be pens, makeup. Oh, you know, do you know, that's bands. great for holiday though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. First perfect. aid. Yeah. And you can hang that then makeup, on the wall. Jewelry. Yeah. 
and if you're traveling just hang it on mm. the wall everything's there and then when you're ready just roll that up to go but it could be your art pens that you're yeah, using yeah. or your scissors that you don't want anyone else to touch we all have those scissors don't we so well, yeah, it's that's... quite nice that you. And if you're going on holiday or you're going to a workshop, yep. it folds up nice, but it's all there, isn't it? Exactly. You can keep all your machine mm, feet in one of those really couches. Nice. So, yeah, they uh, Velcro on and off. So, that's the roll up storage. And then at the end, we've got the jewelry roll. So, it's laid out flat at the moment, but maybe you might be able to see on the photograph on the front of the instructions. But it does roll up into a nice, neat little roll that you could pop in your bag. But it's got things like zip compartments. It's got a special bit there for your rings. You might see that kind of yeah. clipped on and it's with a button on it so they're not going to come off and you're not going to lose them um, the chains can then hang down they've got little compartments that they could pop into if you're taking jewelry with you um, and another zip compartment at the end for any special little bits that we that we don't want to lose and these are all things you might be using it for yourself for traveling but you might be giving it as a gift as well well it's you know it's a very good like gift set isn't it so yeah. if you think well i want to make christmas gifts or birthday gifts don't know what to make buy the set yep. and there's something for everybody yeah there. and i've mixed and matched lots of different fabrics so it'd be great for you know your that's a, that mug's a great teacher present yeah perfect teacher present that's a good idea mm. yeah and you can mix and match your scrap bits of fabric you know you might want to do the roll-up storage here you might want to have each of them in a different pocket mm -hmm. you know an ombre of different yeah. colors working your way down but a chance to use up all those bits that you have stored and make something handy and useful out of it so yeah perfect <laughs> lovely so all of the patterns are also available individually at £9.50 each. So obviously the most cost-effective way is to buy them as the um, this big set of either the printed or the USB. But if you want to buy them individually, they're all on the website. Just go on to sewnstreet.com, click on Watch Live, and if you scroll down from there, you can see all of them. So it just depends. You might just want one. But then or you might not be able to decide and you think, oh, actually, they are quite... Because I do like to have a set of patterns where it's someone's birthday or I think, oh, I have no idea, no idea what to make them. So I'm going to buy them. I'm going to make them something. Right. Let me just do the PVC quickly. But because for the um, zip up box... In fact, can I just borrow them off you? Yeah. Or one? There we go. Thank you. Because then I can show you. So obviously, we I have said with all of these patterns, use your own fabric from your stash. But this one does use vase, but it does use this clear PVC of fabric. So we've got two different ones. We've got the completely clear, which is like the one that Tracy's used. Um, now, this is cut. This is half a meter. Is half a meter but enough for both of them? Oh yeah, you have more both. than enough. You, you'll be able to get at least two sets. Of oh, okay, so half a meter. It's only two ninety nine. So if you want to make these, this is what it looks like when it's all open. It's exactly the same, but um, you could make absolutely loads with these, or a raincoat. <laughs> Imagine. I don't think I'd want a clear raincoat. No. I no, I just don't think I would. No. But you could. Clear raincoat. There we go. Two ninety nine. Maybe a glitter one though. But if you fancy something a bit sparkly, exactly the same, but it's got glitter in it. Two ninety nine. Actually, that would be nice as a raincoat. So can you see? It's got like if I do it like that, it's like holographic glitter. So it sort of changes colour. Let me move it against there. Can you see? Look at that. I think that would be really special, wouldn't it? Lovely. Beautiful. Anyway, that's those. Mm -hmm. Right, so um, Tracy, what are you going to show us? So I'm going to make a few different projects while we're here. Okay. Today. So we'll start with one of the really simple ones, which is the hanging storage pods, because they're just really lovely to have around the house. Don't take much fabric at all. So you're going to cut it out, use the pattern. The pattern, you just lay it out. If you're buying it printed, it'll be full scale on heavy duty paper as well. It's really thick paper, so it's great that you can use it over Like the dressmaking pattern. Yeah, because you're likely to use okay. these patterns a lot. So you're going to take your panel and you're going to fold that in half. So you can see it's not a lot of fabric and we're going to stitch down here and I'm going to stitch along the bottom. So just down that side and all the way along there. So just pop that one underneath and all our instructions, we have photos as well as written words in there because I know that some people are visual learners like myself. I like to see things. Um, it's just the way my kind of mind works. So I've got to always do the written and then photos as well that you can follow to make it really clear. And these are the kind of projects that you can get children involved in over the summer holidays. If you've got people that you want to teach to sew, it's great. Yeah, no, that's, tr that's true, actually, because it, it is a pattern that you can use to show people how to sew. Yeah, and they'll make it very quickly. So I've stitched those two lines there. And then what I'm going to do is cross fold these corners. So we need to give it the shape. So we pull that, pull that open. 
like that and we're going to stitch across here now you want to make sure that you've got your seams in line so i'm going to have one going one way and one going the other and i can feel with my finger and thumb where that seam is and if you want to just double check it you can just pop a pin going directly in that seam and then you can make sure on this side and that side that it's going exactly the right position and we're going to stitch along there one centimeter seam allowance always for our patterns and always do that normal forwards and backwards at the beginning and at the end forwards and backwards this machine will automatically do the forwards and backwards for you which is great and it's cutting the threads you might notice it's doing that as we go along and then I'm going to do the same here I haven't got the seam but I've got a fold that fold line so I'm just getting that in line and then I'm going to stitch all the way down that side so the machine will automatically forwards backwards twist to the end that's that knot and that's that one done great take that one out so if I turn this the right way around, you'll see the pod shape is coming together like that. And that gives us that space and that shape there. Oh, lovely. So, so you've got that nice same. and deep bottom. Exactly. And then we've got one here, which I did earlier, but I've just <coughs> realised that I haven't left an opening. So I'm just going to do a little opening on the back here. Just see the forwards and backwards. I thought I'd whiz that up quickly. I'm going to... So the machine that Trace is using is the um, sewing and embroidery sh machine combo, but it's not like a washer dryer. You know, sometimes a washer dryer is a bit of a compromise. With this, it isn't. Be and the reason for that is, unlike a washer dryer, you take off one machine bed and you put in the other one. So it is a really fantastic high-end sew machine with walking foot thread cutter. It's even got a blade. It's even got a blade cutter as well and knee lift. 220 stitches then the embroidery machine full size hoops it, you've got all of the stitches that are on there already including it's wi-fi enabled so you've got an unlimited number of embroidery stitches after that and it's brother now 500 pound discount that is for today the price for this machine should be 2499 pounds We've actually previously done it for 2,100, but today we've managed to get 500 pounds off the price under 2,000 price. Do your own research, have a look round. Looking for the, there's the um, code on the screen. You're looking for the brother in Nove IS NV2700, 1999. Well, not 1999, 1,000, yeah. <laughs> be nice, wouldn't it? Not 1999 amazing price um any questions you've got because it is a considered purchase do message us in um before 12 o'clock because tracy will be here till then and she knows all the answers about the machine <laughs> anyway so once you've sewn so once you've sewn that i'm then going to do exactly the same on the line and the only difference is you leave that opening so we want an opening that we can turn it through because we're going to bag it out i've taken my ribbon it could be any ribbon that you like so there's a chance to use all those little bits that you've got in your sewing box and you're going to pin that into place like that, like a loop, ensuring that it doesn't twist when you do it. We're going to pop one over the other, line those seams up, and then just stitch all the way around that top edge. So those really are lovely quick projects that you can do. But you might be doing this for your friends, might be putting some little sweets well, in think, there, you know, maybe or toiletries. It's, a, it's someone's birthday, you think, oh, I don't know what to buy them, what's their favourite sweets? Yep. Buy a bag of them and then put them in one of those. And you could even then embroider their name on because you've got the machine. Yeah. Or write their name on with a permanent marker pen, fill it with sweets. And that's a fantastic <laughs> gift. Exactly. Isn't it? Or um, a plant. Yeah. Oh, oh that'd, that'd be cute. It, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's all sorts of things. Or just little packets of seeds. Yeah. Just in the gardening shed. It just sort of makes it a little bit more special, doesn't it? Yeah. They're just cute. After you've made loads of them for your sewing room. I mean, I'd put fabric clips in, I think. Yes. I'd wait for that. Yeah, actually, they'll be really good for those clips because mm. they do end up going everywhere, don't they? And then you can just turn it through. Use or cotton wool balls would be Yeah, good. if you want some bathroom, yeah. Things you could put in a storage pod. Mm -hmm. Coffee Favourite. beans. Smell nice, wouldn't it, if you filled it with coffee beans? I love it when I open the coffee bean. Take that, take your pins out, and then you would just stitch up the little Supplements. hole that you've got in the lining. Yes. So you, if you could stitch that up by hand if you wanted to, and then it would be reversible. Oh. Or you can stitch it just close to yeah. the edge, pop that inside, 
give that press. You get the idea. I like that. And it's lovely because you've got an outer and a lining. This is where, with your own fabric, you can go for something really fun on the lining, can't yeah. you? Yeah. It doesn't use a lot of fabric. Oh, it's a great chance to play around and use out your bits of fabric. You can even do it patchwork if you wanted to. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? But yeah, like that. On this one, then, we've done a final little bit of top stitching around there just to hold that lining into place. Mm. And then you've made a Oh, that's well, if you had a lovely. caravan, you could perfect you know, for your there, camper van. You? I know. I just need the camper van to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's a lovely quick project. Yeah, no, that, that is really going. nice. You can, that comes together very quickly. Yes. Doesn't it? Yeah. Lots of these will. Um, it's to do with the construction and the the design of the patterns that make them quick and easy. So we could have done that with extra seams. I know there's lots in the market that do that, but they end up being more complicated. So we're making it as simple. Make it simple. Quick as we can. Right. As well, because we're always. Time short, don't we, these sadly, days? So, sadly, well, we're always rushing. So what are you making now? So now I thought I'd make the expandable purse. I'm oh, going to okay. grab well, can it. Can I have a look at that? So that I can show you very in one sec. So that's the expandable purse, like this. So it's got oh, lots that's nice. of different pockets. So I've just put some thread in there. But yeah. Yes, and I can see the size of it. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Again, great for your machine feet, for your threads. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you could have it. You could put bobbins in one, feet in another. Yeah. Loyalty cards, <laughs> you go out shopping. You could make it wider if you wanted to. Yeah, you could put a strap on it. One. So, yeah, you shopping. could. Yeah. But it'd be good also if you're going on holiday and you want to take a little sewing kit with you or yep. going to workshops. It could be especially for that, couldn't yep. it? Yeah, any little bits. Oh, that's made. lovely because it does fold nice and flat, but you can really see everything in it as well. Yeah. And like we were saying nice. earlier, it's about just learning different techniques. And that's what this yes. is. It's a whole course. Yeah included in one complete package here. Each collection that we produce will teach you different things. And you're things. paying 50 pounds for a whole sewing course. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and like you said, if you buy the USB, it's like five pounds. I know, it's just madness, isn't, isn't it? it? And you can do it in your own time, at home, as and when you want but to. You, but, like, but also it is it is about skills. So once you've made this, you think, oh, actually, yeah, no, I could do that. I could make it bigger and wider. You know, once you yeah. understand the construction, and you've learned the skill. Yep. That's lovely, all message. Hi both, loving the show. Thank you, Tracy, for all your help at the show. Loving my oh. new overlocker. Oh, great. Oh, Good. thank you, Leslie. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Everyone loves a new overlocker. So excited, fair. isn't it? Be yeah, oh, I'm glad you're using it. Sometimes people can be a bit nervous getting them out of the box, but don't be, just go with Have it. you got any more shows coming up? Uh, not for a while now, not till July. Festival of Quilts, July. Okay. It's going to be the next big one. Yeah, and then Belfast after that. I'll just do a few because this is keeping us so busy. I'm yeah. just trying to do the next dressmaking just collection now, which is um, oh, very okay. exciting, but there's a lot of work. Can and imagine. In May, we've got a new um, children's collection as well coming Have out that you? we'll be launching on here Ooh. too. So every month we do, yeah, a show here. Oh, that's nice. Before. Lovely. Um, right. Right. So we're so going to, make to that one. on our long panel here. You're going to put first of all put your Velcro circle on. These are little peel off Velcro ones. If you get stuck and can't find them, we have them alanseocat.com. Just have a look on the website, um, and then you just stick that on. And I would stitch that as well. Just stitch around it to hold that in place. Then you're good. So that's your lining panel. Then this is our main panel, and I've already. Uh, glued on the uh, interfacing so you have a, a medium weight interfacing tells you all of the details on the pattern and you'll see this one is a centimeter smaller and the pattern's cut it has a separate pattern so you don't ever need to do any adjustment on the patterns you don't ever need to enlarge them or anything like that and I don't ever say cut this four by four or four by five because I'm always worried it, we might make a mistake so here you've got a proper paper pattern lay that down and cut around it that way you can't do anything wrong so I've put these two panels right sides together and I'm going to stitch all the way around and I'm just going to leave an opening on the side seam for turning through later on. So pop that one here. And like we were saying, great for using all those different bits of fabric. You can make every pocket in a different colour if you wanted to. Oh, that's true. Be quite nice. So we're going forwards and backwards. This is one of those projects that looks more complicated than it is. When we make it, you'll see. Well, it's quite nice that you can use up your stash, but also when we see all these beautiful fabric collections, well, I love that, but I'm, I'm not sure I'd do with it. But when you've got all of these patterns at home, then you can just quickly check. Yeah. Which one shall I make? That's ideal. I always think it's good to get your patterns first. And yes. then you can keep yeah. a little note on your phone or of how much fabric you're going to need for each of the projects. Mm. And when you're shopping, then you know exactly how much fabric to buy. So one centimetre seam allowance just to keep it nice and simple for everything. That was the same, even the wide leg trousers that we were doing earlier, all of that dress making and the top I was wearing was the other top we were making have all got one centimetre seam allowance. So there's never any confusion. 
So I'm leaving my opening away from the corner, just so that that way I get a nice neat corner. It's always good kind of to do that because when you turn through, it, uh, it will help us. We're gonna cut across the corners, so just trim off the excess there. And then here we've got a curve. Oh, my stitching's very wobbly, excuse my stitching. <laughs> gonna trim that down a little bit around the corners. And then we're just gonna do some little snips. So where we've got a curve, we want to snip right up to the stitching. But it but still works if the stitches are wobbly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> my stitch is always a little bit wobbly. Just like that. They're inside though. Yeah. Live TV, it's never as easy, is it? So we'll do it like that. Lots of snips and then I can turn that through the right way round. Through like that. So with your corners, if you get your thumbs, I tend to poke my thumb right into the corner, fold those two over, if I do it that way, you might be able to see, fold those over and then pull it through how I want it to be. And that saves that drag that you get when you try to just pull it through. Turn that one through, like this, all the way, and then I'm going to give it a nice press. So the press is important. The same with the dressmaking. It's really good to press every single that you do as you go along. So bear with me while I just run the iron over it. I'm going to give that nice press all the way around. My little stickers come off, so I'm stick it. So I'm just going to pop another one on there like that there we go and you would press also that opening so press that and then just hand stitch that close that tiny bit there so bear with me while I just run the iron over it get that all nice and in line and stitch around so I'm using a regular cotton weight fabric here which is a oh just like a use. quilting weight cotton yeah we don't need anything too heavy um, because if we've put interfacing on the back of it just a regular interfacing Moving around like that. Okay, and those are the bits there. So that gives us our main big panel like that. Okay, so you would hand stitch that. Then we've got three other panels that are just rectangles. So you're going to do exactly the same thing. Three rectangles like that. This one, one of them also needs a little Velcro dot. The other side, so we've got the male and the female, the other side. The instructions will talk you through. It's even marked on the pattern, so you'll know where to put that. So you do these three pockets the same way. So you've got three like that, one long one, which is going to be the one that goes over the top. Then we need to mark out where we're going to stitch these. So we're stitching up and around and down. Now the pattern tells you exactly how many uh, centimetres to do that. I've made a little template, which is a good idea. You can do that if you want to. Just grab a piece of cardboard. It can be a cereal packet, anything like that. It doesn't need to be too thick. And I've then marked that out. So oh, okay. That is that the easiest way to mark it out then? With a you can do it individually and just mm. mark it with a pen. But obviously, you're just going to be keep doing that. Yeah, so no, that's quite handy. Make it, it easier. I've just kind of made a little template. If no, it's that something that you're going to be making... It does make sense, because you can just, just draw around it. Then, yeah, if it's you? something you're going to be making a lot of, just say yeah. cereal packets and just kind of do that. And then you've marked it out onto there. So we're going to put our two pockets together. I'm going to start with two of these. I've only marked it on one side, because that's all we need, because we're only going to be having one side at the top. So oh, I'm going to put okay. two pockets together like this, right sides together, and then I'm going to stitch round that rectangle oh, that we've just marked. We don't need to stitch the top, so we're just going down and around and back up. So I'm going to pop that under my machine, right sides together. And this always. is where you can really use all different fabrics, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, you can on, on any of these. And I think it's nice to do that, isn't it? Bring that bit of colour in. Yeah. And, and also we can, you know, sometimes it can keep the cost down. Like on here, the spot fabric is, is what we would call one of our basic fabrics in our collection. So they are much cheaper. And then the floral, we're only using a small amount of. Mm. Yeah, so you can use designer fabrics or planes and calicos, can't you? Yeah, mix and match them together. Go through your mm. fabric stash, which we all have at home, don't we? <laughs> so let's stitch those two together. Okay, like that. Then I'm going to stitch this one to here. The same thing again. I'm just going to stitch all the way around, right sides together, 
and I'm stitching those three sides. Yeah, so when I saw off. it, I thought, well, that looks quite complicated, but now you've broken it down, I think, oh, yeah. yes, I could actually make that. Yeah. So it's all about just learning different techniques, isn't it? That you'll then yeah, apply yeah, different true. things. And all of these projects are kind of like that. So you've got the clear PVC bag, you've got that roll up storage that's got. Um, lots of zips in, but don't be scared of them. I know people can be scared of them, but we've done it in a really, really a easy sewing, way. It's a sewing journey, this. Yeah. I'll learn a zip at some point. Yeah. And the um, uh, jewelry roll is another one that's great because that's got so many different processes in there mm. for learning. It doesn't take too long to make, but you've just got lots of different processes. So you'll be learning loads of different things. So you can see it's coming together. Yeah, I know, it's great. And the last one's going to go like that. This is very clever. I had no, when I looked at it, I thought I have no idea how it <laughs> work. Need to get it. Now. now I know how it works, so I can look at it properly. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. I love it. I think it's brilliant. So and also once you learn that, you could add more, couldn't you? You could have loads of them. Yeah, exactly. You could have less or more pockets, whatever you want. So it's about learning the process and then you can adapt it It'd for be your really needs good and your requirements. For, um, tablets, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Again, a nice thing for teachers' presents as well. Like you say, you know, come to the end of term, we're all thinking of what to yeah. buy teachers or neighbours. So you can see it's starting to come together really, really quickly. So it's going to eventually fold up like that. So we've at the moment, mm. we've got it like this. And now we just need to do our side seams. So we fold those two panels in half and I'm going to stitch close to the edge down here and down here with just those top two layers and then I'll continue down with the next two. So I just pull those out of the way and stitch down here. I'm doing it in a contrast, so just so you can see it. Obviously at home you do it in a, in a matching thread. And one side, pull those out of the way and then go down the other side as well. So we're just breaking it down and making things nice and simple projects that should only take you kind of a couple of hours to make two or three hours so the most popular is the expandable storage the one that we're making which is yeah. the one that i'm um, just doing we do have that one on its own i got my cardigan by the way sam sabido's just arrived this is going to come up in the next hour this is my favorite one <laughs> beach hut just just in case you wonder why I suddenly got a new cardigan on, but Kat's just put all her stuff in her. Can I wear that one, please? Isn't that look, look at that give you a little little twirl? Um, so the scissor key for an extend, extend, extendable purse, extendable purse, nine pound fifty. Now obviously it's more economical to buy them all together, but I know some of you just want to buy one. Fine, but that's why we do just one. Second most popular is the roll-up storage pattern. Ah, yeah. I like that. And do you know what? It's a lot bigger than it looks. Because when I saw that, it's really hard. I don't know why. It's hard to get a sense of scale. Isn't yeah, it? that's what I thought. We'd have a quick look at them on the stand there. Just but um, see when the you get it, pal, just go and borrow it. Yeah. Can I just borrow it Whee, from you? There we go. While I talk about it. There we go. Do you see what I mean? It's bigger than you think, isn't it? I think it's fab. I love this. I mean, this is, I, I think this is fantastic holiday because you can hang it up. Yep. Um, first aid kit, sewing kit, makeup brushes, jewellery, cash. <laughs> <laughs> cash. <laughs> Sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Um, so anyway, look, they're all little zip top bugs. But, or it could be, you know, if you're sewing, it bubble wrap. No, it could be bobbins, feet, sewing threads, seam unfippers, marking pencils, and... You can take them off. So when you want to take one away, so maybe you want to take your makeup and go, I'll just imagine this is hung on the wall, see, like that. And you go, Oh, I just want to go in to have a paracetamol. You could take you <laughs> take one off. I think this is brilliant, isn't it? You'd be going on an art retreat. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes. A sewing retreat. And you can keep all your bits and pieces in there. And then you just roll it up. Or you can just Oh, lap. Laptop cables, phone cables, and if you've bought the embroidery machine, you could label each one. Oh, laptop, phone, ones I don't know, but then throw out that one. <laughs> um, does the machine have an automatic foot lift? It has, of course. Oh yeah, the knee. It's got a, It's got. It comes with a knee lift, and right. it's got a button that you press to make the foot come up and down on the front. You've still yes. got the other way on the back. But you can also set it on the front so it automatically does the forwards and backwards and it automatically stops 
a little does fur it? when you finish. That is yes. a, so does it, press will the it button. stop needle down foot up? Yes. That. Yeah. Whichever way you want. If you've got it cut you can in, choose. If you've right. got it cut in the threads, it will do the forwards, backwards, cut the threads, raise the needle and raise the fur all in one go. So literally you just stop, tell it when you're finished. Yeah. And then it makes like a pair of trousers while you're <laughs> out, really. Yeah. Uh, remember, 20 more minutes for Tracy. If you've got any more questions about that machine, you are going to save £500. But with, the thing is, we all have a machine for slightly different use. Some people go, well, I only ever use the quarter-inch foot because I only do this. Some people only do that. But if your machine has got the capability to more, do more things, you'll use it. But you will have your own specific questions. For some people, it's like, I'm not ever having a machine without a needle threader. Other people, mm, has it got a walking foot? Um, what's the size of the hoop for the embroidery? Um, do I need to use Wi-Fi? Do I have to pay for the patterns? You know, all of those kind of things, because you all have different questions. Ask while Tracy's still here and save yourself £500. Right. Amazing. What a fabric you could buy. So this is great. This could be used for so many things. And then you roll it all up and you can carry it around. So you could have loads of these in your sewing room. Yeah. You could have them hanging on the wall. Have them all hanging, hanging up. up when you're going up and then take one on a workshop. Yeah. Or fill it with sweets and give it to a friend. Crochet hooks? For your crochet husband. hooks, crochet hooks, stitch markers. Yeah, because I have, I've got a pencil case that I have for my crochet hooks bursting, can barely get everything in because I've got all my stitch markers and everything else in it. That yeah, would be ideal. Be good, wouldn't that? Mm. There's so many ideas. Um, right, so we've got, so you can see it kind of coming together like that. So just to show you the last pocket then, same thing, gonna fold that in half. I can see where it's going to go. I'm going to lift those sides up and then I can stitch down here and down here. But also on this one, it would be nice to top stitch it. So if you started at one side, you can come all the way up around uh, okay. top stitch down the a other, bit of the other bit. Yeah, just for speed, I'm just going to do the two side bits, but it would be nice to do that. You could even do it with a decorative stitch if you wanted to. If you have a machine that does really nice decorative stitches. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So not... A long project doesn't take a lot of time and it's no but it looks clever though doesn't I, it yeah so these are all projects that kind of look a little bit clever but it's just learning those skills to do it and if you've got a base level of patterns like this it's perfect yeah no it's wonderful now and that's where the um, the usb is quite are quite nice i know lots of you've been collecting them so thank you those who have mm. because they say they can just line them all up on the side and yeah and it doesn't use that much space does it and i mean you can store print them out keep them in an envelope exactly and there we go done yeah so I made your lovely, that's really expandable nice. thing. Lovely little gift, isn't it? Yes, and although it comes with the scissor case, that part doesn't have to be. You don't have to use it for sewing. You can use it for anything, really. Oh, absolutely, definitely. Right, I'll just grab. I think my I should I show you a bit about these the USBs, so there's no confusion. Okay. Let's, oh no, that would be brilliant. Let's show you how that let's works. See how it works. Yeah, because I know some people get. A bit nervous, and I get it. I don't like technology; it scares me. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all get a bit like that, don't we? Sometimes. So we were looking earlier. You've got different ways of buying the patterns. As always, we do the printed patterns, and we will continue to do that because lots of you love it. So string and washer, so you can keep all your bits in there. So in theory, you shouldn't lose anything. Really well, also you don't have to tear the packaging at all, do you? Exactly. You just open it up. So photographs and written instructions all the way through to help you. And then your pattern pieces, heavy duty paper, so you can use them over and over again. Nothing's ever going to overlap, even on the mm -hmm. dressmaking ones. You don't need to enlarge it or anything like that. You're just going to cut out the pieces as they are. And if it says cut one in lining fabric, that's exactly what you do. We've got a straighter grain line there to show you. If you're not sure on grain lines, it's something new to you, um, just have a look, almasoncat.com. We've got a blog post on there because we really want everyone to um, make sure that they use their patterns. So. I wanted, I found that I was getting a mess with my patterns at home. So that's why we thought that this storage is great because they're gusted envelopes so you can keep everything in there. So well, I think as well, you don't, it's because otherwise if you tear the packaging, then it's really hard to get everything back inside, isn't yeah. it? And also some patterns, the envelope fits nicely when it's all in. But once you've unfolded it, pinned it, then it tried to refold it back together. You can never get it back in. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Oh, this okay. is what happened to me with my patterns and right. then they're just you only ever want to use it once because it just looks tatty and yeah. who wants to get that out and pin it and it tears and so we would go in heavy duty paper for our patterns mm. so that's the printed version so it was saying so you can get that as a collection then you still got your freebie you're still going to get them all at a reduced price so you 
you get the, the, the reduced fine six and then you get one extra free as well or if you get the usb comes like this all these sticks are engraved with the collection so we've got all different collection numbers oh, okay 38.99 that's, that's not the one on that's on screen at the moment over yes. there shows you on the front what you're going to get on there and on the back we've got a list as well exactly the same patterns as if you're buying them printed but when you put your usb just pop your usb into your laptop um if or tablet if you need to you can get those little usb adapters can't you i know yes certain. yes you can because for some um i have one for my mac because exactly. it doesn't have a usb port no i'm the same so very annoying really but annoying. you get a little, little adapter, adapter they're very cheap the, and you just yeah. pop the usb stick in there and then it will come up on there you've got the collection number here so this one for example was collection 15 and it will come up and it will say patterns and instructions two folders because I separated them out in case you didn't want to print all the instructions because I found lots of people want to just have it on an iPad next to them yeah, instead of printing yeah. all the photographs out. Um, and then you've got the pattern folder. So you just select the project that you want to do. So if you're doing the roll-up storage, you just select roll-up storage and print the pattern. Literally just press print. The first sheet that comes off is what we call a guide. So that tells you how many, pan how many pages it will have. Um, so for and it's just an A4 normal just printer. A4 fancy, normal printer. Right any paper you want i tend to sometimes i we have a load of um recycled paper that we use in different colors so if i'm doing the dressmaking i might do green might be for the small size oh, okay. pink might be for the medium mm. size so yeah you can recycle your paper and use it um so for this particular pattern i can see here it's going to take six sheets of a4 paper and it tells me how to tape them together right okay so then you print them all off the next it will just automatically print them so for example here this is page five and six so i can tell from my guide here five and six go next to right. each other five and six just like the guide and then you take the edge of your paper fold it over to that dotted line we've always added the border for you so you okay. don't need to worry that border is going to be automatically so you don't have to worry if it's full scale or not full scale i wanted it to be so kind of foolproof so you fold that edge over and then you line up those two mm. triangles like that and just run some tape down it and so on you would just build you up just your stick pattern. them together just tape them together and carry on like that tape them together and well it's different things some people will only ever want the printer pattern some people want the usb so it's nice that you do do it accessible for everybody as exactly well, it? the uh, you know the usb obviously works at great value like we said yeah. five pounds yeah. something so it's cheaper for you to print it yourself at home but it does also mean that if you want to lend a copy to your friend or you mm. lose a piece i'm a messy crafter so i say it often but i'm often losing those little pieces of paper or there's a particular pattern piece that gets torn you can print it off again with the usb whereas you can't yeah. with the printed yeah. one that's true and the same for dressmaking that we were doing earlier like the top that i was making i said you can print it off and cut a size 10 then you can print it off and mm. cut a different size if you need to um so yeah we find it's 50 50 some yeah, it's people strange, like isn't it some people like, yeah, like but it, it is a really simple you don't really need to be that tech savvy no not um, amanda says i've just purchased the paper patterns and i can't wait to start making gifts for all my friends loving the show oh amanda i agree with you and i'm sure when you look at these you go oh i know who that would be for and what i would do is i would fill it with um Teresa says, morning, lovely ladies. Can you tell me, please, what length stitch and needle do you use when sewing the PVC? Um, so the PVC, I would Which probably... this glorious stuff here. The one, the PVC that I've used, I've just used a normal size 80 needle, so I didn't need anything special with it. I just enlarged the stitch length. So instead of doing 2.5, I did it at 3.5. Oh, OK. Um, again, we've got a blog post on sewing PVC on our website if you need a bit of help or can't remember. But always test it on a little piece first, because sometimes they can be a bit different. Mm. So there's, what you don't want is if you have a small stitch length, it may tear because it might right. curve. Oh, I see. And so tear. Just so if you have a slightly longer, longer stitch length, then it's not likely to tear. But just test a small piece of PVC, okay. PVC first and just make sure it doesn't tear. But it's no more difficult to work. Right, than just a longer one. Yeah. Um, and Julie says, hi, sorry if I missed this. Can you use the sideways stitches for quilting a sandwich? Thank you. That's about the machine. Y yes, you could. Uh, so... Uh, yes, definitely. So you would have it and you'd hold it and then it'd go. it goes. It's slow when it goes sideways. It's kind of like this. But I use it instead of keep re-rolling my quilt and moving it around. You can then just let the machine go sideways a bit. But the most important thing, I think, with the sideways feed is it gives you those really large stitches. You know, I'm talking like this wide. Yeah. So for your borders, um, for your oh, stippling, 
it's really nice. That would be quite nice, nice down the borders of a quilt. Yeah. Because you could just centre it, couldn't you? And it yeah. could go all the way down. And like that big flower that I was yeah. doing earlier. That was, I think oh, you can go true. back and watch it, can't you? So, yeah, yeah no, okay. ideal for quilting, actually. Yeah. Or you just keep moving it along, don't you? You know, yeah. and maybe you've got a quilt that's got sashing on it and those wide borders would look really good, yeah. wouldn't they? And sometimes if you're doing, like, bag straps and you need to do, you know, you're doing that nice little square, you can do that on the machine. So you go sideways, mm. up and then make the machine go sideways that way. Instead of keep turning it around, let the machine go oh, sideways wow. down to do your squares. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, another question. Hi, Tracy and Rebecca. Silly question, please. If you get the USB, can you print one size or do you need to print off multi-sizes and cut out the size you need? It's done as one size because otherwise you'd end up with so many files and it was getting it was yeah, too Yeah, so it's a bit like a normal dress But it's just a line. So each one has a different, like a different dotted line. But because of the way that I've cut the patterns, there's no overlapping. I know sometimes you get multi-size patterns yeah. and the, the lines all overlap and they're different colours and they can be, I haven't done it like that. I've kept it very, very simple. Well, otherwise there'd be too many files because you'd have to have every piece. So say you were like a pair of trousers and there were say six pieces. Yeah. You'd have to have on that um, file, you'd have to have all the sizes and it would get yeah. to you. You'd end so up no, with the wrong so one. Print it out. Choose your size and then cut it. They're just like a size. normal dress pattern. Yeah. Where all the sizes are on there and then yeah. you cut around. But the good thing about having the USB is if you cut out a 12, you've lost the 60. Exactly. <laughs> on a USB, you can reprint you it. You can reprint it. And remember, because yeah. our sizes are the small size is 10 to 12, medium is 14 to 16. So there's two sizes grouped together. So there's quite a difference between the sizes. Yeah. Okay. So we're not talking cutting tiny little bits. Mm. They're, they're, they're a big chunk of difference. So it's not, it's not difficult. Okay, so I thought I've got a little bit of time. We could make a quick scissor keeper. Yeah, Should go we do on that? Then. Go on that then. comes We've with the expandable purse that we ish. made earlier. Um, all you're gonna do is put your two right sides together. So I've put the interface on the back. Again, you've got a separate pattern for your interfacing, so don't worry, cut that out, iron that onto the back, and then put two right sides together. And I'm gonna stitch all the way around. So it'll take me a while while I do this, so just bear with me, and I'll stitch around. I'm going to look through. So I'm going to leave an opening to turn it through, to bag it out. Down to the bottom. Turn in at the corners. Turn it around. Each corner you're going to stop and pivot. So good for beginners too, like we were saying earlier. Maybe you're thinking over the summer you might be able to teach children grandchildren to say that would be lovely and um, these projects are great for that around, and then around that top edge so you, you don't need to worry too much the pattern is done is cut with all the little corner bits that you need so just follow the edge of the pattern And then what you'll do is trim across the corners, just like we did before. And then we can turn that the right way around. I'm just going to pop that iron on. That's on. Put your hand in there and turn that through. So these two are good because these both come in. So actually, the collection, although it's seven patterns, you're also getting this one. So you get eight, actually. And remember that PVC purses are also two sizes. Oh, OK. Yes. That's, that's quite so good, isn't it? So that you can make little ones and big ones. I mean, they're ideal okay. for sewing as well as wash bags and yeah. cosmetic bags, all sorts. Anything you want to be able to see through. You could take them on the plane, couldn't you? Yeah. Or they'd probably go, oh, it's not see-through enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rules and regulations, yes. Right, so then the raw edge that we've got there, the opening, I'm just going to fold that in and press that flat and then you would just hand stitch that closed. I'm working my way around. So if you roll your fingers like that, you can make sure that your seams are really coming out nicely. You don't want them tucked in too much. That's the same for anything that you're, that you're making. You just work your way around it every little bit like that. So I'm just pushing, rolling, getting those seams out and working. My way around. So it seems like it's a funny shape, but it will all start making sense in just a minute. Just 
pull that corner out. Like that. That corner out. Okay, then we're going to take this one and we're going to start folding it. So we're going to fold it in half like that. Again, I'm going to give it a little press. And that middle bit there. So you folded it completely in half. Then we're going to fold it back on itself like that. Press that bit. It's just origami, isn't it, with fabric? <laughs> <laughs> that is clever. <laughs> and that one. Fabric that lot. Ori ori fabric origami. Yeah. <laughs> Should be a name for that. Yeah. <laughs> you just made it. <laughs> <laughs> just made that up. Yeah. <laughs> like that okay and you can see that what i'm going to do then is stitch on the sides and then we've got one pocket here another one here and also one at the back we're using very little fabric and it can all coordinate nicely with my um expandable purse that we made and give ourselves a nice little collection go down here i'm just stitching all the way down that side edge quite a few layers here but the machine's going through it without any problem at all so we're just going to whiz down like that. And then we're going to go across the bottom. And we're going to fall out. And you could add, you know, a lanyard strap to this if you wanted to. Um, a piece of ribbon. Or if you want it to hang up in the corner of your room, you could do that. And here we have cut this first. There you go. And then you've got your little scissor keeper. I'll move those out of the way. Then you can see it's like that. So you've got one pocket there, one there. Oh, that's brilliant. One. What a nice little set, back. though. So quick to make. Yeah. Isn't it? Hardly really any fabric. Yeah. Just a nice little. Process. Well, also, you know, again, like if you're going on a workshop, make yourself a little thing to hold your scissors. Uh, fabrigami, origami with fabric. Oh, thank you, Paul, and coming <laughs> off it. Yeah, fabrigami. Because if you're going on workshops or something and you need to take your scissors, yeah. just make that. That's yeah. lovely. Or a nice little gift for somebody. Yeah. Gorgeous, yes, isn't that? Oh, yeah, very. Thank you project. so much. Awesome. Yes, now we've got one more product which didn't show earlier, which is to do with the sewing machine. Um, have you ever used this? The Bozal Embroidery Stabilizer. It's a special no-show nylon mesh. No. I'll bring it over. It looks fab. Mm. So this is to use. Obviously, it is ideal for using with the embroidery machine. It's a special product we haven't done before. Um, I'll show you. So it's because with a lot of time when you're doing machine embroidery, it's really good to use a stabiliser okay. to stop it yeah, stretching yeah, of and everything. Whereas this one, um, it has an embossed texture for multi-direction stability. So I guess it doesn't pull oh. out of straight. It's tr semi-transparent, so it eliminates show through even on white fabric. So say you're embroidering um, a name on a yep. T-shirt, be ideal for that. Um, it remains under the stitching to give support through washing and wearing and ideal for baby garments. I was going to say, that's what I've used something very similar to this for baby yes. grows because you don't want anything that's going to scratch the skin. Oh, of course, so yes. So anything you want soft, this mesh is great for that, yeah. So it's a good thing to have if you've got an embroidery machine, have a little bit of that right. kept by all the time. Because, yeah, sometimes... So the this is 36.99 and you're getting nine metres. So we've had a look around to see what else we can find. Forty-six pounds, similar. Forty, isn't that? Yeah, that is exactly the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Launch price though, because this is today, because it goes with the machine. If you've got the machine, this is great for embroidery. Twenty-nine ninety-nine, nine meters of that. So if you're doing, um, it's any, I mean, it doesn't. The fact that it stays in and it's really good for baby grows and t-shirts and white things, mm. but you can use it with any embroidery because you do often need to stabilise. Yeah, you should always put a stabiliser behind right. when you're doing embroidery. Okay. Yeah, different ones. So you might want a vanishing one if you were doing lace work. Right. Or towels that you okay. put in water and then that disappears afterwards. This is a tarot one, which is nice, but um, you want one like this that's soft for your, for your for soft things like baby, that. baby. Special. Soft. There yeah. we go. A great price. Yeah, see, this would be ideal for um, embroidering on outfits. Yeah. And any of these projects, you could add the embroidery, like you said earlier. Yes, so really lovely. Is. And that's our special machine. £500 off today. Amazing price. Um, now, don't forget, all of Tracy's designs are available as the full printed patterns or as the USB. 
just depends. And it, and it really is with us when we sell them a 50 50 thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been growing. Yeah. We're a bit nervous stuff. I understand it because I'm like that with technology. Oh, well, when you first But did yeah, it. once people have used one, they're like, oh, okay. Yeah, so you easy. don't have to kind of download anything or install anything. And I think that's the thing, isn't it? You just have to put it's fine. Yeah, I exactly. Know. And you can print them, say, over and over again then. And, and then it's just great for storage. You just have those all lined up and you think, yeah. I'm going to make something for somebody. Have a look, go through your collection, see what you're going to make. And it will tell you on there how much fabric you need, mm. particularly for, for the smaller ones, the storage things. It tells you how much ribbon you're going to need, what interfacing you're going to need. So you can okay. do a little shopping list before you go out. Yeah, no, that's perfect, yeah. isn't it? Just cute. Loads, loads of you checking out your baskets. Remember, the patterns are also available um, individually. So if you decide, well, I only want this as a keeper set, then you can just have that one. Or you just want the PU bags or the storage basket. I love the storage basket. Um, thank you so much for today, Tracy. It's been brilliant. Lovely. Thank you for showing us the machine. It's so inspiring, isn't it? I hope you all enjoy your machines. Oh, I know. I know Those of, of you who buying, have bought so the machines and saved enjoy. your £500, well done and congratulations. <laughs> we have a few left, but not many. Um, when will you be back with us? I'm back in three weeks' time. Okay. Yes. With a new collection, another one. Ooh. Collection 20, I must think it's 22, what number are you 20, on now? 23 maybe. I'm working two ahead at the time, so I'm not quite sure. One's uh, okay. Okay. 20, 20 something. With collection 20, 20, 20 something. 23. <laughs> um, brilliant. Well, have a lovely three weeks. We'll see Thank you back you. here Thank soon. You. Thank um, you. I will see you back here in a few minutes. It's Monday. It's nearly 12 o'clock, so it must be Yarn Lane. Sam Sabida's here. Do you love my cardigan? <laughs> I do. I love, love the colours. Look at that. It's beach heart, this one. So too. nice. I feel like a beach hut. It's gorgeous. So if you've never tried V-Stitch, going to learn. Um, Sam's going to teach you about shaping as well. We, She's done her design this time, full kits, and there are five different colourways. Um, in the break, go on to sewingstreet.com, click on Watch Live, scroll down, have a look there. You know what Sam's kits are like. They always sell out. So you could get ahead, get yours in the break, and then you can just enjoy the demo. Anyway, um, I'll be back with you in a few minutes' time. Ready for Yarn Lane. <laughs> Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. 
Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. <laughs> Welcome to Yarn Lane because it's Monday, it's 12 o'clock. Look, we're matching. We are. We're matching. Look at that. Beach House is the most popular on the website. I'm not surprised that's because of anyone they've seen. Yes, is that's it? true, true. It's like I was wearing it. Yeah, yeah you snack, snack it on. <laughs> um, so tell me about the cardigan and then we'll talk about the Okay, colours. so this is the Beach Days cardigan. This is right. me being optimistic. <laughs> Summer is coming, everybody. And haven't we had just had a lovely weekend? We well, did, actually. Yeah. But you're not Certainly that optimistic because you put sleeves on. I have put <laughs> sleeves on, but it's uh, so it's Beach Days cardigan. It's mm. made with V-stitch, so it's light and airy, mm. um, which I will demonstrate. So it's a slightly lacy stitch. It's got a uh, taper in, a V-neck, so there's a bit of shaping on it, and the sleeves are also tapered. So you can see they get narrower towards your cuff. <laughs> we would be doing the aeroplane <laughs> yeah, sleeve tapering technique. There we go. See, see? So, and you've got an optional buttonhole, so each kit will come with buttons. Sorry, you can't see that there, but there's buttons, lovely wooden buttons on the... These are nice, yeah. aren't they? Where'd you get those from? They're lovely. Yeah, they're they're pretty, like mosaic. They? So I'll show you in a minute when we do the kits. We'll show you in the yeah. kits. So I wanted something to wear over a dress or a t-shirt yes. or a vest. Um, well, you just need on a summer's day, yeah, a little cover up, nothing it's too. It's rare that you don't need something at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. I'm thinking um, holiday season. I like the fact you've got summer striped and summer plain. I just felt, yeah, because I obviously, as we know, I like colour. I yes. tend to go bright and colourful. I like a variation of colours, but a lot of my dresses are multicoloured, <laughs> okay. and then I end up, yes. which I think it's fine. You can wear a nice a stripe mm. with a multicolour, but. Actually, there's a practicality to having a solid colour cardigan. It makes it a bit more wearable. That's true, actually. So I thought, let's go for both options this time round. So if you want a stripe, we've got the right. stripey options, but yeah, they're both try. included the in the pattern. One. So talking so, about the yarn, because this is a bit unusual, yes, yarn. Yeah. I'm going to just put the, the plain one on, you'll see. So it's a nice, good quality acrylic. It's, yes, it's mo mainly acrylic okay. with a tiny bit of viscose because it's a tweed. Yes. So all, every colour used in the kits, in all of the cardigans, is a tweed. So it's super fun to work with. And even when you are um, working with a solid colour, you've got these flecks of colour coming through. So, so it's really nice, isn't it? So, so even I though mean, I said solid, it, it actually has a slight fleck and it's and they're all look at that navy one that is gorgeous it's lovely isn't it? because you could like you say wear this with even a red dress couldn't yeah you? exactly yeah That's so gorgeous. you could wear it with uh, yeah any color it's got a little bit of red a little bit of blue they've all got slightly different color yeah, flecks running beautiful, through aren't they? and i also thought it made the bright ones a bit more muted so obviously i'm wearing one in it's quite a bright pink yellow and green but having the tweed in it makes it a bit more textured 
I can't, um, I can't hear you very well, Ollie. I think my batteries are going. There we go. So all of the kits, so now what, what's the size range? So the size range is from an extra small up to a 2XL, which is from around about a 28 inch to a 47 inch right. price. Right, okay. And there's enough yarn in all the kits. Yeah, to, to make up size. to the larger size. Right, yeah. so now we can go through them. We'll start with beach charts, which is this one. I've just had a quick change. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. So that's the beach hut kit. You can see it here. So in the kit, you get two, is it two balls of each colour? It is, yeah. So six, six, six 100 gram balls, right. balls, yeah, in total. And you can see, uh, hopefully you can see there, the lovely fleck that you get running through them all. And the pattern. And the pattern. Nice yeah. And three pattern. wooden buttons. And are they same in each kit? They're not exactly the same. So I've got a little selection here okay. to show you. So you get three, uh, they're 25 mil. And oh, and does it pet pen? So what do you, which one do you get in Beach Hut? Well, you'd still get a selection. Oh, nice. Okay, so they're not, they are like, for example, in the um, one we haven't come to yet, yeah, the Sandcastle, mm. we'll get more tonal. In the uh, so the sand castles all browns haven't got there yet, but the, this cut sort of colour in your right, sand okay. castle. They're three mismatched. They're not identical. Oh, nice! Even better. And then the, the one you're wearing, the navy, I've called sea waves. That's got three blues. So it, they just yeah. So let's yeah. have a look at this. Is what they look like, but they'll be random. But they'll be yeah. different. So yeah. That's. Let me show you. Look, there's the buttons. And you see the fleck in the yarn is great because that. It exactly. picks up the nice sort of flex Exactly, buttons. it picks up all the different... I think it's lovely that you've put the buttons in, though, because people well, need to find exactly. the right Well, exactly. If I just say get some buttons and everyone's seen the lovely buttons that we have yeah. on our cardigans, it might be frustrating. So I thought I'd right. supply the buttons as well. So, so every kit ready comes with three buttons. Yes, and of course, instructions for how to make the buttonhole is included in the pattern. Right. So. Uh, right, now the one that you're wearing... Yeah, I'm wearing deck chair. Deck chair, because so. your deck chair is pink, yellow and green. Well, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, lovely stripes, pink, yellow and green. And again, it's got, it's that tweedy yarn with it's the different gorgeous, colours mixed into it? it. Yeah. Really, I really, really nice. My favourite, actually, is the one you were wearing, the beach hat. Oh, is it? No, so, I love the beach Yeah, I'm thinking I might have to ones. wear... Make myself another one. Yeah, obviously I love this. Yeah, I don't know actually. I like all of them. Yeah. I love that one because those are really nice colours. But then I like this one because, like you say, that will go with a colourful dress. Exactly. Cheeky, exactly. It? It's definitely something you might make more of. So in deck chair, you get two of the pink. Yes. Two of the what well, is a mustardy yellow? Yes, it is. It's called Harvest, Harvest. but it's slightly okay. brighter than a mustard. You'll see when I'm working with it later. And then yeah. two. What's the green one called? The green one's called Dill. Dill, yeah, yeah that is Dill's so lovely. Nice. So they're a little bit zingy, but because they've got that tweed running through and them, it mutes really them. And it's a really lovely soft acrylic yarn it as is. well. But I mean, their they yarn always is, isn't it? But yeah. you can see the, the tweedy fleck. And obviously three buttons. Yes, three which buttons. Which won't all be the same either. No, three mismatched buttons. Yeah. Um, then we'll go on to sandcastles. I'll bring sandcastles forward. Can't did say the... Dummies might fall apart, so I'll move it very carefully. <laughs> so this one's beautiful as well. They're all lovely, obviously. That's lovely, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, really lovely. So this one, what, what are these colours called then? So we've got oatmeal yeah. for the creamy. We've got pearl. So this yeah. brown, it's hard to tell, but it's a slightly pinky brown. It's a warm, light it's brown. Mink, isn't it? Mink, that's it's good. Mink. Yeah, that's exactly. Mink. And then koala for the, the sort of... No idea what colour koala is. That's kind so, of like latte. Yeah, so it's got a, definitely got a kind of coffee, kind of chocolate. Yeah, so that's lovely it. for It is. Neutral, really neutral. And again, you could wear, definitely wear that with a lovely floral dress. Yeah, you could. Because that it blends is so well. Because really like that. So Linda, I'm going to need to say, Linda made this one. Thank you, Linda. So Thank we've you had, very much, Apart Linda. from my... I made this one, but the other four belong to other <laughs> okay. people. They'll be sent back. Um, so, and then this one has... The and there it buttons. shows you how you've got the three oh, buttons nice. that are different to each other, but match the... But go with the... the yeah, they're cardigan. different. Yeah. But they're lovely, they're really nice, and they really make it, don't they? And yeah. And to be honest, I always think with the cardigan, even if you don't intend to do it up, it's nice to put buttons on it. I think it makes it look more finished. It's like a decoration. Yeah, obviously it's it? optional, but it, I think it gives it a nice finish. Yeah. Okay, so that's Sandcastle. And then the final one. Oh, no, pink. Yeah, I'm wearing it. I, I forgot this because I'm wearing it. <laughs> then we have the pink one. Isn't that called... Um, it's called lollipop. lollipop. And that is actually what the pink is called as well, the yarn lollipop. 
Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So they're all... Oh, yeah. There we go. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Sorry. You're, you've currently got 39.99 on top of your head. Have I? <laughs> <laughs> that would just confuse people. <laughs> Can't have Sam. Can't have her. No, not for sale. Um, so this one is yeah. pink. It's lovely. Yeah, so this is pink. Pure, yeah. But again, where you've got the flex, it gives it a bit more texture and interest, I think. I think it's strawberry ice cream. It's beautiful colour pink. Beautiful, I love it. It's, it? it's sort of zingy and warm. Perfect summer pink. It is, isn't it? And it will go also with a lot of neutral shades. It looks yes. lovely with navy yeah. and black. Yeah, and, and with denim if you like to wear oh, yeah, jeans. Yeah, that's true. You know. Yeah. Denim dungarees. Yeah, Kat, can you come and dresses. try it on? I think you look lovely in it. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the navy one, which is what, what, what I'm wearing at the moment. This one. Love it's that beach one. Beach waves, I've called that. So, and that's beach days. Beach waves. Oh, so beach I was just thinking waves. along that, yeah. Obviously, we're well, seeing this year. Yes. Sea waves, sorry. Sea, sea waves. waves, beach days, sea waves. And this is lovely. It's a really lovely navy with all these little flecks of like teal and red in it mm. that's like i mean that will just go with everything and anything that's definitely yeah question okay um can you do a round neck from collector northumberland well i think the best way to achieve a round neck in it is to not do the decrease to shape the v-neck oh, okay. so you would just carry it straight up and then you would just when you come to do edging that would make it form a round neck oh okay so, so yes yeah you can. i just not do i mean the... if you've done it before you know, you know if you're a complete yeah. beginner i probably wouldn't start off adapting patterns but if you've done it before then yes um, Kerry says, hi ladies, I was wondering, is this a kit okay for a beginner? I've only ever made shawls or blankets. Yeah, I'd say it's a really good next step actually, Kerry. If you've done shawls and blankets, this is a really simple pattern, a very good step up from those. So definitely, and obviously I'll demonstrate some stitches in a minute, yeah. but it's really achievable. It's three panels, you've got your back panel and then two front panels. I mean, really, it's and just then sleeves added on. three shawls sewn together. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it is like really, that. Really, yes. isn't it? So I think if you've done shawls or blankets, you know how to hold a hook. Yeah. You know how to do the stitches. Yeah, and it's just repetitive rows of stitches, mm. much as it is with a shawl or blanket. And I like so a V-stitch. Yeah, it's, yeah it's just the V. It's just trebles. So it UK grows? trebles, yeah. So if you can make a UK treble, and you, you can do this. So. Um, Gina says, morning, I just wanted to say a big public thank you to Sam for helping me out when I got in a pickle oh, with a shower pattern. <laughs> You're very welcome, Gina. So Gina sent me some messages and some photos and we saw She got in a pickle. Yeah, yeah but she did brilliantly. Oh, I got in a right Great pickle with one of yours because I sewed them all together wrong. I had to undo oh. them. Nearly there, nearly there. <laughs> was my fault though. Um, all of the kits are 39.99, which is amazing price. Um, Sam, Sam is going to be working with Beach Days, which is the one that she's wearing. Yeah, deck this chair. is Deck Beach Chair. Deck yeah, chair. yeah, that's it. Um, if you've got any questions as you go along or you want me to show you any of the colours or to remind you, or if you go onto the Sewing Street website, there's photos of all of them there. So if you can't remember which one's called, what's the name, you'll see them, all the pictures of them there. So where do we start okay. after we decide right, what size we're Right, so it's very important. Yes, just, <laughs> I've just, you knew what I was going to say. I was just going to say, very important when you're making... Any item of clothing, decide what size you're going mm. to make first. So these are um, designed to be loose. So if you want it fitted, make a size down. So the one I'm right. wearing here, okay. I actually made a size down. So this goes up to a size 2XL. I'm wearing the XL because I want it just to be something I slid on over a, a dress or a okay. vest or something. So if you want it fitted, go a size smaller. If you want it to look a bit looser, go up. Do your normal do size. Normal do your normal size. size. Okay, so it's very it is clear. It's a very clear be size chart. Yeah, right, okay. yeah, very clear size chart in there. As you say, choose your size. Then you need to make a little tension square. So you've got the instructions for that in the kit, um, and I'm going to talk you through it now. But this is really important when it comes to making garments because this will dictate whether or not your item of clothing ends up the same size as one that I've <laughs> made. So, <laughs> so you will make your little tension square. I'll talk you through that in a sec because mm. the way you make this is the same way as you make the cardigan. So, but then when you've made your tension square, measure it. And we want it to be 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. So that can be with a little stretch because obviously when you wear it, it will stretch a bit. So but not too much. But not too much. So you can see mine is approximately 10 by 10. So if you've got a blocking board, 
you might want to just block it a little bit on your blocking board first. A so very gentle stretch and measure it. And if that is 10 by 10, that's perfect. You carry on with the hook size, which is a four. If it turns out a little bit too small, you're going to need a larger hook size. So if it's about a centimetre or more smaller. Oh, that's lovely, Kat. Oh, just come and demo, very come lovely. And Kat's just going to come and model the pink one. Lollipop. <laughs> I'll move out of the way. It's really nice. It yeah, lovely, it's lovely on it? you. And that's the kind of the loose fit. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, that's how I, that's how I yeah. do that. So yeah, so that's yeah. what it's designed yeah. to look yeah. like. Yeah. And it's a nice length. It just comes... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Thanks. Very nice Thanks. on you. Thanks. Yeah, Claire made that, otherwise I'd give it to you, but I've got to go back to Claire. Yeah, Claire would love it. Um, now, we have actually... The, I've not seen these before, so I don't know whether they're new or not. I don't know whether it says. Um, these hooks, now this is brilliant if you don't know about it, or if you've only got one hook, because this is the range of hooks so that you can go up and down. These are Zing, um, Nip, Mobra and Nip Pro, and Nip Pro are great, Zing. So on the hooks you get... I mean, you won't need as small as this, but you will get a two, a two and a half, a three, a three and a half, a four, a four and a half, five, five and a half, and six. So twenty six ninety nine, you get all of them, and this is brilliant because if you find sometimes if you're real loose tension or tight, you might have yeah. to go down whole. Oh, at size. least, yeah, exactly. And I've got customers that um, know that they need to go up at least or down at least one hook size to get oh, okay. the tension to match. I mean, the vast majority of people, you'll find that a four is fine, but it's well worth, this is why it's important to do this tension square, measure it. If it is, I always say, more than a centimetre different, so if it's like 9.5 right. centimetres, that's fine, okay. but if it's 11 or 12 centimetres by 11 or 12 centimetres, then you're going to need to try again with a smaller hook. If it comes out, say, eight centimetres by eight centimetres, you'll need to try again with a bigger hook. And you might then need to try again with an even bigger hook. Yeah, so depending, because it doesn't matter yeah, if your tension no, is different. No, it doesn't matter can, at all. You can alter it, but it's quite nice that you've got the range, so you're going from a two to a six. This yeah. is really good. It will keep you going for different bodies, because if you're using four-ply, you're going to need to go down to, like, a three and a half, three, three and a half, and two. Yeah, so. it's really, and and it's nice really as good any, quality. These are lovely to work with. I've got a set of these. They're and really you've got lovely. that half mil increments yeah. as well and they really smooth they don't catch on anything so if you're new to crochet or you just want to well i haven't kit, seen these before so i don't know if they're new and they're not oh and um they have a magnetic fastener do you like a magnetic fastener oh a few questions are all your patterns crochet do you ever do knitting i don't design knitting no. patterns. <laughs> I do knit. Oh, okay. Not very, I've not, never, never not heard of knitting. Not extensive enough to design. You never know. Do you Watch ever your do space. knitting? I do, but yeah. it's one of those things where when you're so practised at something, yes. picking something else up and doing a skill, no, picking up another hobby that you're not so good at is always a bit frustrating. Yeah. So I haven't quite at the moment got to the stage of designing oh, yeah but, but crochet is your thing isn't yeah it? yeah exactly <laughs> yeah my thing uh, <laughs> next question love the colors is the yarn jaggy what not at all mean? i think i know what you mean eileen i think you're thinking it might catch where you've got the little bits of oh because of the flex. flex on it right. no it's really i promise it's really lovely to work with it feels it really nice word. <laughs> i kind of get what you mean because sometimes when you're trying to get when you're working with a yarn that's a different um that is tweedy. It texture. Can, yes, it can so kind of tech, and also like taking it out can be harder. But that's not the case with this at all. So if you do make a mistake and have to take it back, then that's fine. Uh, Sue says, "Can you tell me what the largest size is, and is there enough yarn in the kit to achieve it, please?" Okay. So the largest size. Let me. I'm going to double check. It's up to a 47 inch, which is the actual size. So the actual chest circumference goes up to a 2XL which is 100, 111 to 120 centimetres. I know I checked, 120 is 47 inches. And that's and bust, that's actual bust, bust. Actual, actual bust size, which will make it slightly loose on you. Right. And it's a finish of 130 centimetres. Oh, OK. So what the pattern does is it gives you what the actual finish size is, as well as what she, Sam would said would suggest. And yes, there is, and more, yes, there there is, is enough. enough yarn. Yes, there is enough. Um, Oh, there we go. Jaggy as in oh. scratchy on the skin when Oh, wearing. okay. So I did interpret that wrong. Sorry, oh. Eileen. No, it's no. it's comfy, no. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a cream. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's soft. Do you know, it's I know what you wear. mean now. That's why, oh, I used to hate wearing wool as a child. It yeah. was jaggy as jaggy. Scratchy and I didn't know yeah. that word. Yeah. Um, except that's why I only have blue face Lester if I wear blue. Oh, really? <laughs> because it's not jaggy. Yeah. Well, there we are. We've got a new word, word there. Yeah. Um, 
Carolyn says, hi ladies, I've just purchased the Sandcastle Beach Days. Oh, Love it. Thanks, Carolyn. What, the Sand thanks Castle? for buying. Yeah, that one. Is it? Well, I'm going to try that one on then. <laughs> that is the most popular. We never get is it, it right, do we? Oh, right. See, I thought Beach Hut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're not jaggy. Can assure but I you. I guess that kind of makes sense because it's neutral, but you've still got the stripes, so it's very wearable. Yes. But yeah, not no, it's really soft. Sorry for not understanding what you meant there, either. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't know what that meant. We've learned a new word. Thank you very much. I'm <laughs> going to be using that all the time. Oh, I can't bear wearing things that are jagged. No. Oh, it, it makes me shiver. And all also, over. as you're going to be wearing over a vest or a thin dress or something, you do want yeah. it to feel soft. It's a so. really. I like this acrylic because it is. A, it's a really soft, but it's a good quality, isn't it? It is. Because some yeah. acrylic is a bit squeaky yes yeah now this is it's lovely <laughs> to work with and it's lovely to wear so there we go there is very um, nice um yeah. oops sandcastle <laughs> fell into my basket oops oh, karen thanks karen lovely isn't it look it's really lovely i'll wear a little yeah. bit of sandcastle right okay, okay. So you've done size so you've done your attention you've checked that that is Marvelous. fine and if necessary you'll try it in a different hook size and so i'm going to now teach you through we'll talk you through how to make the v-stitch so if you have bought a kit, um, you could practice this bit at home in the meantime because I'm right. on a piece of acrylic double knit yarn. Okay, so while you're waiting Any for your end kit you've to got, arrive. So you're going to start with the chain 21, which is what you do for the tension square. So the reason I'm going to demonstrate it on that is it would just take me too long to work an actual size for one of the items of clothing to demonstrate. And everyone will be making a tension square. Exactly. Won't Good point. Because if their cardigan <laughs> then doesn't fit, they've only got themselves to blame. Uh, I had um, <laughs> uh, four people making the samples this, and I did say to them, please make the tension square and send me a photo so I can check, and everybody was fine. So, right, okay. Yeah, but it is worth doing. I know sometimes I'm guilty of it myself. You think, oh, really? I think my tension's fine. But I know, but you see, we don't want to. It's yarn. a bit like if you're, exactly. a, if you're a sew, we don't like pre-washing fabric because we want to just crack on. Exactly. But it is worth. it really is worth it, honestly. Because you think of the hours and hours you've put into it and then it doesn't fit. Yes, exactly. And then you go, hmm, wish I'd spent... What, an hour? And also give a bit, uh, oh, I really highly recommend, I harp on about it all the time, but measure yourself. If you're making it for yourself, <laughs> I know, I, but yourself. I measure myself because my body shape changes. I measure myself before I make my sample. So measure yeah. your bust and think how you want it to fit because it's really, that, as you say, do not You don't have to, to write that measurement on your forehead or sew it into <laughs> no, your... No, no one needs thing. to know. That's your own personal <laughs> moment. Yeah. And then you know what you are, don't exactly. you? Exactly. And, and then, then you can make a kind of informed choice exactly. about how you want the fit to be. Exactly. Right. So I have made a chain of 21. I'm going to triple check because I'll be embarrassed if I get it wrong towards the end. So <laughs> one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Actually, I think you can see also here these little flecks that come through as you work. Mm. I really like. I don't know why. Something about it. I really enjoy that. Yeah, no, it's quite well. It's just nice, isn't it? Because it's it's like colour changing, isn't it? Yeah, it gives you that kind of fun. Right. So you're going to work into the sixth chain from the hook. So you've got the chain that your yarn is coming out of is number one two three four five and you're going to go into number six and you're going to put your yarn over and you're going to go into that chain for that sixth chain there pull the yarn back through to give you three loops on your hook yarn over through two yarn over through two so that is a uk treble so you've got this big gap here. I skipped five because it acts as a chain, a chain four and a, and a skipped one. So don't worry too much about that. It'll make more sense as I go. <laughs> just, just take it at face value. <laughs> then I do a chain one. So just pull the yarn through the loop on my hook. And then I'm going to make another treble in the same place as I just worked. So I managed to pick up the yellow there. So in here. So if you're not sure where that is, give it a little pull. You'll see it stretching up that chain. So another treble in there. So yarn over into that same chain, pull back through, gives you three loops on your hook. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two. And if I just put it down here and cover that loopy bit at the beginning where we skipped five, mm -hmm. 
you can see how it looks like a V. So yeah. you've got a treble, a chain one, and your second treble, which makes a V shape. So that's why it's called a V stitch. Then you're going to skip two, one, two, and then you're going to work into the next chain along. So skipping one, two, next chain, yarn over, into that chain, pull back through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So the V stitch is one treble, chain one, one treble, all in the same place. Second V stitch made. So you can see how it's a little bit holy. You've got that lacy look yeah, to it. Yeah, no, it's nice it's, though. Yeah, which is what makes it nice to wear as a summer or spring. Yes, it's not so dead. So though in theory, it should sort of trap the warmth. Well, it? this is true. It's yeah, really yeah. We'll have to feed back. It might be more insulating <laughs> yeah. than you expect. So you can see I'm doing the same thing again. I've just skipped two chains. So I've skipped one, two, and I've made my V stitch, my one treble, one chain, one treble in the next one. Repeat that all the way along. So depending on the size you make, you'll do a different starting chain to start with. So if you're making, it will tell you in the pattern how many chains to make and that will depend on which size you're making. So I've worked into skip two, V stitch in the third all the way along. And then here I have three left. And I'm going to do a one chain. So can you see down here, I've worked all the way along my chain. You all have done the same. Excuse this tiny splitty bit there. That's where I'm hurrying to demonstrate it to you. But you all have done the same. And depending on the size you're making, your length here will be longer. Uh, you'll have three left at the end. Skip two. Do a one chain in the air. And then one treble in that final one. So that's keeping the end of the row straight. And so I'll just show you here. You've got your chain at the beginning, you've got the chain at the end, and that keeps it straight. So now all I'm going to do is repeat that working back and forth in rows. Before I turn it, if you are brand new to crochet, what you can do, and this is, you might, you know, if you're new, if you're not new to crochet, you won't need to, but if, when we come back along, when we turn it, you're going to work into every one of these one chains in your Vs. So you've got one V stitch, two, three, four, five. You can, if you want to, mark them with these stitch markers. Oh, okay. I'm just going to mark the first few just, so just to give you, you the idea. Because otherwise, when you're new to crochet, yeah. I can make it seem really straightforward. But when you're looking at it, you might think, oh, well, hang on, where am I going? So I'm just going to do the first three so I can demonstrate that. We've got them. If you haven't got stitch markers, we've got them here. We've got a box of them, $14.99. Nice to have a box. And they're different colours as well, which is quite handy sometimes. It is. Sometimes when you do it, you need to mark different areas with different markers. Once you've got the box, it's a lovely little snap closed box. You'll have those that can keep those in your little in your crochet kit. Really, really use. Also, they're locking. Don't think if you've got knee knitting markers, they do the same because some knitting markers are circular and they only go over the needles. And they don't work with crochet, so yeah. these are really need useful the as well. Ones. And you need yeah. different colours, so really worth having if you haven't got any. I'm going to demonstrate them. now why different colours are helpful. Oh, OK. OK, so to start the next row, you're doing a four chain. So one, two, three, four, before you turn it. And I'm going to mark the third of these. Mm. One, two, three, because I'm going to work into that when I come back to it. So... The instructions in the pattern will say um, to work into that one there. So let's mark, mark it now. Third of the four chains. So I did one, two, three, four. It's the third one I've put the stitch marker in. I think it's worth doing because the counting is often the difficult yeah, thing, isn't I, it? And just, yeah. by the time you got to the top of your cardigan, you probably won't need to. Well, you definitely <laughs> won't need to. But when you're new to crochet as well, it's just mm. a really nice visual I drive. do, though, for it's things really like helpful. this when I'm starting a new pattern. I mark everything. Yeah. Just because you just... It really speeds easy, you up it? along the way because mm. it helps it make sense quicker. So if that, make, if that makes any sense. But, OK, turn it over. We've done our chain four here. So now you're going to go straight in where that first one chain is in the V stitch. So we're ignoring this bit here 
and you're going to go into the hole made by that one chain in the V stitch. So that's handy. I've marked it there. Yeah, because otherwise you might go into that one. Exactly. Right, got it. Exactly. Especially if you're new to crochet. <laughs> I'd be looking at that going, shall I go into that? <laughs> Which bit shall I go mm. into? Exactly. And I, you know, I work with people that are all different levels of crochet. Yes, so yeah. I know from talking what to they, people yeah, what, what they like, yeah, yes. come up against. So in that hole, so you can see, if I hold it like that, you can see that how that looks like a V. So in there, yarn over and make another V stitch just in the hole. So you don't need to go into a stitch or anything. Treble, one chain and another treble. And if I just sit it here like that, you can see how neat and lovely that looks. A v stitch sitting in a V stitch. Yes, that's really neat, isn't it? I like that. And then you skip over to the next one. So you will either, if you haven't got your stitch markers in, you can just, what you're looking for is the next V and the one chain in the middle. If you've got your stitch marker, it's there to tell you. Take that out. In the next one chain, another V stitch. So treble, chain one, treble. And you do that into every V stitch along. So nothing in between, just going straight into the V stitches, into the one chain space. So into the hole, so if you're new to crochet, it's really fun, so you're not looking for a stitch, literally going in that big gap there. Right, okay, so look crazy. One treble, chain one. one and then treble. once you get to the top, you'll know what you're doing, but it exactly. is. Exactly, so just for those first few rows, especially with the sample as well, as I say, mm -hmm. if you've ordered it and you want to practice before it comes. Now I haven't marked the last two, so but I'm going to see the, the V is there, so I'm going in that hole. So just be careful not to work into the gaps between the V-stitches. That's not one. There's my next V-stitch. I'm going into that hole there. Okay. And in there, one treble. You see, and once you've learned this stitch one. and you've, you've done it, it's quite a useful stitch to use for other things. You can use it for, like, borders. Yeah, and, and it's, you know, it, it works up really quickly. <laughs> this, if you've been worried about making clothes, you think it might take a long time. This is surprisingly mm. quick because you're not looking for stitches, you're jumping over into the center of the Vs. So I've got to the end, and I'm going to do one chain in the air, so just grab the yarn and pull it through the loop. And then I want to go into the third of this chain that we skipped. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and just work into there and make a treble in there. That's it. So that just makes that edge straight. Okay. And then you continue doing that. So I'll do another row if I've got time. I just I would like to demonstrate a little bit of shaping if I can. So chain four, turn it. And if you want to mark them before you turn it, you can put your stitch markers in the center of the Vs. So you're looking for the V you made, put your stitch marker in the one chain space. It's completely up to you. But you'll hopefully, as you come along, start to identify where they are. So you're looking for a V, one chain in the middle turn it and then do the same again v stitch in every one chain space so treble one chain treble skip into the next one chain space treble one chain treble next one chain space treble one chain treble next one chain space same again so this is all there is to the whole cardigan, except for the little bit of shaping, which is still trebles, and the edging, which is also trebles. So, you know, when you think about, like, oh, granny squares, is the, this is easier than granny squares. It's really straightforward. And you can see, <laughs> hopefully you can see there, yeah. you're looking for the Vs, one V sitting yeah. on top of the other, working upwards. And then at it the end... It is nice and lacy and open, isn't it? Yeah the end you're going to look there's my stitch marker show me where to go so I'm going to one chain in the air I've done that and go into where the stitch marker is and make a treble in there and then I think it's definitely worth marking that it's really well, helpful whether isn't you're it? a beginner or yeah because that makes it a lot it's easier just time consuming mm. uh, not time consuming yeah. time saving yeah, <laughs> Stage, having to think well, about particularly it. if you're sitting in the evening watching the telly, you know, yeah. you, you don't have to concentrate. Exactly. Then, it's easy to mark it when you've just done yeah, it. Yeah, it is a really helpful thing to do. And I forgot to mark it at the beginning here, but I would have put it, I should have put it into the one, two, third one up, leaving one that makes your little gap. That's the gap. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you, for the swatch, you'll continue doing that until you've got eight rows. Mm. So if you are at home thinking, I will have a go at that before it arrives, 
you keep going till you've got eight rows. And the way you count the rows is obviously each row is one set of V stitches. So one V stitch, two, three, okay. like building blocks. You're sitting on top of each other. Well, also, if you do your tension square now, then you can get your hook size correct. By that's the time true, it exactly. So that's how you make the rows of V stitch. And here's one I made earlier. This is just continuing on in the sample, the swatch size. In the instructions, it tells you how to make it solid and how to make it stripy. Oh, OK. So it's the same pattern for both variations. Um, and I have changed colours every six rows. Mm. Well, that's what I was aiming for. I can see I did five there, but I was sitting doing this last night. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I want to do is, imagine this is the front panel of your cardigan. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. In. <laughs> You're then going to start shaping it in to a V-neck. And I just think a V-neck's really nice way over a sum of yeah, blouse is, or a yeah. dress. Well, it takes so, into account different necklines Exactly, as well, and it's it? flattering as well. It's flattering on mm. any shape, I think. So I want to show you yeah, how to shape that now. And before I do, I'm going to change colour. So I also want to show you how to change colour. So let's just get, I'm ready to do the pink again on this repeat. So this is the deck chair colourway. Right. So I've got to the stage, I'm at the end of the row. I've done a one chain. I need to make one treble in the third of this four chain here. So start the treble as normal in your previous colour that you have been working in. Yarn over through two. And I love this way of changing colour. When you've got the final two loops on your stitch, you're about to finish off your stitch, pull through the new colour. So I'm going to get the pink because it's time to use the pink again. And I'm going to just pull that strand through those two loops and I'm ready to go. So I've finished it in the yellow. You can see the V is in yellow, but I've got the pink ready to go. Where did I just put my scissors? Here they are. And then I can just <laughs> snip off this yellow here leaving enough to weave it in at the end. So I'm ready to work in the pink. And I'm going to talk you through, it just it occurred to me to show you that in this pattern, I've included some symbol charts because Ooh. these can be a really nice way of clarifying anything that's not clear, especially when it comes to the shaping. Mm. So you've got shaping in the sleeves oh, okay. and in the front panels. That's very useful for the shaping, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so if you'll read, so these are designed to be used along with reading the instructions in the pattern but have a little look if anything's not clear and i'm actually going to use that to refer to as i go now with okay. demonstrating it to you i see you've had a little costume yeah, change, little costume change. <laughs> i've got bored with the other one i love I'll that go back one. to my favorite one <laughs> <laughs> so now it's my favorite you see gotta wear it for this first row of your shaping for this is to make the front panel you're going to do a three chain in the air, turn it, right, and you skip the little one chain space that we made, and you're going to make a treble in the top of the first treble, a treble in the gap, and a treble in the next treble. So you'll make across the first V-stitch, instead of working a V-stitch, you're doing treble, 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 I'll show you now. So this is setting us up so we can make some decreases the treble in the stitch because oh, yeah because yeah, it's not like a normal no decrease because you've got all of these v's you've got exactly to i want to just drop one stitch per row right so and then treble in the stitch so for the first part and you've got all the instructions in here and as i said you've also got the symbol chart but i thought it might be useful to demonstrate it mm. so that you can either come back to it on youtube or um you know have a little go or just to give you a visual idea of how it's done now I'm doing V stitches and everyone along just like normal. So just find the chain one and make the V stitch in there, treble, chain one, treble. Find the next one chain in the center of your V stitch, that hole there. Next V stitch, find the one chain. Okay, and as usual, this end's going to be, this side of it is going to be straight. So just finish as normal, one chain and a treble in the third of that four. 
So you've got a straight ridge here. Haven't done any decreases yet. We've just set it up to do, to right. do decreases. Right, oh, I see what you so mean. There's no so decrease here yet. haven't lost anything. No moment, I haven't lost a stitch, but that's going to happen this Is that because you can't decrease, actually, a V? I so. wanted to just, yeah, hope, try and set up a framework to make that yeah, decrease no, that makes sense. clearer. Mm. So chain four and turn it because we're keeping this edge straight. And V-stitch in every V-stitch along. So that when you're shaping for a V-neck, for example, the only place you change it is at the end of the row that obviously that you want to decrease on. So everything else is the same here. So I'm just carrying on as if I'm making a row of V-stitches. Right, and now I've got those trebles that I made at the beginning yeah. of the last row. So I'm going to do one treble in each of the next two stitches. So not in the V stitch, because that has, we've made the V stitch in there. So the next two along, and that's where the symbol chart is really helpful because it shows you a treble in a treble, another treble in the next treble. So you just one in each of those, which leaves you with two. It leaves you with a plain treble and a three chain. And across those two, you're going to make a treble two together. So yarn over, so treble two together is written TR2 tog. Treble two <laughs> together is a decrease. So yarn over mm. into the stitch, pull the yarn back through, yarn over through two, as if you're making a normal treble. But pause when you've got two loops on your hook. Don't do any more with that one. And now go into the next one, which is the third of the three chain. So yarn over into there, pull the yarn back through, yarn over through two. So it's like you've started two little trebles. You can see two half posts there. Yeah. And then when you've got three loops left on your hook, yarn over and through all three. So that has turned those two stitches here into just one V at the top there. Okay, then you're going to chain three, turn it, and because we're still on this side, look, you can see already it's starting like a V, we're still on the side that we want to make the V neck, you now do treble two together, so we need to do a decrease, not working into that one you just made because the three chain is counting as a stitch for that, work into the next two. So another treble two together, yarn over, into the first stitch, pull the arm back through, yarn over through two, leave those two, yarn over into the next one, pull back through, yarn over through two, two little posts, three loops, yarn over through all three. And you can see, look how that's shaping. Yeah, it's starting to go. Starting to it? shape it. And now we've just got these V stitches left, so a V stitch into every one of those. Oh, okay. But you've kind of worked, because if you were sort of sorting this out, well, I imagine when you were designing, you have to think. There's <laughs> lots of different um, ways. Right. Yeah. Oh, I've got too many Vs now. I yeah. have to go back and yeah, set it Yeah, exactly. Up oh, it's too steep a decline. I want but to Sam's say. done all of that yeah. for you, so you haven't got to work out, oh, that's, yeah, that's you know, exactly. I need some more Vs. Or yeah, and I only want a gentle V on it. I don't want it to, yes. you know, it's the angle of it So as this well. is what you mean. If you did want to do a crew neck, you just wouldn't decrease. You just don't do that decrease bit. Yeah, Although, just do they always up. have a bit of a decrease at the top? I think if technically, if you really wanted a proper round net, you would maybe want to put a, a bit little of a decrease bit of, yeah. in there, you could, which you could use the same design here to do. But if you're new to this, don't just leave it like it is. It's lovely. But if you do want yeah. to do a crew net, yeah. you kind of need to have made it before. But there is, I mean, it, well, all of these designs can be adapted. Longer sleeves, shorter yeah, sleeves. Yeah, exactly. Right? Definitely. So you now, could do a short sleeve cardi. That'd be quite <laughs> nice, wouldn't it? It would, Yeah. Yeah, it would be nice. So I'm working along now. I've turned it. I'm on the straight edge, so I'm just treating it like I would a normal row, doing a V-stitch in every V-stitch. And then that's the final V-stitch I've got left. So I've got four V-stitches, and then I've got two stitches. I've got the top of the decrease, which is here, and my three chain and I do oh, right. I'm going to do a treble two together across those so you bet you are decreasing every single row then. every row you're losing one stitch to now get, um, yeah to get that decline how many necklines did you do before you worked a lot <laughs> <laughs> I undid it I would just yeah the first time it was no that's far too 
revealingly sort of right, angled. Okay. Well, because I guess so it's, it's where it does the, a very slight, yeah. Where does the decrease start? Exactly. What height? Yeah. How sharp? Exactly. Oh. There's a lot to it. So you can think you can see really clearly there though that you've got that decrease. Yes. No, that's really nice. And then they start the pattern again. So you do a three chain. You turn it, and then you've got your V stitch that you do a treble in the first stitch, a treble in the one chain and a treble in the next stitch, which is what we did right back here and we started it and that sets you up and then you'll do the same things that I've just demonstrated. Mm. You've got your symbol chart, you've got your instructions. Well, it gives it actually quite a nice solid edge as well. Yes, because when it? you come to work your edging, it's quite nice to have a solid edge to go into. So I'm just going to get to the end of this so you can see. It's mm. So you do both your front panels like that. The back panel is just a rectangle. And then you assemble them. Oh, of course, yeah. So then you join them together. Oh, sorry, I'm going the wrong one. I need to go in the third. Okay, so no shaping on the back, luckily. No shaping on the back. <laughs> there was a version where I thought about doing that. But I do, when I do my designs, I try to keep them manageable. I don't want them to be overwhelming. It's, you know, it's nice. It, yes, ideally, yeah. it's something you don't want to spend three months making it. It's something that you, well, you can spend three well, months yeah, making it. But you can or just longer. make it. It's all longer <laughs> if you like making yeah. it. Yeah. Or doing it wrong. Or picking up it. more projects, which is something I'm guilty yeah, of. Yeah, this is Starting different things. But Too many on the go. Exactly. So you've got that, you know, you've got that V there that you can see developing. Yeah, that's lovely. And the pattern talks you through how many times to repeat that um, until you get the, um, maybe we could lay one of these down and show you. Yeah, so the one that's on screen at the moment is um, deck chair, and that is the this is the one that Sam's wearing, the one that we're demonstrating. The one that Sam's got laying down now is the lollipop. Lollipop, yeah. So I don't know if I can bring it under the camera, but just to show you, it isn't a massive V-neck. It's got a, there we go. Third of the stock of lollipops gone. Remember, complete pattern, six balls of yarn, which is enough for the biggest size. That's a 28 up to a 55 inch bust and three buttons. Which are lovely buttons so you can as well. See, it's not a massive V neck, it's just a slight, it's yeah. actually inspired by a cardigan I have that I love like, all <laughs> the time. Yeah, as so I was comparing it to that when I was designing it. But you can see you've got a gentle. Yeah, it's not a spin, it's just enough so that. It's just to, yeah, so depending you, on what you're wearing, maybe you've got a V neck dress or t shirt. Yeah, or, or something with um, a collar or yeah, shirt dress or something. Yeah, or, or yes, a shirt dress where you wouldn't want that crew neck. Yeah. Which or oh, I like the bottom on that one. Yeah, That's so these pink ones. They're wooden or coconut. They're wooden. Because you know some of these you get them and yeah, they're like... Yeah, um, they're painted wooden. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so. I like them. Uh, so even if you don't want buttons, put them on. <laughs> yeah, they exactly. Nice. They do look nice. And then you, just, you don't have to do them mm. up. I don't often do them up for mine, but... My daughter um, is a size small and she you'll see if you look on social media, she very kindly modelled them all for me. Oh, did she? So this is oversized on her, but she had a little vest top and it sort of slung oh, off wow. her shoulder. It looked really lovely. So she's 16 and she very kindly yeah, humoured me them. and did some modelling. Now, I'm just warning you, there are lots of you with the lollipop in your baskets. You need to check out or they're going to sell out. So if you've got it in your basket and you want it, if you don't check out, it's going to go. No idea why that stage you're watching Yarn Lane with Rebecca Reed and Tracy Dennis. Oh, Tracy's gone. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that. Should say Sam's been. <laughs> yeah, strange. Sandcastles is actually the most popular, which is this neutral one. Ooh. The neutral Sandcastles, the most popular. Again, if you've got it in your basket, just check out because um, we have almost sold out on that and. Sometimes Sam remakes the kits for us, but not often because it's a bit of a faff, to be honest. Because she has to get all I'm the too yarn busy in. Designing new things. And yeah. she gets, has to get all the yarn in, repack. And actually, Sam likes to design new things. She doesn't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes she will if we insist a lot, but yeah. you like just moving on to something I else. I do, yeah. When I've it's gone, it's got gone. Several new things on So the show. if you've got any of them in your basket, we are very, very close to selling out of all of them. This one is even worse because it's the most popular. <laughs> um, please do check out. I don't want you to miss out. It'd be a shame, wouldn't it? Um, then I've got on. De no, beach huts. I've got beach huts. I've got beach huts, yeah. which is lovely. It's mustard cream and navy. It's lovely, really this nice. Is my favourite. Yeah. But then I love these colours. One of those. I like those. It's very colours. summer, isn't it? 
And I guess you can choose where you put the stripes as well, can't you? Yes, definitely. I mean, I've suggested a six row repeat, but you could do more blocky or you could do yeah, narrower stripes. Yeah, because it feels like in this one that the cream is more dominant. Yeah. And that's just because it yeah. happens to be on the shoulder, Exactly. It? I think cream often is the zingy sort of colour. Or is that just because it what shows up? Yeah, because mine's designed the same way. So mine's got the yellow as yeah. the first, but it's still, yeah. So you could choose which way you do it because you've got Definitely. the same amount of yarn yes. in of all of the colours. And I mean. likewise with the edging. So you've got the cuffs and the edging there done in the navy, oh, yeah. but you could do that. I did a, a multicolour on mine. I like that. So you can choose how Does you do Does it tell that. you that in the pattern? It, well, it's made in exactly the same way. You just change colour. Oh, okay. So it's made well, exactly the same way. Well, I guess because way. you've got the navy one. Yeah. Which is not called navy. It's, it's called, called sea waves. Sea waves. <laughs> then that's only sea one waves. colour. Yeah. I do like the multicolour. Yes. Yeah. And then also, um, so may, let me just name everyone because they're so kind. People give right. me their time to make these. Linda made this one and she's Thank done the very much, variation Linda. of the colour here. Oh, she's done. She's done that. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, it really isn't sets it? it off, doesn't it? So you can do that on any of the stripy ones. Terry Ann made the blue. Thank you, Terry Ann. Claire made the pink and Teresa very kindly made the beach hat one that you're wearing. So oh, okay. Thank, thank you, so ladies, because I could lovely. I wouldn't be able to produce. I know, these otherwise you'd only have one. They've very kindly given me their time. <laughs> so yeah. You see, this is why Sam's got to move on. She's got to move on to another one because <laughs> they're all well and to, I'm very, very lucky. I've got a team of really lovely and lots of only met on Facebook. Oh, really? People not that volunteer to do them. it, not necessarily people who have met oh, in real okay. life all over. The place. Oh, how nice. so, yeah, so they've, I'm very grateful to them. Although they do get them back. They don't get them they? back, yes. Yeah. So they get a lovely. Uh, this one is lovely. And do you know what? Wear. I mean, to be honest, make more than one. Oh, well, I'm definitely one. making one in these colours. Yeah, yeah, I think it's definitely. lovely. Also, once you've got your kit and your pattern, you could then make another one. You, in fact, what a great stash buster. Once you've had a yes. go and made this, yeah. don't even think about colour. As long as it's all the same weight, that's yes. handy. Yes, yes. And just go that's for it. it. Yeah, that'd be really fun. All different colours. When you run out, yeah. move to the next stripe. That'd be great. That'd be brilliant, That would be it? really if you good. Love, if you do that, can you send me that? Yeah. <laughs> it would work really well. Um, thanks, Sam. That's been brilliant. You're welcome. Really, really nice. Um, was there anything else you wanted to mention? Well, if I, I am I out of time for demos? Um, You've got two minutes, actually. Okay, let's do uh, joining. I was I'm torn between joining or um, edging, but I'm not sure I've got time for edging. So, right when it comes to joining, all you're going to do is work into the ends of the rows, and you can now you can choose to sew it together if you like. But I've included instructions for double crocheting together. So you're looking at the ends of the rows here, which are basically holes where you've got right. your chain three or your final treble. And what you need to do is match up, obviously this one is all solid color, but you'll match up your beginning and your ends. So when I did the stripy ones, I used yarn in the color to match. I actually changed yarn as I went along so that my join was invisible. So I'll show you what I mean. So I went underneath, so going into the gap on both panels, join your yarn, chain one so, and you're going to make two double crochets in there then you go into the next end of row underneath both ends of rows so the chain and all the treble at the end of the row both panels and it's, a, uh, it's just, just a UK double so straight in pull the arm back through gives you what two loops yarn over through two but you do two into the end of every row Oh, OK. And that's all you need to do. And it's all in the pattern. And it's anyway. all in the pattern. Oh, well, that's it's quite brilliant. nice to see. No, it is nice to see work. That's and that great. goes on the inside. Well, that thank matters. you, Sam. When are you back with us? I'm back on the 27th of May. Marvellous. So, Marvellous. Yes. New design. Another design. Ooh, yeah. Very exciting. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you who've got them. Please do check out. Oh, hi, it's Adele <laughs> Rowland here on my lunch break. And I've just bought the pink lollipop version. Can't wait to get started. Oh, thanks, Adele. Oh, really thanks, Adele. What a good one. bit Thank of lunch you. break shopping, yes. I can say. Um, <laughs> tomorrow on Sewing Street, it is Stuart presenting. Eight o'clock, he'll be presenting his new Mexico quilt. At nine o'clock, Janet Clairson, Flora Quilt. Uh, Susie Duncan is in at 10 o'clock with her scallop bag. And at 11 o'clock, Janet will be back with her trinket quilt. And at 12 o'clock, Susie will be um, demonstrating a tulip and pebble bag. What a busy day today, tomorrow even. Do not forget tomorrow, 
The only thing that won't be back tomorrow is this amazing deal that we've got on the sewing machine mixed with the embroidery machine. Amazing. £500 saving. Should be 2499 is 199 It's an amazing machine. I know it's a considered purchase, but if you want to save you £500... Do your research, you need to be quick and you need to do it before midnight. Use the split pay if you want to. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me today and for joining Sam. What a great day we've had. Um, I'll see you back here, when am I in back? Oh, I'm in on Sunday actually with Vix. In on Sunday. Um, uh, so I'll see you then. Have a great afternoon.